Ah. I said I'd go for it, so let's go for it. Huh? I said I would go for it, so let's go for it. Today is Baldur's Gate 3. It returns. Uh, let me see what my Betty time is today. My Betty time is? I don't have a Betty time. It's Baldur's Gate 3 until, until whenever. Until whenever. Until literally I get bored of playing the game, which might not ever happen. Baldur's Gate 3, goated game. So... Yeah, um, but to start with, the reason why I took us full screen is that I said earlier that we were going to do a little taste test of some of these scotches that I found. Uh, so this is the, going to butcher the pronunciation, Ladeg Single Malt, uh, Single Malt, I didn't think that was the word I was going to beef, uh, Scotch whiskey uh, that's in the Rioja cask. So we're going to try this, and then we're going to try some of the Bunnerhaben. Don't know how you pronounce that either. And uh, Beth said she wanted to try a little bit of this Rio cask as well. I can't get it open for some reason because I'm scared of cutting myself. I think that's actually the reason because that was very simple. Because of your dumb ass, I now have 150 hours in Baldur's Gate 3. It's so good. It's actually such a phenomenally good game. It's, it's outrageous how good it is. Like, I think... I've played some very good games recently. I really, really enjoyed Elden Ring. I think that that was fantastic. I enjoyed playing Minecraft. I think Minecraft's an outrageously good game that I never gave the time of day for some reason, and I absolutely should have done. But I think Baldur's Gate has taken the cake. I think Baldur's Gate has been simply phenomenal. First 10 out of 10 game I've ever played. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good. It is good. Okay, what is going on? Why can't I get this bloody bottle open? Come on. Come on. Money, time, life. Yeah, I mean, if you start playing Baldur's Gate, you're going to play a lot of Baldur's Gate. And I'm currently planning already to do my second run of this game. So that tells you. Anyway, we finally got into the bloody bottle. So, yeah, we're going to have a sip of this. I've already tried it before, I believe, at a place in Edinburgh. It smells good. Oh, I can smell the wine. I've just put it on my nose, which I don't think is like official tasting technique or anything. All right, well, I'll have a little sip of this. Don't think you're supposed to get scotch on your mouse pad. I don't think that improves your gameplay. But, um, you know, we'll just rub it in. It's, it's all part of the seasoning, really, isn't it? It's all part of the seasoning. Will Beth be able to have that if you can smell the wine? Not sure, but um, I... <sighs> I think we tried a little bit of it before. Beth's had some stuff that's like wine casked and it's made her throat very irritated, but it doesn't go any further than that. So she's willing to like give it a risk if you want to put it like that, basically, right? Because it's not going to send her into anaphylaxis. So she's down to give it a good old college try and just see if she gets fucked up or not. Um, all right. So this is the Ledeg, um Rio cask. Oh, wow. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. That's lovely. That's lovely. Let me go and give Beth a taste of that. That's good. That's nice. Zen wasn't supposed to play. They would have okay. given him footsteps. Yep, it got the Beth seal of approval as well. Creamy Beamy, thank you for the five months too. Remember when Egg decided he wasn't going to have alcohol? Yeah. It, I mean, that lasted for a month. I was pretty content with that, but yeah. You need to really shave your head? Yeah, I do. 
Look at it. It's like fuzzy, weird, like baby hair kind of thing. Because it's so thin. It's pretty bad. But I'm going to shave my head uh, tomorrow. I shaved my beard today. So, but yeah. Um, And what I'm curious about, what are your favorite acts from Baldur's Gate 3? Oh, well, you're, you're saying chat. I, I haven't even played Act 3 yet. But um, yeah. Okay. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. And then later on, we'll do a review of the Bunnabay. For now, though, it is time to bald the gate. God, the music is such... It, the music is so banging. It just makes me want to play every time. Every time I launch the game, I'm like, fuck yeah. I'm playing the fuck out of this shit. Oh, God, it's so good. Act 3 has a lot more optional stuff. Okay, well, we don't want to miss a bunch of stuff. Normally, we end up speedrunning things by accident. So I'll try and explore a little bit more than I usually do. But for now, uh, we do have a few different things to go and have a look at. Uh, we're on our way into Baldur's Gate. And when we get there, we've got many different leads to follow uh, for each of the individuals that are in our party. And then we also have the Duke Raven Guard to take a look at. And some other, like, notable, what's it called, uh, allies that we can make along the way. When will Astarion be rizzed? I don't think Astarion likes me like that. Although I don't even have him in the party at the moment, do I? I, I can't believe that Minthara is neutral towards me after, after everything. Now, why do I have Gale and Minthara with me? I really can't remember why I've chosen this party at all. Um, so let me just have a quick read through my quests and try to figure out who I want in my party. So, Baldur's Gate is near. We should find out where Gortash is. Okay, that makes sense. Um, we need to scour the city for clues to Orin's location. And murder seems reasonable. Yeah. Um, find Voss. Now, we don't... I mean, Lazel wants to go and meet Voss. We don't really want to go and meet Voss because we're pretty committed, I think to helping um, the Emperor instead of uh, Orpheus. But I suppose we could be persuaded. Um, on top of that, we have this. Dame Aelin revealed the truth to Shadowheart. She was not saved by the Sharons. It is shocking, isn't it, Sushilisa? Thank you for the 29 months. Thank you very much. Can you call him Bren still? Yeah, that's that's a better name, isn't it? All right, so she wasn't saved by the Sharons. Her parents still live in Sharon captivity, abandoned their daughter by a curse. Shadowheart must make for Baldur's Gate in order to rescue her parents and free herself from Shadow's influence. Now, we don't... So Shadowheart's old cloister in Baldur's Gate is to be her next target. Right. So we don't really know where that is. Lazelle wants to... Yeah, so if we have... Shadowheart, we want to go to the cloister. If we want to have Lazelle, we want to go to Kithrak Voss. If we have Jahira, we don't really know, but there's a bunch of different contacts, presumably, in Baldur's Gate. Um, we want to find Kazadar Sar with Astarion. And then... Ah, we wanted to go to Sorceress Sundries for Gale. Okay, so who have we got currently in the party? It, it seems like we've kind of got somebody, something for everyone. Apart from Minthara. What does Minthara want to do? Does Minthara want to do anything? I don't think she does. I don't really know what Minthara wants. Hmm, let's talk to Minthara and see if she... The next urchin that tries to pick my pocket will lose its hand. We, we, Minthara, we're not even in the city. Minthara, we literally are in the countryside. We haven't even entered the city gates. Nobody's trying to pick your pocket. Don't be naive. Half of the people here have been greedily eyeing our belongings since we arrived. It's hmm. me, Gale, I and Shadowheart. I am of the Brayran, the stench streets of Menzoberanzan, where the sick and the outlawed make their homes. Just because Despite they're sick the and out, Lord. There is profit and opportunity to be found in such places. If one is willing to wade through the squalor. It's unbelievable. Okay, we're, we're, not, we're not in Baldur's Gate yet, even. I want to try and find out what Minthara wants. Um, 
I guess, tell me about Menzo Branson? From the still, dark waters of Lake Donegarten to the Oh, she's, this is from, she's from the Underdark, isn't she? It is a city of wonders and terror. But it is not my home anymore. If I were to return, I would be denied all of its wonders and shown only the terror. Hmm. Uh. Why can't she go back? Because she's betrayed the Absolute. She hasn't betrayed... L well, I guess she kind of betrayed Lolf in the sense that she joined up with the Absolute. But would the Drow not be okay with her being like, I literally got mind-washed? For my people, to reject Lolf is to reject life. Even forcefully? I am an apostate and would be executed. Hmm. Though I am proud, I prefer exile to death. Reasonable, to be honest. Reasonable. Um, what was your life I like? I am a daughter of Menza Baranzan's most ancient and powerful house, the Bainry. Of course you are. Uh, of I course you are. I live the life of privilege. Actual and privilege, danger. Tory. My home was at the tallest point. She hates the poor and being pickpocketed. The place of the nobles, a plateau high above the city's sprawl. I enjoyed every luxury whether harvested in the Underdark or stolen from the surface. And I survived my first assassination attempt while I still suckled at my mother's breast. I'm hoping that was when you were young. I tasted her blood that day. What? She covered my body with her own, and a blade bit deep into her chest, almost puncturing her heart. How do they know you're after When I came of baby? age, she tried to take my life herself. Oh, she didn't die. And I gave her fresh scars to match those she earned protecting me. What the... what the... F huh? What the hell? There was an assassination attempt on Minthara when she was a baby. Her mother threw herself in front of the blade, survived. Then when Minthara turned like, I don't know what age you would even be of age in the drow, but in human terms, like 16, 18, something like that. Her mother tried to kill Minthara. And then Minthara scarred her up as well. What the fuck? Did you kill her? I expect so. Well, I actually asked if she was alive. She expects that she's alive. To end, I think my mother would survive to rule over the ruins. Hmm. I mean, I am nothing if not a simp. A dangerous upbringing it made you strong. Yes. My house trained me to be a soldier in Hello, Lot's are you? service. And my mother showed Drow me how to survive wild. the perils of society. I genuinely didn't realize Drow were this messed up. She taught me to be resilient up. and to guard my heart from those who cannot be trusted. Literally and figuratively. When I choose to let somebody close, I do not do so lightly. That gives a great depth of meaning to the bonds I do share. Okay, well, but you just kind of fuck anyone, right? We don't really have that bond. Like, we're not tight like that, right? You just, we were just friends with benefits. Because I only ask because you're like, your approval rating of me is quite low. We did a poll recently, you see, Minthara, and you answered the, like, middle option, where it's like the straight line mouth on your thoughts to do with Spiffy. The don't look at, look at me, please. Thank you. Uh, you had the, like, straight line mouth on the thoughts to do with Spiffy the Twiddler, so. Yeah, she's not. She's not. She's not really talking. Um, what do I go with here? I, let's talk about Baldur's Gate. I want to figure out what she wants. Yes. I only know it through history books and hearsay. A city of murder and grief. I expect it will live up to its legend. If you're there... Um, you must be glad that Ketherick's dead? I take no pleasure in his passing. Whatever faults he may have had. Spiffy's face Ketherick is like that because I a ate leader. a parasitic worm. Um, you respected him? Any greatness he had once fa Any greatness he once had faded long ago. The man we killed was a bitter old fossil. Um, I don't really think that. I feel like... Yeah, we'll go for that of one. Of course. He ruled Moonrise for centuries. That in itself deserves respect. 
I believe he was an honorable man, but the gods used him as honorable? their plaything. First, Shah and her sister, then the three behind the absolute. What do you mean the three behind I the absolute? He's he's one of the three. Oh, the three gods behind the absolute. Right, right. I thought they meant the three chosen. Um, you're surprisingly soft-hearted sometimes. Wow, that is a bold thing to say to Minthara. Do you think he could have been redeemed? We literally gave him every opportunity to redeem himself. There was no chance. Let, let's let's go for the bold option. It is a sharp mind that feels sympathy for one who suffers unnecessarily, not a soft heart. Interesting point of I view. I saw strength in Ketherick that had been diluted by pain, but I will never forgive him for handing me to Orin. For that, <laughs> I hope Merkel hollows out his bones and lets them be dust. Okay, okay. Okay, ha <laughs> ha good, good. I was the Absolute's dagger. I remember every throat that it held me to. And every drop of blood it forced me to spill. Mm. I take no responsibility for the lives I took. I did nothing in the Absolute's name. I was merely a weapon that it wielded. <laughs> I mean, how, how bonkers is that statement? I take no responsibility for the lives I took. Just as a chkum, as a little chunk, as a phrase, as a thought, as a concept. That's a wild sentence. She's already taken more responsibility than you have? I didn't kill things. I I was I was, you know, involved in circumstances that led to deaths, but I haven't I haven't killed a lot of innocents in this game. Don't talk about the grove. I didn't kill people in the grove. I, well, I did kill Nettie. Uh, yeah, I killed Nettie. Yeah, I killed Nettie. But she tried to kill me. That was self-defense. Um. Okay, so what do we go for here? You should take responsibility for your actions. To lose your free will and be forced to kill. That must be horrible. Did she really lose her free will and be... Was she forced to kill? I mean, I guess she was, actually, in a literal sense. Because she was under the bidding of the Elder Brain, right? So... Actually, Minthara has less responsibility than I do, in some senses. But... I think... I think number two is what Spiffy would say. I would rather die than endure it again. The tadpole, the absolute, they work together like a drug. I did not feel I was compelled to act against my will. I felt ecstatic to serve. Yeah, that's Every action that's bad. seemed a deliberate choice, the best choice, even though I could no more have resisted its commands than flesh can resist decay. Even rational minds like ours cannot reject such a powerful influence. The absolute can make the impossible seem inevitable. Well, um, she didn't tell me anything about her intentions, but we did manage to raise her approval rating in me a little bit. Not much, but we went from neutral to fair, which is, like, pretty good. Um, I think we should swap Minthara out, because it doesn't look like Minthara actually has a quest line that's particularly, like, open at the moment and to do with Baldur's Gate. So, I think... I think I should swap Minthara and Lazelle. Astarion time? Oh, maybe I'll run a poll. Let me run a poll and see which um, person Another you want in the party. Forward. Oh, I need to talk to Minthara though, don't I? Where is... Where is Minthara? Wait, journal updated? Why? What? We've arrived in Worms Crossing. Shadar believes the Sharon Lookouts will be present in the vicinity. She must find one such lookout in order to learn where the Sharon Cloister is hidden. 
Are, are we in Worms Crossing? We don't look like we're in Worms Crossing. Okay. I guess this is Worms Crossing. Uh, anyway, let's... Okay, let's talk to Minthara. Tell her to wait, wait in the camp for you me. You wish to consult me? Yes. I would like you to wait a here mistake. in camp. I am your most valuable asset. Well, stay there in when camp. When you realize your mistake, I will be ready to join you again. Wow. Dude, she's something else. She is something else. Um. Yeah, let's... So we have... Astarion over here, Jahira, and Lazel somewhere around here as well, although I don't exactly know where. Oh, there's Lazel. All right, so between the three of them, Jahira, Astarion, don't run a poll that just says Astarion. Yes, yes, this seems biased. Don't, don't run a poll that says that. I can't even cancel the bloody poll. Okay, you, you fucked it. You fucked it. All right, I just want you to spam in the chat. Lazel, Astarion, or Jahira? Just whichever... Oh my god, what is the lag? Whichever option you want to go for. Now, RJ seems to be making this one a little biased as well. But I think we've got more Lazels than... Astarions. We don't have very many Jahiras. So I think it's between Astarion and Lazel. I do need a tank. That's true. But I think most of this is going to be story based and talking to stuff rather than anything else. But yeah, we're going to go with Lazel. Boulder's Gate at last. We should find Charesse's caress. Should we? Voss will be waiting. Yes, but Voss doesn't have. I mean, we only have very, very bad news to talk to him about, don't we? Let's talk about Orpheus. What about him? He's trapped. Why did Vlacketh keep Orpheus alive? The Emperor may be loathsome, but it's right. Orpheus can disrupt a gay hive mind. A talent like that makes the Prince a powerful shield and a powerful weapon. Why destroy a weapon like that when you can contain it in a relic and keep it for yourself? It's so strange, actually, how they've written Lazelle. Because she goes from not even believing Orpheus is alive or whatever. And she literally won't even hear any speak about Orpheus because she considers it heresy, blasphemy. And then you get to this point in the game and she's like the font of all fucking knowledge. Like, motherfucker, I was spoon feeding you info from these Githyanki stone tablets when you didn't know dick about this and now you're preaching it back to me what are you talking about um orpheus is honor guard loyal to the end trapped by vlakith in the same prism holding their noble prince fruitlessly hacking at the sphere that contains him they see us as geich tadpoled husks in the empress thrall I regret their deaths, but I pledge to live as they perished, in the service of Gith's son. What? What are you talking about? What? What? I regret their deaths, but I pledge to live as they perished, in the service of Gith's son. Dude, Lazelle does not have a functional internal logic to the way that she lives her life. Oh, wow, that's wild. Asarion won in the poll with 59%. Oh, that's crazy. Now, how did 550 people vote yes when... Let me just check my view account for a moment here. Oh, fuck, the button isn't working. But I'm pretty sure I don't have 900 Sam viewers. SWCW10, thank you for the 15 months. I think there might have been some vote manipulation going on here. I'm listening. You have 10,000 viewers? Oh, well, that's quite reasonable then. Okay. It is done. Lazel, join me. Oh, wait, we've got to level up for Lazel. Oh, Tarek just raided me. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, 
Astarion did not win fair and square. You have become as durable as an iron golem. Whenever you fail a saving throw, you can roll again. God damn. That's pretty sick. Okay, so we've got Lazel. Let's get going. Need to find we'll, we'll, we'll definitely do stuff with Astarion at some point today because we're... Well, maybe not today, actually. But at some point during Act 3, we do need to go and find Kazador. My guy did a poll and then decided to ignore the poll because it wasn't a real poll. So I just chat as a voter turnout of 300%. Wasn't there an... I think it was African election that had a turnout of over 100%. I can't remember which country it was, though. For some reason, I feel like it was Zimbabwe, but I think I'm mixing that up. Spiffy might just be the weakest monk I've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to deny that. He's he's pretty crap. Just steal their uh, appreciably cared for boots. All right, we're heading down. So Shadowheart thinks there's somebody here waiting for her in Worms Crossing. Um, excuse me. I can't find my mum. And you've just asked the people that rocked into town looking like this? Did your mum ever tell you not to talk to strangers? Okay. Well, where did you last see her? She was... Um... She was sick. She had spots on her face and hands. Oh, she's dead. She went to go get some herbs, and she was supposed to come back the same day. She's very... That was last ten days, though. Ten days ago?! Yenna, she's incredibly dead. You left Shadowheart? Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, how, why wasn't she grouped? I don't know where your mum is, but here, take a few coins. You must be hungry. Let's go find a guard. It sounds like your mum is probably dead. I mean... That means you don't come back. My mum is coming back, though. She's looking for me. If you see her, tell her Yana's looking for her. It's really scary when you're alone without your mum. Oh, Rivington, I know that guy. Come on, Shadowheart. Yeah. Let's let's talk to Yana again. Maybe we can make her feel better. Oh, um, hi. My mum is coming. I think. Oh. We may have ruined all of the interactions with her. Let's... Who's got Speak to Animals? Is that Shadowheart? Oh, Lazelle's got no bloody equipment. Because we stole all of her stuff to give it to Minthara. Bro. Moving items from... Somebody outside of your party to somebody inside your party is such a pain in the ass. <sighs> okay. Um, right. Fucking hell. Right. Let's go back to camp. Let's try this way. Wait. The fuck. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could. So we're going to. If the gods are watching me. We're going to tell Gale to chill in the camp for a bit. And then we're going to immediately get him back. Just what I need. Switching equipment is so annoying. Civilization beckons at last. I question the wisdom of that. I'll be here in. Right, so Minthara, hello. You wish to consult me? Yes, join Good. me. Right, then we need to get Minthara's items. We'll drag them down here. So we have... Um, oh, we can just put them straight onto Lazal, can't we? So the Grimskull Helm we want to pass over. And we want to hide during dialogue as well. Um, then... What else? Uh, we currently have Chainmail plus one. Spider Silk Armor. Gain a plus one bonus to stealth checks. No, I think we want... We want the best armor possible for Lazelle. I'm not exactly sure what the best armor possible is. This is EC15. Let's let's be on Lazelle here. Um, so this is Dark Justicia Mail. That's going to reduce it. Spider Silk. Githyanki Half Plate. So 
that's just worse than the breastplate plus one. The graceful cloth. Uh, didn't we have some goated armor somewhere else? Well, I guess, I mean, this, this is just better anyway, isn't it? Wait, no, it's not. Oh, because this limits... Wait, what is going on here? Oh, this, you don't get any AC bonus from Dexterity, but it's just 17 AC. Whereas this is AC bonus from Dexterity limited to plus two. I think I have better armor than this. Love, Dix. Thank you for the three months. Um, we are not going to be... Let's, let's have a look at some other armor options here. We have deal acid damage. When the wearer deals radiant damage, I don't think we're going to be doing too much of that. When you deal fire damage, what what does this do? Plus psychic. Oh no, we want to. Yeah, we want to be. We want this because we're going to be dealing mental fatigue. Yeah, and then Minthara can wear some other stuff. Minthara can wear like this one because she often deals radiant damage with um, with her smites. So this we can go for. Let's have a look at some different boots that we have. Restore bardic inspiration doesn't make any sense. Once per turn, when you dash, you gain Wrath for two turns. Uh, that might be useful. We'll equip them for now. When you cast a spell, we're not going to be doing that. Um, so that's fine. Uh, let's have a look at some other things. What the hell underwear is that that Lazelle is wearing? That looks like the most uncomfortable underwear of all time. At least these underwears are like, you know, in functional. Um... Yeah, the parapet of wound closure, we want to give uh, death saving through a plus two. Oh, we don't need that, do we? Because we already have when downed automatically stabilize. And yeah, executioner is fucking ridiculous. What other rings do we have? Uh, blind immunity and um, ring of flinging. Shapeshifter. Um... Or concentrating. No, we don't need that either. Uh, who had the amulet of uh, speaking to... Didn't someone have an amulet of speak to animals or something? It's kind of weird that we don't have a good ring to put on here, to be honest. But I guess we'll go for the... I don't know what these things are. What is this? Subjugate the undead and lash out with deadly claws. I don't think that's going to be that useful. Um... I mean, might as well do that one. Can't be blind. It seems reasonable. Wait, what is this? Oh, this is a musical instrument. Yeah, we don't need that. Okay, so Lazel's looking fairly good for now, I think. Yeah, it seems reasonable. Now, yeah, we had like a animal. It's not the scroll of animal speaking I'm looking for. It's some amulet. Wasn't there an amulet? F5, please, bald man. Well, not right now. Amulet. Um, Which one was it? I think it was called Amulet. Have its black tentacles? No. Speak with the dead? No. Didn't we have one that was sp speak to animals? I thought we had one. I guess not. Maybe I'm mixing it up with the speak to dead thing. Huh. I really thought we had something like that. When you take fire damage dealt by another creature, you get two turns of heat. I don't know why I've got that on. But anyway, whatever. Does suppose it particularly matters. All right, so let's uh, let's tell Linthara to go piss off. You wish to consult me? Yeah, wait there in the A camp. Mistake. Don't I, question me. And then Gale, come with me. My mind. I don't think it was an amulet. What was it then? With was it a scroll? Maybe somebody just knew the spell. Maybe that's what I'm mixing it up for. Anyway, I can't really remember. Alright, so... God. It's crazy how many options Shadowheart has. It's ridiculous. Play fetch with the doggo? No. Um, oh, I'm encumbered. Why am I encumbered, man? What have I... What have I just picked up that encumbered me? For fuck's sake. Uh, sort by weight... Um, I don't know what these things are. I don't know why I've got these, but let's send them all to camp. Punch drunk bastard. Um, Githyanki boots. 
Wait a second, they might be the better than the other boots that we have on. Oh, I didn't check to see whether there was other things that we could have given Lazelle, but whatever. Min-maxing in this game is yawn. Very resident sleeper, to be honest. Let's send those to the camp. Send those to camp as well. What else? I mean, that, that should be fine for the moment, right? That'll be fine for now. That'll be fine for now. Okay. So, I don't know who we're supposed to be talking to, but I do think we're supposed to be talking to a lot of people. Let's first make sure that we activate this oh, ancient circle, sigil circle. Everything. Oh, thank you. That's a that's a very kind message. Appreciate it. Yeah, let's do some exploration. Let's talk to some people. What is going on here? We told our son that this is a holiday to spare him the truth. We don't have homes to go back to. Well, that's tragic. <sighs> Can't talk. I'm sorry. The little one needs all my attention. Well, why don't I take him off your hands? I could find some work for him. Where we're going? What kind of inn is it? Will there be feather beds? You delusional kid. Really there now. Refugees as well. City. Up on the hill. Turn back, citizen. No passage in this direction. Why not? It's bloodier than a butcher's backyard out there. Piles of dead absolutists, and a few of our own as well. The cultists assaulted the gate, armed to the teeth trying to break in. They nearly had it too, before the steel watch intervened. So they've managed to repel the first wave of um, attackers from, well, what was previously Ketherick Thorm's army. Steel watch. Yeah, what is the steel watch? A little more than that. You'll see for yourself soon enough if you head to the city. Okay. Let's try some of this uh, Bonabain. Pour ourselves a little tipple. See what's cracking. Full cam, sir. Mm. Oh, it smells nice. Ooh. I know, little one, but you'll be in a big, cozy bed soon enough. You have everything you That's really nice. All the treats That's really nice. Um, I think it's. This one time we'll make an exception. As long as you stop sulking and start walking right now. Hmm. Yeah, that is really nice. Actually, they're both really nice. They're somewhat of a similar taste, actually. Okay. Right. So, let's... Th they told me I couldn't go through here, but what if I just, like, actually go through there? Oh, I guess you literally can't. Um, what about if we explore up here? Oh, corpses. Another fist to talk to. No passage this way, I'm a... Okay, but what if I just passage this way anyway? Uh... I mean, could I just steal this potion of greater healing? Just yoink. Who's who's gonna who's gonna find out? You know. Let me just close this door behind me real quick for no suspicious reason whatsoever. Oh yoink! I think I need them more than the defenders of the city need them. You know, when you put it like that, that does really sound like a heinously selfish thing to do. Scroll of Stone Skin. You know what? I'll leave that for them. They need to defend the city. They need some Stone Skin. That's fine. Um, should we jump down there or something? Invalid target. Is this really not a playable area at all? Oh, maybe it's not. I thought they were just trolling, but I guess I guess they're I guess they're actually correct. So right, this is Rivington. Back up here is towards the original area. So 
So where, which direction should we go? So we could go over this way, but it looks like... Well, I mean, there's a lot to explore over there, isn't there? There's a lot to explore. Or we go this way. God, I don't know. Um, let's, let's explore this town first, I suppose. Any of fivers? Okay, I'll have five. Just for you. What in the hells was that? An earthquake, perhaps. Strong enough to rouse the dead, too. Nearly there now. You can see the city. Did me quick saving cause an earthquake? It's up there and we're down here. That's why if I was a shower and lookout, this is the sort of place I'd wait around. Hmm. So, Shadowheart thinks we're about to meet a Sharon lookout. Up on the hill, perhaps? In this building? Any, any other people gonna roll any survival checks? Scroll of eye bite. Your sorry, what? Your eyes become black corridors walled in teeth. Your gaze capable of inflicting dread sickness or putting creatures to sleep. What the fuck? Oh my god! Scroll of disintegrate. Ten D six plus forty. Minimum fifty damage. Oh my god. That is fucking crazy. Gail, quite ready for you. I don't suppose you're interested in learning a new spell, are you? Wizard level's too low. Fuck. He can't learn it. God damn it. Okay, when we level you up, Gail, we are learning that spell. Or we're saving it for a very special occasion where we desperately need to kill something enormous. Yes. Never a dull moment. Swift as my feet can carry me. You know the effect of disintegrate, right? Like the extra effect? Well, it's said that if you kill something with it, it disintegrates. So I would assume it doesn't drop loot. But I mean, no, I don't know if it has a different effect. Okay, so she said if she was going to meet a Sharon lookout, she thinks it would be somebody around here. Young lady, Shadowheart, a word. Ah, this person knows Shadowheart. I just lost a wager, thanks to you. Who are you? Someone who bet that you'd never be foolish enough to actually show your face in this city again. But here you are. And the gold in my purse is soon to take flight. Now why... Yeah, I mean, I assume this is a Sharon from Shadowheart's cloister. There have been whispers about you, sister. About your faith, your loyalty, your company. I can't help but feel the strangest twinge of disgust as I look upon you. Is it true? Has our lady forsaken you? Hmm. Use your shared connection and urge Shadowheart to lie. Or, I mean, why? You know what I've realized? I don't even know why we're doing this. Where is the quest? Can I look at the quest log? Fuck, no, it just brings up the dialogue history. Why were we doing this? Oh, because we want to rescue Shadowheart's parents. I remember. We want to rescue Shadowheart's parents. So we don't want to... We don't want to get barred out of the cloister um so i think we should tell shadowheart to lie that's how spiffy would handle it so that's how he should tell shadowheart to handle it uh all switcheroo thank you for the 15 months of course not a cover to throw our enemies off the scent I suppose you weren't deemed important enough to be informed of the plan. I love that, that lie. Find deception in most cases. 
But your lying tongue cannot mask the empty pit in your spirit. She truly has abandoned you. Now I must report your reappearance. Oh, fuck. If you are intent on bringing matters to a head, then seek out the House of Grief in the Lower City. Mm. Though, if I was you, I'd be very tempted to just forget it all and disappear. You have some form of doing so, after all. Should we just kill him? So that they don't find out? Murdered someone in view of a guard. Perhaps unsurprisingly, you're under arrest. Well, but also, I he was a very dangerous person. Um I mean, I was trying to help is an extraordinarily bold lie. I don't I think that's just stupid. I don't think that's even I don't think that's even reasonable. Do you see any blood on these hands? I'm an innocent witness. I don't think I think only number 2 even makes sense. <laughs> Mate, you didn't check to see if the fuzz was watching? I don't give a fuck about the fuzz, okay? I'm like I'm like the dangerous inmate inside a prison. I run the place. I'm going to go for the intimidation check. I've plucked it. I've absolutely plucked it. Dude, that was almost unfailable. That's better. You're free to go this time, but next time you won't be so lucky. <laughs> okay, so how is this going to affect the quest? I mean, not everyone subscribes to what is mine is yours, it seems. You've got to be fucking kidding me. I just killed him, I get to loot him. Keep your hands to us. Fuck off. Tempers are right. Tempers are right. Let's keep your hands. Oh no, not dark vision. This one's darkness. Thank you. Okay. Hello, Fortuno Dibs. Your stealing has caught someone's attention. What will you do? What do you mean? My stealing has caught someone's attention. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> I mean, who the fuck are you? Actually, though, mate, who You've are you? Been given the benefit of the doubt this time, but something tells you next time you won't be so lucky. Legit, who are you? Later. He's just saying later. Too slow, slow poke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's go and chat to these people. What did we just pick up, actually? I feel like we just picked up some potentially excellent stuff. Dwarven Thrower. This weapon will return to its owner when thrown. A dwarf throwing this warhammer deals an extra 1 to 8 bludgeoning damage. Damn. Hellrider Longbow. 6 to 13 damage. Gain a plus 3 bonus to initiative rolls and an advantage on perception ability checks. What? That's crazy good. That sounds amazing. I mean, I am definitely equipping that. The cold snap. 
That seems really good for a Starion as well. Okay, let's talk to the fist. Oh, gods. Not another protester. Go talk to Nestor if you must. I've got plenty on my plate with these mewling geese. Baldarians! Stand with me against this tide that threatens to overwhelm us. Please just go home. You're ruining a perfectly uneventful posting with this nonsense. <laughs> the flaming fists are supposed to protect this good city, but they allow trash and vermin to take our homes and goods. You, you're a true Baldarian, I can tell. You must understand why we need to keep these strays out of our city. Do you mean refugees? Baldurian, your accent's Rivingtonian. That hardly counts. God, what a great way to posture the gatekeeper by gatekeeping him out of Baldur's Gate. That sounds amazing. Excuse me? I was born inside the city walls, a Baldurian through and through. Wherever you're from, clearly they don't teach manners. You and I have nothing more to say to one another. All right. Well, I, I, I'm just ruining. I'm just ruining quests left, right, and center over here. No, we pay taxes for you to protect us, not these intruders. I'll take that. No, I didn't mean to pick something up. Didn't mean to steal anything. Donations. Don donations for what? <laughs> I'll take a donation, please. That's that's a perfect spiffy counter. Very funny. You can make a donation to the refugees, or you can leave. Um, I'd like to take the donation into the barn myself. What does that even mean? What does that mean? I'd like to take the donation into the barn myself. Oh, right. So he's saying like, oh, I can go into the barn. So it's like bribing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Popping off, popping off. I thought it was a metaphor for sex as well. I thought he was trying to get a roll around in the barn. Well, if you must, I suppose it saves me the walk. But if you're going to do it, hurry up. He did, he ate the super tadpole. He didn't just take it, he ate it. Alright, so now we're going to be able to get into the barn. Now, what's in the barn? Large pig? Nesta's warning. What is Nesta's warning? It seems I have to remind some of you that what is in the barn is for the refugees, not for your dinner. Next one I find skimming from the top cleans the latrine for the rest of the month. Okay. So there's just like vegetables and shit around here, stuff like that. I mean, we're not going to steal from the refugees, are we? That would be a new low. An unbelievable new low for Spiffy. I mean, that's, that's terrible. Stealing from refugees? That's... Uh, that, that's unconscionable. You best not piss away Manip Nestor's good graces. The uh, Worms Rock prison is rather cold this time of year. Okay. I mean, it doesn't really look like there's much here. Oh. Oh, a donations chest. I mean... We could just take a quick glance inside, couldn't we? We could just take like a little look. Don't keep me out. We could just take a glance. Sadly, there were supposed to be tiefling refugees here. Oh. I mean, this isn't. This isn't even... I mean, that's not even worth stealing, is it? That's not even worth taking, man. That is not even worth taking. I'll give him a... 
Give him a pumpkin. Oh. Give him a pumpkin. Give him a little what? Where's my gold? Where the fuck is my gold? Oh, there it is. Give him, you know, give him, let's give him a little hundo. Give him a little hundo for the refs. Go on. And I mean, let's... Let's take the gold necklace as well, but I, I gave more than I took. I gave more than I took. It was a donation. Oh, why is this locked? We can just get around here anyway, can't we? I mean, what's... I gave a hundred and I took... I gave a hundred and a pumpkin and I took back 35. There's nothing wrong with that at all, right? Now... I wonder what's in this chest. Now it's... it's... Just keep your hands to yourself. I didn't think he could see that. God, it's it's not a good idea me being in a town like this. God, camping with the mother-in-law has been utter hell. Maybe I should just go on ahead into the city without her. Scouting like. Actually got here safely. Towing along my wife, sister, and mother. Or maybe they towed me along, eh? I don't think so with a body like that. Can't stand her, can't stand her! My sister-in-law. All law, and no sister. I don't think it's even possible to have a body like Gazelle's. Christine look at, look at her... Ron puts up with her. Look at her insane... Special in the sack. Insanely no, muscular arms and shoulders without any, like, pec definition at all. Is that even possible? I don't know the muscle groups well enough because I don't do gym shit, but like that that kind of body is not possible, I don't think. Don't know how we're gonna get Grunch into the city. Wounded as he is. But we have to. Who's Grunch? Ah Whatever you need, I can't help you. Even <laughs> talking is painful right now. I did not expect his voice. Um, let me take a look at that wound. Uh, I'll fix it up for you. I'll fix it up for you. Easy peasy. After a quick examination, you conclude that your patient is pretending to be wounded. You wonder why. Really? This isn't necessary. I'm sure there are other people that need your help more urgently. I mean, this, this, you've just wasted my time. Why? Shh, not so loud. If those lads find out I'm faking, they might go off on their own. They're not ready for that. And frankly, I'd miss them. I don't really have any other friends. And I like those lads. So I think I'll stick around a while more. Okay. All right, based. Story of brothers. When Nilos and me were hiding, and hungry, and scared, it was Grunch who got us through. I'm not letting him down now. Oh, what a lovely story. We've got to get Grunch into the city, but he's in no shape to travel. I wonder, what if we hit him in a big barrel and nailed it shut? Nah. Now, what do you have in your chests? You got a lot of chests. Um, toad breath. Hello. What? Ein Bosch. 
I ran for days to get someplace safe <laughs> and then found out I'm last in line to get in. The same at Hobgoblin. <laughs> As if I could change that. God, I mean, yeah, that is unlucky. That's that's prime racism. I'm sorry about that. I was just giggling because your voice is funny. <laughs> Um, okay, nothing hugely important here after exploring a little. I suppose that... Now what's going on here? Won't get us fed and watered. Why are there dead chickens lying around? What's happened here, Slami? If you're here to fill an empty stomach, look elsewhere. Folks swarmed what little was had, stuffing their pockets. Bloody animals. Mm. We got here first, friend. You're welcome to whatever scraps we leave behind. Well, you might be the problem. Back off, I found these apples first. <laughs> you greedy. God, these these chickens have been devastated. You remember that spiced apple loaf we had in Waterdeep? Oh, the big one. Uh, where? I mean, I don't really understand where we're going, but I'm just kind of going to wander around. So this goes down here. Hello, little doggy. Oh, aren't you sweet? The dog seems wary, sniffing you intently. Yeah, I know I don't look like the friendliest person in the world, but uh, let's make sure that we use our animal handling skills. We fucked up. Oh, we fucked up. Ah, shit. I did not mean to anger that dog. God damn it. Could we have had a little partner for our dog at home and we fucked it up? The circus of the last days has returned. See Dryad's Gin and Dribbles the Clown. It's me. Back with a new act. Dribbles the Clown. That's what people called me in TF2. No, I'm afraid I must insist you do not pet the hound. My love. You can't keep being so rude to strangers. It's just a dog. All just? the grabbing and touching startles poor Biscotti. I will not apologize for caring about my boy. Um, I, I didn't say I wanted to pet your dog, but um, yeah, he's a, he's a fine looking hound. Isn't he just? I'm so very glad they let animals in the camp. It means Biscotti can be kept away from that awful war. Oh yes. As long as the dog is okay, he's happy. Give me strength. <laughs> Griselda seems long-suffering. Um, and I think we've been around the rest of here, really, haven't we? Who's that? Oh, who killed that guy? That's a terrible thing that's happened. That's awful. Murder is wrong, no matter who it is, and who does it, and for what reasons. Let's have a look in this direction. Gur Camp. Wait for the vampires to strike here. And let the marshal all their strength against us. I do not like our chances. If they're talking about vampires, this might be where we need this is where we should have a Starion. So I think let's go to camp. And let's swap a Starion out. Alright, Lazel, I'm afraid you're just the closest. I'm listening. Um ask Lazel about Once the disc. Once again your mind opens to Lazel, and she considers the disc. More writings on Orpheus, the prince of the comet.
I guess I never asked her about this. Comet, part three. I already read all of this. The history. Oh, mate, don't read all of this again. Vlad don't read all of this again. I can't be fucking doing with that. Chuck, you believe as you said. Okay, Starion. Starion, as long as you promise not to read to me, you're coming with me. Worms Crossing. The welcome mat of Boulder's Gate. This is it. I'm almost home. Yes, and I found some people talking about vampires, so would you mind coming with me? Darling, lead on. Oh, we get to level up. Astarion as well. Don't touch me. What is this? Supreme sneak. Blend into the environment so completely that you become invisible. Huh. Okay. Did I take Astarion's gear? No. Astarion still has his gear. Yeah. Okay. Brechtei Hathran Rust. Welcome, friend. You've joined us as we honor our fallen dead. A somber time. And you've brought a somber guest. I did not think you would willingly return, Spawn. Well, indeed. I was rather hoping I'd never see you people again. Honestly. Who are they? Vampire Frey, hunters. Valdisk Durovna. Frey Valdiskablast. I feel we're intruding. We should leave quickly. Calm yourself. You will not be harmed. Our leader has called off the hunt. She wishes to speak to you. Mm. You all think this game can complete the game of the year? I think what what the hell else would be? How would it not be game of the year? So, the impossible spawn walks among us in the blazing sun. We have been looking for you. What do you want with the Starion? The last time your friend came to our camp, he stole our children, our future. When Works. I was hunting you, I was to bring you back here, interrogate you, discover how to save our children, and then destroy you. But things have changed. You have changed. Is it true you left your master? That you broke the spell that binds you to him? Uh, well, I, I mean, uh, kind of. <laughs> it's a long story, honestly. Why is he so awkward, man? Why is Astarion so awkward? <laughs> also, what do you mean Astarion stole their children? Stole their children? Um. Uh. Yes, I suppose. Yes, he's free now. Although, maybe we don't want that knowledge out there in the world. Because we are going to try and sneak into Kazador's party later on. And we might want Kazador not to know that he's independent. I'm not sure. I think to these people, we should just say that he's free. Free? Not while his master still lives. But he has perhaps earned a second chance. We have tried to save our children once already, attacking Kazadorzar's palace at first light. Even then, it was too well defended. But if his own spawn approached, someone he thought he could control... A chance for redemption, Astarion. ...and welcome you in. A chance and for redemption. Inside, you could do what we could not. You could save the children you damned. You don't know Kazador like I do. He's merciless. You want me to march into the lion's den and save your children. But I promise you, they're already dead. <laughs> the idea of Spiffy just being like, oh, no, we'll do it. We'll save them. <laughs> um, I mean, I feel like we should say that we'll set, like, that. The right thing to do here is just lie and be like, 
No, don't worry, we'll save them. Shut the fuck up, Astarion, shut up. Yes, we'll save them. Just tell us where Kazador's place is and give us resources. I think we should do that. Excuse me, did you not hear anything I just said? They're gone. Astarion, shut up. I know up. our plight is grim, but if there is even a chance to save them, we must take it. If our children are truly gone, then we ask for blood. I know you can understand that, Spawn. Hmm. Yeah, it does feel like you owe them revenge, Asarion. It does feel like that. I suppose. Yes. Yes. Revenge. I can do. Thank I mean, we have a plan to kill Kazador anyway. And all my people. If you can do this, we will be in your debt. You. I've lived a life of violence and sin. Are you talking you to me or Astarion? Lives, broken families Again, me or Astarion? It's hard to Doing tell. This will not right those wrongs. Again, who are you talking to? If you're trying to encourage me, you're failing abysmally. But it will be a start. You may still be redeemed. Please go. Time is short, but we will see you again when it is done. Right. I would like to talk to some of these people. Um, who should I talk to? Let's just talk to a bunch of different people. I would follow Ulmer to the hills and back, but this does not feel right. Anyone else got anything interesting to say? To lose our children is a tragedy. To fail so utterly in saving them is something else entirely. Ulmer insists the tribe is not cursed, but I have my doubts. I pray you will succeed where we failed. Exterminate every last vampire parasite. Yeah. You're lucky, Josh? Uh, Larian just fixed. Or oh, Iarian. I don't know how you say the developers of this game. Just fixed the ghost storyline. Oh, sick. Okay, well, I don't know if we should just go around talking to all of these people, but. Our dead fought well. They died well. I hope I can live up to their example. I don't think these people are going to have much more to say, but we'll talk to Ulma one more time. Do not stand here and wait. Kazador must be destroyed. Do you not have any information for us? Any help? Any assistance? Just Holy shit. Can in. we can we go inside? Can I go inside your house? Wait for the vampires to strike here. And let the marshal all their strength. Vampires are rising. Okay, not allowed inside your house. Okay, I get it. No, 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 no. That's fine. That's fine. Didn't want to go in there anyway. Who's Kazador? Kazador is, um, I mean, haven't you been watching? Kazador is the vampire that is the master of Astarion. Lathander to light, Saluna to guide, Kelemvor to judge, and passage provide. What does that mean? Abandoned locket. This locket opens on a picture of a little girl. Bloated by tears. Okay, that's a lot. Ball dagger child's drawing. A child's depiction of a happy sunlit scene. Okay. Oh, not from around here, huh? Ah, so is that Baldur's Gate across the river? Looks like it, right? So this is Rivington that's on this side of the coast. Okay. Another earthquake or psychic blast or something. 
What the fuck is going on in here? What the fuck is going on in here? Did you save again? No, I didn't. Hatch that leads underground. The windmill basement. There's a mind flayer down here. What the fuck? Before you lies the unconscious body of a mind flayer. What? Glistening and raw. How did he get in here? A newborn. Unattended. How fortunate. Um, now why is that fortunate? Oh, but it is. This one has only just transformed. It is weak, vulnerable, its potential ripe for harvesting. Go on, kill it, absorb its power, just like you did before. What? What? I mean, let's... Do you not think you're being a bit hasty there? We, I mean, we're in, we're in a like four versus one scenario. We can surely wake it up. It's it's trapped in a basement. We're in a four v one. If it attacks us, we'll kill it anyway. But you're literally a mind flayer that is on our side. Wouldn't it be a good idea to just see if this one's on our side as well? Come no closer, you. You. What are you? What am I sensing? You are like me. Like I was. A vessel yet to transform. Help me. I am so hungry. Well, what, I mean, what... What do you need? What do you eat? We are new to our collective. Ah, my birth was difficult. The vessel fought hard. It left me weak. We need to feed. We need a brain fresh and frantic to restore our strength. Well, I mean, that... What? <laughs> Why would I bring you? F I mean, are you? <laughs> Where do I even begin here? Why am I trying to make friends with a mind flayer? Uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm not gonna bring you food. Like, wh who are you? Open the poll. Okay, I'm, I'll go for it. I'll open the poll. So it's, I'll see what I can do. I can fetch you a corpse, freshly killed, brain intact. I never work for free. Go and find your own meal. I'm not going to bring you food. Attack him or leave. I, I just... He woke up and he was like, what am I sensing? You're a bit like me. But he hasn't tried to attack me. He's just... I don't know. What is he doing? He's like asking me to be his delivery man. That's so fucking strange. You woke them up? Yeah, but like, tell me a bit of your backstory before you just ask me to buy you dinner. You know what I mean? I never work for free. Okay, let's go for it. I sense you are underdeveloped. Bring me a brain, and I will help you augment yourself. Huh. Huh. What does that mean? I mean, I did just kill somebody. So I could try to fetch him that corpse. Like, I could just drag the guy... Yeah, the guy that I just killed, Taylor? 
Couldn't I just drag them over here? Hmm. That's probably not fresh enough. What do you mean it's not fresh enough? The sun's been at it for like, what, 10 minutes? Hmm. Too much work, just attack. Let's try this one. I shall be here, waiting for your return. Curtail your sympathy. We wish to destroy the Elder Brain, not nourish its doors. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't, I really don't know why I'm trying to feed this guy. <laughs> why, why am I trying to feed him? Wait, what if I? What do you? How am I gonna get a corpse to him? I, I really don't understand how I'm even gonna do this. Better not be cursed. Let's go and see the body that I just. Probably some cog or joint in need of a little grease. Hmm. Speaking of grease, are there any sausage rolls left? We're as desperate as the rest of these. I mean, what a lovely date. Um, can I help you? This is a private picnic. Fine day for it, eh? Got to enjoy things while they last, I suppose. Now, you know, there's nobody really around. No, 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 obviously we're not going to go and kill innocent people. We would only kill... Well, what about if we got a dead chicken? That's got a brain, hasn't it? Won't get his bed and we could go and give him a dead chicken. But we also have a human corpse down here. Can we pick up the entirety of Ferg Droher? Can't pick up too heavy. Alright, what about Lazel? Or who's got good strength stats? Nobody. Shadow Heart's got. Alright. Can't pick up too heavy. Mm. No one stopped me yet. Yeah, you can't drag corpses around. Okay, let's. I mean, we could try and get a really small person, like a small corpse. Man's never gonna use an elixir. Wait! Oh my god, could I really use the hill giant strength? Elixir of Hill Giant Strength. Wait, actually, we don't even have to use the elixir. We could use the Club of Hill Giant Strength. And we could just equip it for a second. And that will let him. You're seen moving a corpse. The guards are being summoned. Let's just walk off. No, no, wasn't me. Wasn't me. Your bad behavior caught this guard's eye. What do you have to say? Um. <laughs> Can't you tell when someone's taking a nap? <laughs> because I moved a corpse. Oh my god. I mean, that is just insane. That is absolutely insane. <laughs> That's absolutely nuts. Oh my god, we've actually failed. We've actually failed. No, we haven't. We rolled a three on the guidance. That's crazy. That is crazy. They believe you. For now. But something tells you they won't be so receptive to your charms again. 
I can't believe we just got out of that by telling them that the corpse was asleep. That's bonkers. Dude, look at... Look at me waddle my way around, man. Look at me strutting my stuff. I am a fucking unit, actually. Pet the doggo? I can't pet the doggo. I pissed the doggo off. The doggo's very annoyed. I, I still am not exactly sure why I'm feeding this mind flayer, but I'm basically just trying to figure out if anything cool is going to happen. Now, I'm going to try and give this guy a chicken first. And then we'll give him the corpse. You return. Will you aid me? We need to feed. We need a brain fresh and frantic to restore our strength. Um, offer the mind flayer the body you're carrying. Oh shit! I can't offer him the chicken, huh? Well, yes. That will do nicely. I mean, this is pretty good. We're, and as you we're, have we're aided giving me, one, so I we're kind of playing off our enemies against you. each other. You feel its presence gently probing the palace of your mind, as it finds a mostly vacant spot. Power and knowledge flood your brain, unlocking a new secret. Now leave. I will feed. Alone. I'm killing humans and giving them to mind players as food. I don't know why this happened exactly, but I... My alignment's neutral. They were already dead. I wasn't... I didn't go out and kill them to feed them to the mind flayer. Well, I did kill them, but for a completely different reason. And then the mind flayer was like, can I find a corpse? And I was like, I have a corpse lying around. What was the reason? That um, they were about to bust my cover. I, it's very, I have a companion that I'm traveling with who's trying to break it back into their old temple. They recognized her and they were like, you are truly lost. And I was like, this could get bad. Stab. And the guards were like, why did you just murder someone right in front of us? And I said, Fuck off or I'll murder you to the guards. Things are spiraling a little out of control. I fear that I may have crossed the line into an evil character. <laughs> I'm not a murder hobo. However, I am planning to kill this mind flayer now that he's helped me. <laughs> but that, that makes sense, doesn't it? That makes sense.
Okay. Hello, hello, hello. <sighs> yeah, I am a government droid. All right, so now we've talked to the Mind Flayer a little bit. You have done me a service. And received appropriate thanks. Now leave. I will feed alone. I think we should kill him. Right? Because he's given us no indication that he's actually on our side at all. He is going to constantly need food, so he's going to kill the refugees. We already got the tadpole. Oh, so he was fine with me because I'm partially a lithid. That's the reason. Yeah. God, I don't even know what to go for here. Um... Black Hole is awesome. Yeah, Black Hole does seem pretty good. Mind, san Mind Sanctuary seems overpowered. Like, outrageous. So I think I'm going to go for that. And we're going to... We're going to put down a Mind Sanctuary. Like here, just to test it out. And then we're going to attack. <laughs> and we're going to... Oh, I'm encumbered still. Why am I not doing very much damage? I'm only doing seven... Oh, because I'm using the club. I'm so fucking stupid. I should be using the blows. Okay, that was very dumb. Absorb its potential if you consume it. How did I just. How did Spiffy just do 71 damage in one turn? That's. Cr that's. That's wild. That is absolutely wild. Isn't it? It feels wild. Ring of Truthfulness. You gain an advantage on insight checks. Hmm. Chicken buff. The game is kind of bugged in that you get two free attacks if you start off combat with an attack. Really? Didn't even know that. Why do I have a dead chicken in there? Dude, why do I still have the corpse in my backpack? I thought I'd given the corpse to the Mind Flayer. Mind Flayer brain. Consume. This is getting too weird. <gasps> it's overripened. What? Wait, I wasn't supposed to consume it. It's overripened thanks to your feeding. Oh, I'm so fucking stupid. I didn't think I. I thought that's what I was supposed to do with it. True soul, Alien. Your time has come. The absolute calls all to all faithful, and you have to be faithful indeed. 
Leave your barracks, leave your armor, leave all insignia of rank behind you. Part of the flaming fist no longer. Wow. Oh, I ate its brain. I didn't... I Oh, I should have just used it. <laughs> why did I put it in my mouth? Bro, why did I put it in my mouth? I thought that's what I was supposed to do. Oh, shit. God damn it. Okay, well, that was an entirely bizarre interaction. So, God, there's so much to do over here. Let's go back up here towards this camp and go around in this direction. Mm. What's that? What's what? Ah, I don't Let's know. See. It didn't do anything because you already got an illithid point from him. Oh, I see. I meant from. I thought it meant from the overfeeding, like because I had fed. Do you know what I mean? Because I had fed on the brain, but I guess it meant because I fed him. I see. Quite a spot, eh? Knocks the breath out of me to get up here. But the views are worth it. Okay, nice. Good to know. This is just another one of those circus posters. Another quake. What's going on? Oh, these quakes. The are... There's something... That's not good, probably. A toy block and a loot. Reflections of a gullible prick. Um, 17 days, didn't let us into the city. I'll make a home in a chicken coop. So this is somebody's home, is in a chicken coop? Hello? Who's made their home in a fucking chicken coop? Are you planning to bed Bren in this run? No. Well, I'm not planning... I mean, who knows? We'll see what happens, I suppose. What's that? What's what? Oh, the Sword Coast Courier's Key. Okay. Interesting. So how are we going to misuse that? Life of Beaky. The Pigeons. Orange of Beak and Charcoal of Wing. Rare as the Voldurian who has not glimpsed the flash of his wing darting hither and fro across our fair city. Okay. The Post House Dog's Log. All with sneak. Oh, Scratch! Oh, it's Scratch! And Snee and Bolworth. Ah. Let's just close those doors so that they don't know there's somebody snooping around their house. You know what, actually? It would, be make, it would make sense to close these doors as well. When you're looting a house, it does make sense to close the doors behind you. Oh, hello. Pigeons are very sensitive. Thank you. They can't fly straight if they're disturbed. Good, good, good to know. Good to know. To Lord Haverford Gist. Um... Okay... Anything else here interesting? Experienced Forge Assistant. Okay. The refusal of admittance. Uh, to Lily Chasman at the Provost Academy. Um, okay.
The pigeon carries itself with an air of dignity, its mannerisms stern and commanding. Salute the pigeon. The bird coos its approval, yet you noticed it flinched at the sight of your hand. Show your palms to the bird. The bird stares, eyes filled with fury. Perhaps your open hands are a symbol the bird has learned to hate. What? What do you mean the bird has learned to hate? Right, we're talking to this pigeon. This pigeon is incredibly interesting. Zen wasn't supposed to play. Echo, thank you very much for the eight months. Thank you, thank you. All right, what is going on? There's a war on. Lieutenant Spiffy the Twiddler reporting for duty. At ease! At ease! Um, this is the old chicken Lester, out of Chicken Run. Leader of the finest aerial communication regiment this side of the Chionfa! State your purpose, brown walker. I don't have all day. Why have you got a commander? Because we deliver communications across dangerous enemy territory with only our superior wits and aerial agility to protect us. Uh, even our skills have their limits. We've lost several experienced flyers recently. I saw a lot of dead ravens. But still... Damn shame. Intelligence is in short supply, but we know our enemies flanked us on the west side. Not one rooftop away. One We're rooftop? We're avoiding the whole area. I won't lose one more beak to the blighter. Oh, there's like a bird of prey out there or something? If you pass that way, beware the sign of the featherless wings. From that rooftop, none return. Huh. I've no need of a wing man. Commander Lightfeather will give you your briefing. <laughs> a little wet under the wing for our unit. The commander will soon straighten you out. Okay, so one rooftop away, there's something scaring the pigeons. Let's see if we can deal with it. To Sword Coast Couriers to send and to serve. Delivery not guaranteed. Oh, yes, I did find the body of one of the couriers. Gonwick, that's a real shame. Fine courier he was. Stumped out, I'll replace him. Most want to get into the city these days, not leave it. We've had to cut our courier services completely. I'll tell you, it's left me in a right pickle. I've sent what I can by pigeon, but now something's attacking them and all. Become a postmaster, Danzo. It'll be easy. Nobody mentions having to spend your evenings hunting for pigeon carcasses, do they? Don't worry, I'll solve it. You sense there's more to his anxiety than a few missing letters. My face looks revolting. I mean, what has happened to me? I could find the pigeons for you. My fees are very reasonable. Well, uh, if it's not too much trouble, uh, I'd be much obliged. Any letters you find, bring them back to me, unopened, of course, and there's some gold in it for you. Hmm. Let's see if we can get the proper I story, you've, though. Uh, stumbled across. Much appreciated. Hmm. Right, so one rooftop away is what the pigeons said. So what is what is one rooftop away? Is that what is one rooftop away from this building? Hi. This building? Ah, the featherless wings. Okay. The priests will open the temple up again. You will see. They're good people. Holy people. Not true. Not true. Doubt. If you're looking for Ill Martyr's charity, you're out of luck. They've turned their backs on us. 
like everyone else. Don't worry, I'll I'll go talk to him. The crying one weeps today. Our father Logan is dead. Murdered. Logan wasn't the person that I killed, was it? The best of us. I I don't want to talk. My heart is in mourning. Hmm. Okay. Well then, let me go and have a look at what's going on in here then. If there's a murder scene, let me get involved. What the fuck is going on there? Who are you? Look, investigator. Brilgor might have been a criminal. What but he the was fuck no is this flying elephant? You're missing something. You have to be. Enough, Yanis. Listen to yourself. You are defending a man who ritually slaughtered your high priest. The evidence speaks for itself. Brilgor killed Father Logan, then, be it out of shame or profane duty, offed himself with the same blade. Case closed, Sister Yanis. Why do you have a monocle and a pipe? Shitey little elephant. <laughs> oh, um, I apologize. Ginger. Shitey little elephant. Language like that hardly befits a rector of Ilmata. Rector? I barely know her. Uh, sorry. Um, sounds like you haven't quite the disagreement. Apology accepted. Um, don't apologize. Sounds like a lot of bollocks anyway. I wouldn't go that far. But the investigator is being particularly challenging right now. Two people just died on Temple Grounds. Oh, two A high people. Priest, Father Logan, and one of the new refugees, Brilgor. Oh, no. Investigator Valeria thinks it's a murder and is content to blame Brilgor, the politically convenient target. Hmm. I mean, I would love to get a job here snooping around because that's exactly what I want to do in order to keep the pigeons safe anyway. Feel free to look around the temple. But fair warning, the investigator won't change her mind without significant new evidence. Maybe I should go and talk to the investigator. Charette's caress would be my best bet. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's her usual haunt after closing a case. Ah, oh, Christ. Charette's caress. Okay, so we need to go over there with um, Lazelle as well. Valeria never found the murder weapon, so that could be a start. Anything disproving the refugee murder suicide angle, really. Okay. I really hope you find something. For all our sakes. Um, why is Gail inspired by that? Uh, right. So, let's have a read of this stuff. A lot of films about self flogging. Okay. Against Father Lorcan, he'll need to rest his soul. But his methods need to rest with him. We need change. Should we talk to Bill or Clements? Let's talk to Bill, the progressive. We let more outsiders in, and more Baldurians die. Duke Stelney. Maybe Father he's not Lorcan, progressive. It's no coincidence. We have faith here, Bill. Faith in people, no matter where they're from. Who had more nope, faith as it turns than out, Father Lorcan? Not progressive. How did that work out? I heard your priest died. My condolences. Thank you, stranger. Father Lorgan's passing has saddened us all. Passing? He was murdered by one of the fugitives he was harboring. Bill, I beg you, be quiet. Even sinners receive Ilmater's grace, and Father Lorgan knew that. We don't pick and choose who we aid. Hmm, to offer arms to all who need it. That's the sign of a noble soul. Thank you, stranger. Astarion disapproves. I take some solace Shut the fuck knowing up, Astarion. that he died in Ilmater's service. Does Ilmater's service involve protecting heretic absolutists? Or oh, perhaps I missed that sermon. Enough, Bill. You seem a kind soul. Our temple is open to you. Walk well. Okay. 
Okay. Of exactly this. Exactly this. So we need to look for evidence. Hmm. Soups of the Realms by Brother Donic. Don't think we need to have a look at that particularly. Now, where is the murder scene? That's what we want to find out. I've said all I have to say already. Now I just want to pack up my kitchen and leave. I'm investigating Logan's murder. What do you know? I know it's not fair. This was the best job I ever had. Logan was kinder than most. And now they're blaming a refugee for his death. <laughs> Typical. So you don't... Uh, yeah, can you think of anyone who'd want to kill Logan? Some folk didn't like how he looked after the refugees. But I don't think they'd kill him for it. At least, I hope they wouldn't. That's a scary thought. Well, at the moment, we've met exactly one person that's politically opposed to Father Logan. Um, now, we have an ornate wooden hatch there. Where does that go to? Oop, there's blood on the floor. Let's follow the blood. What is that? Okay. More blood. More blood. Is this a ritualistic killing? On the Weary, Volume 1. Perhaps the hardest suffering to ail is that which dulls but does not pang. Weariness sits deep within one's soul, but it casts its miring net across the surface, dampening all errant thoughts and feelings in its wake. Malaise of this sort can rot the heart if left to fester, but must be extricated carefully. Above all else, the weary soul knows itself better than you can. Do not condescend, do not assume, do not impose. Simply avail yourself as a tool to the weary. Let them know you can be used however they might need. Hmm. Book of Ilmatari Death Rites. This page on the turning is particularly dog-eared. Okay. Mm. Oh. If it would spare the dying wretch some suffering as they pass, tell them that the weeping god awaits them with his balming embrace. Make them believe. Whatever torments their soul bears in the realms belong, it remembers not their bodies, and spare them at least this final passing moment from hardship. So basically just lie to them about saying they're going to heaven, even though they are definitely not, because they're sinful. This looks like a fake wall. But maybe not. Hmm. You know, I'm not a very good detective, I don't think. Hand drum, sheet music. What is this plea of rest? Hmm. Okay. Let's have a look through this door first. Better than an elephant, surely? Maybe not. I mean, that elephant can fly. I know a lot more than me. Be wary. This place is trapped. So we have a scroll of dominate person. Scroll of arcane lock. Wait, that sounds fantastic. What is the would-be saint? Mm, okay. So let's disarm this first. Nice. Good roll, good roll. Easy. Right tool will do the trick. Good again, good again, good again. Elixir of Battle Mage's power. Okay. Miracles of the Outer City. Soup still showing up at refugee camp even after temple closed kitchen. Curious. Okay. 
Uh, now it looks like we could get out behind this thing. Yes. So. Where does this go? Suddenly. Suddenly. I'm feeling like a detective. Suddenly I'm feeling like a flying elephant. Now, we might all want to hide here. We're missing somebody. Gale! You have my attention. Gale, jump over there. What the fuck? I've got a long road ahead. What? Why did... How did Spiffy just fly? Oh my god, he knows how to fly. I didn't realize Spiffy knew how to fly. Since when... Holy shit. Wait, he's actually a detective elephant. Yeah, he's in a lithid, so now he can fly. That's fucking crazy. No time to rest. Okay, let's all... Let's all hide, yeah? Now... Let's sneak around this side. Let's sneak around behind these people. <gasps> we got caught. Oh, you're kidding me. Well, Muzz Rudd and Zoma here. Oh, fucking hell. What if we just fucking flew away? What if we actually just twinkle toes away? Bye. And then it. Then what if we hid? Just out of view. Hmm. Where'd he go? Who have they killed here? They killed a bunch of people, haven't they? Ah, oh, shit. I've been spotted. Oh, I've still got the... Oh, no, I don't have the club. Wait, I'm doing so much damage with Flurry of Blows now. Why would I ever attack? Why wouldn't I always unarmed strike? Wait, do I do more damage if I don't have a weapon? 8 to 15. Do I literally do more damage without a weapon? <laughs> he finally figures out that Mugs should literally be unarmed. Wait, there's no way. There's no way. I thought the monk just got to do extra attacks unarmed that were good. I thought you would still want your main attack to be armed. Morphing damage. Holy shit. Dude, who the f What the fuck is going on there? There we go again. There's still somebody over there aggroed, but I guess they're out of range or something, because they ain't doing shit. Aspirant Dolor is talented if a touch careless. The dagger he discarded lurks within these caves somewhere. The fear musk from his kills stands in the air after the fact because he lets them marinate first. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, let's take that. Um, seems like good evidence. And then maybe not the best time. I didn't realize that he was actually trying to fight me.
left as my feet can carry me. I like I like that I've done all of this just with Spiffy. For no good reason. Did we help the pigeons yet? Well, I think I think what I'm doing right now will help the pigeons eventually. Someone was arranging these corpses. What for? Oh, you're fucking kidding me. I need to interrogate these things. Too much to bear. He has five. It was a shapeshifter. Yeah, why are these things shapeshifters? Right, so what's going on? Why are they arranging these? Why are they arranging these things? Better than nothing. Come on, group up. You guys can all avoid hiding now. Breathe quiet. Move with care. Come on. Panella Lumpen Six. The clown's severed torso. Oh my god, what has happened here? The effigy of a Lucera who watched and waited, or used her eyes, she thought herself a huntress but couldn't fathom her wool. Oh! Or in the red! Right. Oh Is this... What the fuck is going on here? This is creepy as shit. Let's put all of these things like a dead chicken back in the camp. Um, Blade of Oppressed Souls, the Lightning Jabber. Let's put all of this stuff back in the camp. Yeah, let's put all of this stuff back in the camp. I should free up my stuff a little. But now, if I sort by latest, clown's severed torso. Should I really have that? Why did you loot their torso? I don't know. It's evidence, isn't it? It's evidence. I'm an investigator. It's evidence. Good God. Open up. What is this thing? What, what is this sparkly stuff? Don't waste a step. Something over there. Ah, the still maker. Is this the dagger that he used? Yeah, let's use whole person. So much blood. Must be where Father Logan was slaughtered. Okay, so now have we got enough? We found a cruel and deliberately staged murder scene in Baldur's Gate. It could be the work of Orin. Okay. We found a murder weapon and flowery key underneath the open hand temple. We should check what the key opens. Yes. Okay, good point. We should check what the key opens. You're right. <laughs> What is the key going to be opening? Something down here, maybe? Why is all of this flashing? It seems like a bug. I'll give it a shot. The cave mouth. Should we be going this way? I don't know. I don't want to go through an, a new area until I've looked in this area. Don't say what that mouth do. It's a cave. It's water. Yeah, but even if it's re if it's reflecting the fire, it shouldn't be sparkling that brightly. There's a lot of dead bodies over here. Looks like they were trying to hide. Didn't work. 
Penance of a Broken God. Scroll of Seeming. Um, spicy Sausage Links. Mmm, delicious. Oh, you block. Dear Mrs. Priest. Oops, did I just pick that up? I meant to read it. Shit. Wait, where's it gone? Dear. What? Where's it gone? The fuck? Oh, I sent it to camp. You're fucking kidding me. <laughs> so dumb. No traps, please. Um, that was not worth reading. That was not worth reading. Um, what is this? Tenants of the Broken God. Don't think we need that. Rings. We don't need to steal those from his body. And desecrate his corpse. Request for arms. Okay. Don't need those either. Hmm. So did Orin kill Father Logan? Or is it Orin's people or what's what's going on here oh this is whoa what is this cloud kill oh that is not good that is a lot of poison damage but there's also a wooden chest there hmm ungroup Heal. Let's fucking go. Ouch. Oh my god. Not worthwhile. Honestly, I would say not worth. Emphatically not worth. Um, yeah, that, 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 that was not worthwhile. So, now I guess let's explore in this direction. Oh no, this is the way in, wasn't it? So yeah, the only other place to go is down here. So if the key opens something, I assume it opens something in this cave. The vents probably have something to do with the poison, right? Yeah, I think if you cover the vents, then the poison disappears. I'm pretty weak. It'd be a good idea to get a healing cantrip. Ah, wait. Oh, bloody footprints, eh? Now, where are we? Oh, we can exit Boulder's Gate. No, we can... Ah, this is one of the ways to Shares' caress. Apparently, allegedly, maybe. I don't really understand, to be honest. Where are we? Oh, we've gone through there, and we're now on the other side. What the hell does that... I mean, we're not going to find something over here that the flowery key opens, are we? We're, we're miles away now. We're on a shipwrecked coast. I think we've gone too far. Yeah, I think we've gone too far. I think we just need to go back this way. Back to the beach. It does feel a bit like the beginning. Yeah, and these are... You can't reach this. What do you mean you can't reach this?
Worms Crossing. We could be inside the city walls before long. And I could be back where this all started. Oh my god. You're killing me. Sharon's using a place called the House of Grief as cover for their presence in Baldur's Gate. Then that's where we need to go. My parents are in there somewhere. Okay, now if you wouldn't mind moving out of the way, Shadowheart. Okay, let's all take a joint step away from this area. And now I've got the very important task of moving this fucking boulder. And now we need to go into the cave mouth all together now. Now, okay, let's have a look at this key. Not the still make of the key. Where did the key go? Where did the key go? Oh, fucking. Oh, it'll be on the key ring, won't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So the key ring is going to open something, but what's it going to open? I don't know. Is there something over here? I mean, there's some shabby wooden doors. Could have a look over there. Ah, this was this the way that I came in? I jumped over stuff? Walked in this direction? Yes. This was the way that I got into this place. So... What the hell is the key going to be for? We haven't found any locked doors, have we? How bizarre. Have we got everybody with us? Is everybody here? Present and correct. Wonderful. So let's... Ah. So you can get through... There. Right. Okay, that might be the thing that we need to go through. Okay, let's check this out first. I, I think I've gone the wrong way. Was there something across the poison? I don't believe so. But I think there was something here that I just didn't go to, which was in this direction. For God's sake, the others aren't following. What is wrong with them? Pull the lever. Ah, no, this is just a way that you get to this area. What did they just roll a perception check on? Let's go back and see what they rolled a perception check on. Ah, a heraldic sign. Ah, but that's just a button to open that door, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so where, what is the key for? Does the key operate something in this room? Here lies Satida Atana, born 1411 DR, died 1485 DR. Here lies Flintster Sunseeker, born 1400 DR, died 1456 DR. Here lies Sister Shira Clawen, date of birth unknown, died 1491 DR. Okay, why did I get experience Here for that? Here lies Reloric Windbane, born 1399 DR, died 1486 DR. Shira Clawen. Okay.
miss the goat monk? Yeah, I guess I did. I don't know who that is. I mean, I don't understand what any of these people, who they are or what the fuck they're doing. But they're not helping me with my investigation. Iron ladder. Right, but that just takes me back into this general area, doesn't it? I, I, I'm quite confused here, actually. The quest says, We found a murder weapon and flowery key underneath the open-hand temple. We should check what the key opens. How am I supposed to know what the key opens? Where's the flowery key? Oh, Frago's flop house. Okay, Frago's flop house in Worms Crossing. So let's go to Worms Crossing and try and find a place called Frago's flop house. In the meantime, we should take a look on the roof of this place if we can at all get up there. Um, aha, a ladder. Let's try and help the pigeons. So, we've got a necklace, and a bell. Aha! Wait a second. There's got to be a better way of getting down here, doesn't it? We could fly, presumably. this cat belong to Gale? You, Gale, is your fucking cat here killing everything on the roof? Gale, you've got to be kidding me. Gale, get One down leave. here. Get down here. I don't care if you take 20 HP, jump down here. Still breathing. What are you doing? Despite Go down there. Dakarios, heavens! Fancy seeing you here. Tara! <laughs> that can't be you, can it? I suppose you won't be terribly shocked to find your old friend Tara amongst the pigeons. They've always been a personal favorite. My, is that a ring? For us? Oh, you shouldn't have. Enjoy yourself now, Tara. Looks like you've got yourself set up quite nicely here. Well, I don't know. Gail, she's been eating all of the pigeons. She should probably stop eating some pigeons, shouldn't she? Let's ask let's ask what she's doing here first. She isn't my Trezin. She's my friend. And from the looks of things, it appears she's eating pigeons. Can you ask her to stop eating pigeons? Oh, right. Did you hear that, Tara? Um Stop it. Well, these must be important birds indeed, Mr. Dakarios. Forgive me for feasting on their bodies and bones so very voraciously. Oh, she's agreed. Just about. What in the fuck? What the hell is that? Okay, we have a bundle of letters. Let's get the bundle of letters. What? What is a tressim? Is that a cat with wings? Um, so we got a ring of blink. The ring of blink. Level 3 transmutation spell. Who should we put it on? Um, let's put it on Nastarion. Anything else? 
Postmaster shipment no inquiry. Seems simple enough. Mm. I don't really understand that. Are there any other letters scattered around here? That the cat has gotten off the corpse of pigeons? Doesn't look like it, does it? Okay, so I believe we've solved that mystery. Um, find the missing letters. Yep, let's go back to the postmaster then. And in the meantime, let's head to... Well... What? Oh shit. I mean, I don't know whether the others are going to make it here, but I'm just, I'm on my way back to talk to Postmaster Zanzo. Don't suppose you've uh, stumbled across those letters yet? You're not going to read the letters? I should probably, shouldn't I? Okay, let's let's read the letters first. That's a good idea. Would be sensible. Oh, I can't read the letters. You can only read the one for the Zentarim. Don't suppose you've uh, stumbled across those letters yet? <clears throat> I don't even know why this would be very interesting reading because I don't understand it. But open? What do you mean open? Oh, but then he won't pay me, but fuck it, whatever. Letter about taxes. Okay. Or anonymous letter. You're kidding me. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have opened them. I shouldn't have opened them. You trolled me. You trolled me. Don't suppose you've, uh... Stumbled across those letters yet? You... You read it. Technically, that's interfering with someone else's property. I should report you to the nearest manip. But you won't. Tell you what. Give it here and we'll say no more about it. I'll give you a nice little bonus as well. A, a finder's fee. What do you say? I've got another buyer lined up. Give me everything the Zenter and paid you, or this letter's at least. Oh my god. Um, I mean, he loves lying, and he loves deceiving people, and being a charlatan, so we've got to go for this, don't we? We've just got to go for this. Oh. That's close. Thankfully, I am the goat of deception. Fine. Just give me the letter. Forget you saw anything. This never happened. I do look quite comically evil, yeah. Wow, that is a lot of money. Go on, bugger off. <laughs> I, I have a business to run, in case you hadn't noticed. Bugger off. Okay, let's try and find the um, Worm Crossing. So I don't know where Worm Crossing actually is. Uh, but we're gonna have to try to get there, and I don't know which direction it even is, actually. Well, maybe we just keep exploring? Let's just keep going. Stelmane is dead. Who's Stelmane? Huh? What? Who? who? Who the fuck is Stelmay? Seems like a good moment to talk. Aren't you? I knew there was a story here, and there you are, the hero of the hour, walking right up to me. The name's Lens, reporter with the Boulders Mouth Gazette. Care to do a quick interview? Stelmay was Squiddy's old friend and business partner. Who is Squiddy? Who are you guys talking about? 
what? What? Sorry, an interview. Um, an interview about what? Oh, Squiddy is Bren, right? Right, right. You, of course. News travels fast in this city, and after your exploits, you're quite the celebrity. Me? This interview will be our biggest issue yet. It won't take more than two moments of your time. If you play your cards right, this could make the cover. I just need some extra details. So, you've arrived at Baldur's Gate. What's brought you here at a time like this? Oh, I've come to save the city. I am a great and powerful person. You have? But I thought our soon-to-be Lord Gortash had things in hand. Though, if anyone could help him, it would be you. You've got a knack for finding chinks in the Absolute's armor. My yep. sources tell me you recently vanquished the fearsome General I did. Patrick Thorne. I did. How I did, did you manage that? Ooh, um... I... ground his bones to dust. Even his god could not save him. Defying the gods themselves? I had no idea. Taking out one of the Absolute's generals was no mean feat. You must feel confident for the battles ahead. The cult's threat is far from extinguished. What's your plan of attack? Um... I... I, I will cut that rotten cult off at its head, take out its leaders. Gortash, maybe. You'll find me much harder to kill. Oh, that's Orin. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. So, you're the Lickspittle who crushed the Bone Lord's throat. Oh, I walked straight into that. <gasps> Have you come b b begging, sniffing for our stones? Mm. Gortash won't like that. Mm -hmm. A throat his black hand can't choke the spit from. <laughs> when you find the Lordling, tell him Orin is watching. She didn't oh, try to shapeshift her. How long Please. has she been watching? Orders are orders. Ha. Huh. Wow. Spiffy's desire to just gas himself up just blew back in his face on top of all of that if she had decided to attack me for whatever reason i i i have 23 health and none of my teammates are anywhere near me <laughs> okay so apparently i missed the clown show go to the circus first okay let's have a look i know sweetie but we'll be safe in the wild I mean, I've missed a lot of stuff actually over here, but is this the circus? Okay, I need to. First, I'm gonna I'm gonna go and take a long rest. I'm gonna take a long rest and get all of the rest of my party with me. Queen Vlakis. You are a Sherlock, and still you speak my name. I've seen the captive Orpheus with my own eyes, spoken to Shestil Kithrak Voss. You lie don't, to us. Don't, don't break Voss's cover, you fucking idiot. You Voss lies. Oh, we. I didn't think I she even knew that Voss was a betrayer. And you, her Sherlock, will listen. We are Githyanki. We move mountains. We snuff out stars. We shake the plains. The traitor Voss has lied to you. The heretic prince would shatter us in an instant. The great dominion shrunk to the head of a pin. Can this be true? Is the Githyanki prince really a threat to his own people? 
or simply a challenge to Vlakith's rule. Mm, sounds like bollocks to me. Return to the astral prism. Slay Orpheus the Pretender. Serve me, and I will ascend you. That sounds like a terrible you idea. Be no mere warrior, nor Kithrak. You will be part of Vlakith, commander of dragons. My only, my chosen. That sounds like an awful idea. A final chance. We'll just immediately get turned me. into mind flayers. Make your promise. Lazar's thoughts become yours. The sight of Orpheus looms over her mind. Voss's words echo within it. She means to forever turn her back on Vlacket. I mean, that seems like a good idea. Yeah, I mean, I think stand your ground. Yeah, in fact, I'm just going to keep silent. She's got it. I gave you my faith, and you called me traitor. I gave you my life, and you ordered your knights to hunt me. I have witnessed too much, and you have given me too little. Finally, I can see. Orpheus will live, and I will hear his creed. This is my word. Your word is nothing. You are nothing. The Kithraki will win you. I will tear your flesh from your bones and devour your skull's marrow while you beg for death. That's a I lot. will consume you. I will unmake you. Honestly, that went better than the last time we interacted with her. Last time she just wished us to death. Oh, holy shit. She's an angry woman. Um, Kill Orpheus and she will ascend life. We should meet Kithrak Voss and find out how to free the prince. I don't think we should do that, though. Um... Okay. Wait, who are you in my... Why are you here? Um, hi. It's me, Yenna. You remember me, right? I met you before, and, um, my mum hasn't come back yet. She might come later. I don't think she's coming. Could Aww. we maybe stay here? Is my camp really a good place for children? I think this kid would genuinely be better off in the refugee camp. Dude, I mean, that is an insanely creepy thing to say. Come back in 10 years. Um, I feel like it's just not a good place for a child to be hanging out. You know the shapeshifters killing people there? Who's to say she isn't a shapeshifter? What if this is Orin? This might be Orin, you know? You're the safest place right now. Mm, kill her to find out. <laughs> Wait, but actually, didn't last time she had heterochromia and now both of her eyes are blue? Maybe we should kill her. Might actually be a failed shapeshifting attempt. Blind? Those both look blue, don't they? Is that one green? All right. I, I mean, I'll, I'll vote. I'll, I'll leave the vote up to you. I'll leave the vote up to you. I, I'm not going to lie. I think Spiffy's enough of a pig that he'd probably say number three. But 
If we want Spiffy to be on the redemption arc, I suppose number one is the best. I mean, it seems like the redemption arc is winning out. Sideshow unlocks the rare Withers versus Orin camp battle. Fuck, I'd love to see Withers wreck somebody. Yes! You've got a fire and everything. I can cook really good. Whatever you want. Thank you, thank you. Really? Whatever I want? I want, uh, I want a caramel cheesecake. Where are you? All right, let's talk to Lazel first. It is done. There is no going back. As long as the Undying Queen reigns, I am never to soar unbound over the Astral Sea. Never to cross the One in the Void. As it should What be. is cross the One Better in the Void? Better a short life built on truth than immortality woven of lies. Better to unite the Githyanki under a prince who would free their minds and honor their bodies. Or so why do I feel we keep so the bitter. prince locked up? Hmm. Hmm. Let's connect with her parasite. Right. Loss. It permeates every corner of Lazel's mind. Everything she knew to be true, every plan and aspiration she ever held has been painfully ripped away. Lazel's bitterness is born of sadness. Aww. She is mourning the loss of the person she once was. Aww. And can never be again. Mm, yeah. How well you've come to know me. Well, no, I did but just cheat. Truth, I looked at your parasite. She didn't take everything. I have what I have gathered for myself. I'm more to a new regent, a new land, a new allies. I am the new Life regent. Cannot unmake she oh, wait, no, no all for sins, I see. And so from the old battle cries is birthed another. Tremar Zala Orpheus must still now forge an Yeri. Orpheus's will above all. May the comet blaze my path forward. Lazel literally cannot survive like 10 seconds without having some... Some powerful being to worship. Yeah, what are, uh, Stop immediately pledging yourself to Orpheus. Just... Just focus on yourself for a while, huh? Orpheus's freedom is my want and my need. To deny his freedom would be to deny my own. You are. There will come a time you are not a human. When I can think about myself I mean, beyond no, she's the not, Lich Queen but... who enslaves the Githyanki and the Prince who would liberate them, but that time won't come until the Prince of the Comet flies again. She is actually your friend who doesn't know what they want unless someone else tells them what they want. She doesn't have any independent thoughts. She literally just has to hook herself up to a bandwagon in order to exist. Um, right. We find Voss at Charesse's caress and retrieve the key to releasing the prince. Orpheus Tavki Narsin. Good God, you're such a follower. Um, right. What were we here for again? We were going to take a long rest, and then we were going to, yeah, just gather the rest of my party up with me, right? Um, doesn't look like anyone else needs to speak to me right now, so let's, where am I, where is my bedroll? Like, where do I actually sleep? <laughs> I don't know. Where do I sleep? Wait, not in the barn, surely. Over here, maybe? Nope, that's that's another barn. Where? What the hell? Where's my sleeping quarters? Huh. Is it back over this way? Around the fire? 
I brought my own paring knife. Now I just need some ingredients, and I'm gonna make something really good, I promise. Okay. I'm just a cat. <gasps> but, but please, talk to Yenna. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm just a cat. Uh, why are you so scared? Well, why are you so nosy? I'll fucking kill you. No, I won't. I won't. Is Yenna mistreating you? Y Yenna is my best friend. She's kind. H help her, not me. Do you know what happened to her mother? N nothing good, I don't think. She was so very sick. Then maybe she made like a cat and went off to to spend a last life. Can I pet you? But please don't. Why is this cat all timid? Animals love Spiffy. But please don't look at me. What the hell? That's a traumatized cat. Where the hell is... Oh, there we go. There's my sleeping area. What is going on? How did you... Oh. It's you. I must have let my mind wander. Enough for you to wander in. Hello. Forgive How's it going? Me. I am drained. Ever since you killed Catherick and took his netherstone, the Chosen's control of the brain has been brittle. Okay. It's rebelling against Orin and Gortash. Fiercely. I suspected that when we took Catherick's stone, the brain would begin to break free. Oh, those are brain quakes. Those brain quakes confirm that my suspicion was correct. The brain quakes. I do not know what happens now when it receives their orders. And I do not dare guess. You feel the Emperor's fear as if it were your own. An elder brain enslaved is one thing. An elder brain unleashed will be the end of everything. Beautiful, isn't it? The mighty Prince Orpheus, contained in submissive slumber. I'm not. I'm not sure that's beautiful. Come. You may as well sit a while. Now that you are here, your company isn't unwelcome. <laughs> um. Okay, cool. Um, you seem troubled. An accurate summary. I have found myself distracted of late. I'm haunted by memories. They are relentless. I can think of nothing. No one else. Um, who? Who? Duke Stelmay, or Berlin, as I knew her. Who? I wasn't ready for her death. Uh, how, you thought you were my first ally. How do you know that she's I'm dead? from it. I have long sought the allyship of others. It is the only way to succeed. Though my relationship with Berlin was different from my relationship with you. How so? In life, she was my business partner. Back when we ran the Knights of the Shield. A difficult task for a mind flayer. Duke Stelmain trusted me, and the city trusted her. I concede the plot, but Berlin took center stage. It was she who met with the merchants, politicians, and patriots. This sounds very similar it to my role. It was she who negotiated deals and signed off on agreements. Her rooms played host to the most important conversations in the city. Together, 
we brought order to chaos. At its height, everything that happened in that city went through the shield. Through us. I could not have done any of it without her. Just as I cannot do any of this without you. Okay. But now, she is gone. That's a tragedy. Do you need a hug? I'm not going to say that. Um, I'm either going to say I'm sorry for your loss, or if I didn't know you were a mind flutter, I'd say you are upset. But that seems a little offensive, so I think we should just say I'm sorry for your loss. I appreciate your understanding. What I feel is deeper than superficial cures can reach. And not entirely unwelcome. Most people think that Mind Flayers are soulless husks who feel nothing. I am glad you are not most people. Give the Emperor's hand a reassuring squeeze. Sure. Just, I would do that for anybody. Another quake. The brain is rebelling again. I need to focus. And so do you. Okay. I guess he didn't like me enough. I don't really understand how I fucked that up, but there you go. You know, we just had a very friendly encounter. Long rest without supplies to see any story scenes. Where the fuck am I? Where am I? Oh, there's Gale. What the fuck are you lot up to? Yeah, they were stuck on the roof a little bit. It's all right though. We got them. We got them. Is that blood? No, never mind. You can't get in trouble for trap, for trespass, for sneaking into places as a kid, right? Just wondering. Yes, you definitely can. We're going to see the mummy, the dryad, the ginny, everything. So don't even think about trying to stop us. What are you talking about? What are you waffling about? Why are we getting trouble? We won. Oh, this is the circus over here. Right, right. Get on my way. In the circus. I'm stupid enough to leave Remind them that this is our city. And don't take kindly to parasites. Don't like that kind of talk. I don't like that kind of talk. A Baldurian. Good. Lots of unfamiliar faces in the city these days. Mm. Mm. Stinks of cheese. Between his piggy toes. How dare you? What in the hell is all of this? A necessity, good sir. The Steel Watch loves pretending sweet Rivington doesn't exist. So we have decided to protect you, dear patrons. <laughs> no need to thank us. You'll be allowed in once I've done this batch. Next! Hello, hello, and welcome to the Circus of the Last Days. The finest extra planar circus there is. What is an egg? Why is it? Why is a ghoul sniffing people? Uh, why is a ghoul sniffing people? Oh, uh, this is Benjamin. Say hi, Benji. Me. That's not the same Benji as hello. Here checks all our patrons to make sure none of you are vicious murderers. <laughs> Can't be too careful. But enough of this. The circus is a place of joy and distraction. So uh, come inside and forget your worries. 
I'd like to enter the circus. Not a problem, dear patron. Benji just has to check if you're a vicious murderer. Uh-oh. Benji? <sighs> ah! Brain juice smells like piss and iron! No like. Oh, well, that's a first. Usually I'd allow you in, but in these times, oh, I can take no chances. No. Move along. No circus for you. Uh, uh, I've actually just been hired. I do martial arts. I mean, I'm not a threat to you or anyone else in the circus. I swear it. <laughs> God, if I mean, I've just been hired. What should we go for, chat? Should we go for the persuasion or the deception? Me when I lie. <laughs> All right, let's go for it. I hope you're good. The red caps got a little too excited when the last one nicked himself. Ooh. Welcome to the circus. A motley crew of misfits and morons. <laughs> We're happy to have you. Excellent. Now, Benji, can we... Can we fix things? No like you. No like your smell. Astarion is inspired. Hmm. Okay. Um. Read her thoughts. Let's do it. I know her mother's maiden name. Does this also not understand common? Do you want to buy <laughs> face paints? <laughs> I'd like to see your face paints. Mm. <laughs> what the fuck? Why do you have face paints? The selection of pa face paints transform the applicant into a vibrant clown as if by magic. Wait, that's so good. Wait, that's so good. Wait, we're absolutely using that. Color spray, disguise self. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Fucking amazing. Where's the face paint? Can we find the clown? Oh, the clown's dead, isn't he? Oh, that's a tragedy. Enjoying the show? Then you're going to love Dribbles. He's about to perform on stage. Oh, I think he's already dead. I think he's been killed, mate. And I've got his torso in my bag. You know, that's not going to look good. of storm and steel is an endless scream in nature's womb. I have felt no peace here until now. Your eyes, Stira. There is pain, <laughs> endless and Look deep, at my clown face. But also devotion, blazing like the sun. You're in love, are you not? Uh, yes, yes, yep. You are wise to admit it. When it comes to love, vulnerability is fun. <laughs> Truth, sword, God, I look so bad. Trust, a shield. I pray you wield all three, Stira. Bring the one you love to me. I will 
look into your hearts. I don't even know which one I love. love is eternal or doomed eternally. Is it Lazelle? Is it Shadowheart? Oh my god. What say you, Shadowheart, Astarion, Gale? <laughs> oh, or I could go get him. Um, I think Shadowheart's the closest to Max, like, appreciation for me. It can't hurt, I suppose. Unless you embarrass me. Then you might find yourself hurting in a whole manner of ways. Uh-oh. Close your eyes, little one. What is about to happen? Be still as stone to earth. And remember to breathe. God, look at these horrendous clown eyes. What have we done here? Hello? Uh oh. I see you. I see the bond between you. So tender. So fragile. But do you see it for yourselves? I see a log. Shadow heart. An endless storm surges behind sharp eyes. Listen. Think. From where does Shadowheart draw comfort on a cold, dark night? Oh, bollocks. I have to... Oh, shit. I actually have to have listened to what they were saying. Uh, I mean, we did have a wine and chatting night, so I think probably this one. Well put. Though so I'll forgive a middling wine so long as the company makes up the difference. Okay, I did know that one. I knew that one. I knew that one. Hear how your bond thrums with pleasure. Strong, vital, pulsing with affection. Dude, Spiffy wants to bonk both of them. Comfort, but needs respect. How does one earn? The dark-haired maiden's respect. <coughs> Sorry. Dark-haired? She isn't dark-haired anymore. Do you have eyes? Okay. <laughs> Farting on a cellar night. The heart craves comfort but needs respect. How does one earn the dark-haired maiden's respect? Oh. Being discreet, actually... We, she was happy that we didn't share something with other people, but I can't remember exactly what it was. Um, I don't think she's ever said anything about being kind to animals. I've also kicked a squirrel in the face. I think being discreet might be the best one. Very good. Just don't say it so loud. Okay. The sweetest loves dance lightly on the tongue. But now we must dig deeper. Into the most painful reaches of the spirit. Shame sits in the soul of all. To tame it, we must name it. Really? Shadow Heart, what is her deepest shame? Um, her hair. <laughs> she doesn't know who she is or where she belongs. I assume that's her deepest shame. But I, I also think she can't swim, right? Have I just made that up or is that a thing? Did she say before that she couldn't swim? I, I, it's got to be number one. It's got to be number one. Although I'm not sure she really considers that a shame, does she? Don't really know. I didn't think a little game would sting so much when I agreed to this. But you're right. Okay. A perfect score. I'm flattered. Have you been studying up on me every night at camp? How close you are. 
Two hearts beating a perfect rhythm. But I know the truth. Only one face haunts your dreams each night. Close your eyes, sweetness. Oh, and fuck me. It's going to be Orin again, is it? Uh-oh. We've have we actually been baited by Orin again? Still rolling in the muck, I see. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. She knows you are kind. It's unbelievable. Knows you have the bone lord stone. Do not let him hiss hot air into your worm weakened brain. Oh, your bond will not save you. That's ridiculous. Orin is dominating me. around your neck and make you swing from it. Remember. We need to like stick a sign on her back or something so we can tell who she is. My blade carves the truth. You will read it on your skin soon enough. Dude, Orin is everybody. Oh, join with me. What does she want? Quite. What does she want? Yo, a gin. A destroyer of planes. Approach! Ugly one! I think he's talking to you, Gail. <laughs> you are very loud. Yes! <laughs> Behold! A Kabi's wheel of wonders! Spin! To win prizes beyond your tiny imagination and make your miserable life more bearable. Um. What kind of things? Akabi has traveled across the plains, burning and conquering all. Win the spoils of such conquest. Or he loves a gamble. If luck smiles upon you, win the grand prize. The jackpot. He loves a gamble. I'm gonna spin the wheel. Let us see if you have luck's favor. Come on, come on. Alas, no jackpot for you, ugly one. But you may have this. Thanks. You are welcome, putrid one. Putrid. Return again to try and you. Staff of a mumbling wizard. Because it was designed by a compulsive mumbler, this staff can't distinguish between its spells, so it can only cast fireball or, or firebolt at random. So it either casts Fire Bolt or Fire Ball. That's kind of cool. So it either does 2d10 or 8d6. <laughs> that's, that's quite funny. <laughs> that's quite funny. Okay, clearly the Jin is cheating. Alright, who has the highest perception? Uh, What is perception again? Is that intelligence? Oh, dude, I can't even remember. Uh, fucking... Blah, 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 blah. Where's perception? Wisdom. Okay. 12, 10, 18. Okay, Shadowheart. I'm gonna need you to take a spin of the wheel. Let us start a conversation. Approach! Behold, don't call... Spin. Don't call Shadowheart ugly one. Win prizes Do not call... Ah, oh, Shadowheart doesn't have enough money. Four hundred and ninety-three, you've gotta be kidding me. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Alright, we we've gotta There must be some people we can pickpocket, right? Worthless treasure crates. I must keep going. This is fake. I mean How do we I want to sell some stuff. How, where's where's the where's the closest place to sell things? Um. 
still alive. So that's progress. Rob some kids. Deep and move. Yeah, who could we steal from? Montgomery, who are you? Did you see that bloody ghoul at the entrance? Sniffing us of all things. What kind of circus is this? Quite. Read chat. What do you mean? There's a store in the circus. You just did it? Oh, yeah. Zara. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, let's start selling some things. Uh, let's sell some topaz. Let's sell strange chunk of amber. Sure. Fuck it. Why not? Sell that. Sell some, sure, we'll sell those. I don't know what these things are. Sell those. Let's sell that. Uh, let's keep that just in case it does something. Um, can't remember what that does. Those faded instructions might be useful. Um, bloodstone we could sell. What else? Worn letter? Fuck it. Let's uh, let's. The only reason I was keeping letters around, I think, was to give to the. I can't even remember. Scroll of evidence. We might need that. Map of Moonhaven. We might need that. I don't know. I think we can sell all of these things. I mean, maybe I'm fucking up here, but... Oh, we want to keep this. The field report from Deathstalker's um. It's got a journal. We can get rid of that. Um, I don't know what any of these things are, really. Oppression and peacocks. Um, what else? Gold necklace that we stole from the refugees. A locket. Some leather gloves, silver band. Uh, yeah, we can sell these things. Let's sell some torches. Fuck it. Um, oh, I forgot about this. Yeah. Oh, that only works in the Gauntlet of Shah. Oh, I mean, that's not even useful anymore for us, is it? A shovel, some scrolls. Many, many, many scrolls, actually. I can't remember what bitter divorce is. But I'm going to keep it for now. I can't remember what half of these items are. Wait. Th that soul those soul coins are worth so much. But I don't know what they are. These coins can power infernal engines. I don't know what infernal engines are. They're worth so much. Are the soul coins for Karlak? She's got 14 gold left. Oh, fuck. I didn't even realize. Wait, why is she giving me a discount? Oh, she's giving me a discount because... She's giving me a discount because I told her about face painting or something. All right. Well, whatever. We've got, we've got, some, we've got enough money now. We've got enough money. <laughs> Okay, we now have a lot of money. That's fu That's good. That's good. Where's the rest of the gold? Okay. Shadowheart, I'm going to need you to Let's get on with it. have a good old go at this. Keep no harm in a little conversation. The spongy mortal returns! Spin the wheel Holy shit. and change your fate. I'd like to spin Let the wheel. See if, you have luck's favor. if you're scamming me, I will murder you. Oh my god, we failed the perception save. Holy Alas, shit. No jackpot for you, ugly one. But you may have this. You are welcome, the gem of restitution.
Wait, what? An exceedingly loyal gem that just so happens to return to its owner's pocket if sold. Very useful were it not for the fact that it is the circus genie who owns it. Wait, so if you try to sell that... <laughs> it just goes back to the genie. You should try to... I, I don't think I can steal my stuff from him. I can't pickpocket him. Don't you pickpocket him? Do you have to be hidden? Oh, wait a second. You can. I forgot how to pickpocket. What to do? Have to keep going. What do we have here? Ah, is it Mage Hand that he's using to cheat us? when you can't pick a pocket correctly. You gotta be fucking kidding me, man. You gotta be kidding me. Better be cautious. Should mind my step. All right, time to skulk about. I mean, this target 22, that's gotta be doable, man. That's gotta be doable. What about if I split this? in the act. Oh. Your touch isn't as light as you'd hoped. Oh, oh yeah, Starion oh, should be goaded at this, right? Plus. So. Red -handed. Holy fuck, dude, we are getting we are trolling out here. We are trolling. Caught with your hand in a pocket. Dude, we are, we are trolling. We are trolling. What Carefully now. Hello, you. Any readers? What do you mean, any readers? Target zero. Click on that. Target 18, right? Oh, if it's red, does that mean it's not possible? But it is possible. I could still roll an 18. Oh, does that mean I need to roll 18 in order to hit it, though? Not that I need to... Ah... I need to roll an 18, 19, or 20. What I thought this meant was, I need to hit a, 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 like a, a skill check 18, including my bonuses. So I have a, I have a plus 12 on Astarion, so I thought I only had to roll a 6. But what you're saying is I need to roll an 18. Why does it do it the opposite way around to everything else? Everything else, you open up the thing, and it's like, you must... Hit 18, and it adds all your stuff on, and then if you beat the 18, you get it. And now it's saying, like, what this actually is, is like a DC 30. Just steal the ring, my dude. Oh, this subtle magical ability explains how the genie cheats. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I didn't read that part. Is that the part you meant? Oh, it literally said that's how the genie cheats. Interesting times. Hello, genie. You failed to win the grand prize, but fear not, Groot. Yes! You will win the jackpot this time. I am sure of it. Impossible. You thief! You cheated! <laughs> How does it feel, sucker? Wait, surely we shouldn't admit to cheating. Surely we shouldn't admit to cheating. We should just be like, I have no idea what you're talking about. I mean... <laughs> dude, look at me. Absolute clown, motherfucker. You want me to say, how does it feel, sucker, to the gin? Surely we lie to him, don't we? And say we have no idea what he's talking about. Um, okay. I mean, I guess. How does it feel, sucker? You dare! Ain't 
Enjoy the jackpot, muley cat! Oh my god. Oh! Genie. Where am I? What the fuck? He's, he's like casting me back in time to the dinosaur era. What the hell? What the fuck? In the jungle somewhere. Light on my feet. Holy shit. This is a level 10. What am I, level 9 at the moment? Level 9. Good god. Okay. And there's a pile of bones right there too. From other people the genie has fucked with in the past. Also, you can fly? Oh, yeah. What is that? Wow. Holy shit. I mean, the idea of being able to kill dinosaurs here is incredibly attractive. Oops, I am no longer disguised. Oops, I lost my cloak of shadows. What's inside? Skeleton, eh? Anything else interesting over here? I mean, we could jump over to there. Is that a motherfucking dinosaur? Yes, it is. Yes, yes, it in fact is. Thieves tools. I better roll better than a ten. Twelve, that'll do it. That'll do it. Holy shit, what is this? This weapon will return to your hand when thrown. You cannot be forced to drop the trident. When thrown, the weapon creates an explosion that deals 3 to 12 thunder damage. You are immune to falling damage. And it shines with a glowing light. Good God. These are some insane weapons that we're finding. I don't even... I feel like I'm wasting the weapons. Yeah, was there more to explore here? <laughs> Cannot find path. Really? Succeeded the hiding check. Oh. I'm still hiding. Still hiding. Is there more stuff for me to explore here? Just 
just me, cloak of shadows up, creeping around. Hmm. I should probably be turn-based here, shouldn't I? Just in case this runs out. Does this... this guy ever press alt? Yeah, there was nothing around there, was there? Oh, dead adventurer. Vision, heroism, and I ain't dead. Well, you've got all sorts of stuff on you, don't you? Okay. going here it is a fucking good idea that this thing was asleep. it's a good job that this thing was asleep should we kill one and see what it drops is that just crazy mess with genies. I've learned my lesson. Pa used to tell me I needed to stop with the tricks, that I'd meet someone I couldn't fool someday. Okay. Rock bottom isn't when forgiveness is hard gained. It's when you've laughed, threatened, begged, and cried, and they still won't let it go. I shouldn't have taken that genie's shinies. I shouldn't have tweaked his wheel, and I shouldn't have rubbed it in his face. I've learned my lesson, Pa. Too late. But you do have... Hmm. Some not particularly useful things. I never imagined he'd send me to Chult. I read stories about this place as a child. I thought it was a wondrous land teeming with exotic beasts. Huh. The monsters guard a portal. Well, we should probably we should probably kill this genie for sending us here, huh? I mean, he's sent a lot of people to their deaths over here. That ring is crazy. It doesn't seem great for anything I'm doing. Can we sneak attack? Also, what is looking at us right now? Something from the low ground? Yeah, it can't see us. How do we sneak attack? They don't even drop anything. Out of sight. Out of mind. Okay. Best be on my way. XP? True. I mean, we just had to see, you know? We just had to see whether it was worth slaughtering an entire endangered population of dinosaurs. Because, you know, may maybe it could have been. Huh. Yeah, we looked over there, didn't we? 
think we've looked in all of these little areas. Minus 24 HP. What about if we fly down there now? God, this illithid flying thing is so good. Alright, where the fuck is this gin? This gin is going down. Imagine you banish someone to a dinosaur filled land and they come back like two seconds later. F5. Okay, well, F5. Explore the circus first? I mean, we're gonna have a nice conversation <laughs> with him. How did the despicable cheetah enjoy his vacation? I won the jackpot. Give it to me. You have my ring. That is reward enough. Now be gone. Akabi is bored of you. Ooh, Akabi, I'm going to fucking destroy you. Akabi is tired of the Wheel of Wonders. He is now closed. Okay. I'm... <sighs> Astarion? I'd like you to... Steal everything he owns. Literally everything that sounds useful at all... Steal it. Um, does any of this sound useful, actually? It's a cheap imitation. Nothing more. Oh, it's not even real. It's a cheap imitation. Oh, Nothing bro. More. These things aren't real? It's just cheap tent. Passed off as the real thing. Unbelievable. Like my pick, bro. Thank you for the 15 hey, months. Bud. Over Halloween, there is a street near me named Tory Road. I was surprised to see that they were all dressed up in costumes of you. Shut up. The wild art of cheese magic. A cheese -ud. God, that's so silly. That is so silly. Okay. <clears throat> well... We're going to kill this guy, but we're going to look around the circus a bit first. Oh, Mr. Hag. Miss her stink. Oh, you're a red cap that was with the hag. I mean, that's... And now you're a janitor for the circus. Wow, how the mighty fall. Stony and Bony's bespoke creations. Darling, we have a customer. <clears throat> Is your camp drab? Dreary? Then you have come to the right place. Browse our bespoke Stony and Bony creations. Or commission a statue in your likeness. It is our most sought after service. Uh, I'd like a statue of myself. My wife shall Five thousand? Customs are her favorite, particularly when their facial structure is as unique as yours. Never mind. I don't have enough money. Pockets a little empty. Worry not. I'm sure we'll find something in your budget. What do you have? You got some money. <clears throat> you got flesh to stone. And some diamonds and rare things in general. None of Nothing which is useful. Let's talk to Stony. What the fuck? Okay. That's intriguing. Hungry little hobgoblin. Want a treat, oh? Hobgoblin? 
I has lots of treatos and magics and junks I finds. Uh, don't oh, worry. Goblin. I only takes junks from dead people. I is nice. <laughs> How often do you loot corpses? Oh, lots of times. The beasts ate a kiddo the other day, and I got some good stuffs. <laughs> I, I, I mean, uh, circus is safe. Do not uh, worry. Y yes. <laughs> okay. Yes, I has lots of stuffs just for you. I love his hat. He's got a great hat. Um, cloud giant strength. That would be quite useful. Um, oh, we can sell some shit as well, can't we? Possibly. But, I mean, I don't really know what to sell. What else have we got in here? Wait, what is the difference between cloud giant strength and hill giant strength? What the hell did I just buy? Don't know. Um, sea invisibility. That might be useful. Ah, animal speaking. We should get two of those. What else? Yeah. Yeah, I think that should be enough. I don't think we need anything else. Bye bye. So where was the clown supposed to be performing? Lucretius. Ah, Lucille! It's Pose, Grapevine, then Pivot Step. Jacob, you have the grace of my great-grandmother's missing leg. Ah, and Boris, Boris! Put some sensuality into those lovely hip bones. I know you have it in you. Step it up. Okay. Um, is this a circus act? We are decades from that. I hope they could open for dribbles. Not that my star needs the support, but at this rate, who knows? Call me Lucretius, ringmaster, necromancer, Bringer of the night. Oh, and wine lover extraordinaire. Look at me, I'm dressed as a clown. Normally, I'd I love the circus. My tent for a lovely vintage. But these graceless skellies need my full attention. Enjoy my circus, darling. Well, don't you have a problem with missing... I feel like at some point, someone's got to realize that the... The, the thing he's dead. The the clown is dead. No? Jacob, you Okay. Maybe not. Itchy and scratchy. Uh necromancy stuff. An opulent chest. I don't think we're gonna be able to steal from the opulent chest without being caught. Where the fuck was the Shadow Whiskers? Oh, this is like that animal that we saw before. The beast ignores you. Her eyes locked on the crowd. Ooh, this is a bad one. 15? Animal handling? I think I might fuck this up. Oh, God. We've got a max... Oh, no, we can't, even if we max roll. Ah, uh, we fucked it. Um, do we use inspiration? No, I don't think so. Um, no, I think we should be fine. Oh, we might have pissed her off. Uh, why didn't I just use a potion of animal hand, uh, animal speaking beforehand? Another good. Um, what? What do you mean, good? I'm in the cage. While the cage is sturdy, the lock is old. It could be jammed shut, so not even a key could open it. 
Break the lock, ensuring the cage can't be opened. But why? Why would I? Why good? My time comes. I will show you. All of you. No, no, no. No, I, no, yes. I'm not, no, I'm not saying whatever, enjoy being cryptic. I'm saying close the fucking lock. Soon. Yeah, I think it would be a good idea to make sure that the cage can't be opened. I mean, at the same time... If this beast wants to be free... Let's let it be free if it kills some civilians well that's their fault for supporting a circus that cages beasts I mean, yeah, let's feed it some ham or something. What the fuck did I just give it? What the hell did I just give it? Maybe we should go. Meat. Meat. Okay. <gasps> There's no way I just fed him the clown torso. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. The clown torso is still there. Oh my god, that would have been ridiculous. Okay, I don't know what I fed him, though. I really have no idea what I fed him. I, I don't have a clue. I really don't know. Soon. Okay, let's talk to Karen. Ooh, don't get too close, or Crimson here might decide you look tasty. It might have been the dead chicken. Yeah, it could have been. It could have been. It doesn't look too good. Hey, maybe steer clear of the beasties. One of them is near Rabbit, and the other is looking at us like we're supper. Mum won't let me touch the animals. Bet you don't have to ask your mum to pet a stupid cat. Well, I don't think that's a stupid cat, to be fair. Alright, where... Ah, wait. There's Dri I thought Dribbles was dead. Is this Orin? Buddy the dog this is Orin. Best friend. Do you know why? Why? Because with him, anything is possible. Way! Awful. <laughs> Good puns. <laughs> because Karen's aren't enough of a horror already. <laughs> Did you hear about the scarecrow who lost a fight? What, he got the straw knocked out of him or something? Um, relax and enjoy the show. It's been forever since you've seen Dribbles perform. <laughs> he got the stuff in. Kicked out of him. The stuffing kicked out of him. Right, there you go. Oh, you're all such good friends. I've had a wonderful time, but I have to go. Oh, oh well, if you insist. <gasps> How about a magic trick? But first, I need a volunteer with nerves of steel and the heart of a lion. Who will it be? Who? The hair on the back of your neck raises as a shiver passes through you. You, my special assistant. Come on up. Hmm. Hmm. The correct choices are Starion. I mean, 
I've I think that this is Orin. But I'm going to let the chat vote. I mean, it would be quite like Spiffy to throw one of his friends in there. I think if he was going to throw anyone up there, it would be a Starry No Kale. All right. Well, clearly, you guys want a Starry on up there, so let's do it. Let's do it. What? No. Don't you dare. <laughs> this isn't funny. Oh, my heart. <laughs> the enthusiasm <laughs> is... Too much! <laughs> now, up, up! Double sharp! Or oh, poor Buddy will think you don't like him! Go on, Astarion. Get up there. Right there! Oh, perfect! <laughs> Go on, Astarion. <laughs> of course! What fun! I'm going to fucking kill you. <laughs> Why have I still got his helmet obscuring his face? For fuck's sake. Now, you're very special. As special as can be. Does anyone know why? Why? You're special, my friend. Because I have a message just for you. Praise the Absolute. Ah. Well. Praise the Absolute. I thought that might happen. I thought we might not get some nice circus dialogue. Okay. Let's fly over there. Wait, does fly... A fly is just movement speed somehow. It's ridiculous. Um. Okay, let's cleave to hit both of them. Wait, that is cleave, isn't it? Oh no, that's maiming strike. I thought that was cleave. Um. I mean, we could use moonbeam here as well. Let's just attack with this. Wait, have I just... What the fuck is going on? Every... Is everybody in this place against me? Bitey buddy Ryland. Who's Ryland? Oh, and now Shadow Whiskers as well. I always knew I died at circus. I always knew I'd die at a circus, says Quinton and Gloria. Uh, fucking hell. Okay, so Astarion, how, how do we use him again? We um, are supposed to... Oh yeah, we can summon Quatha Raven. So, we're supposed to be able to use a bonus action to hide and then attack, aren't we? Oh, wait, this thing is... Ah, this thing is the shapeshifter. Yeah, but we already knew that, didn't we? Right, yeah, so they infiltrated the circus. Maybe we should have gone somewhere else before the circus then. To Worms Crossing, maybe? I don't know. Whatever. We're here now. Um, Ideally, we want to be sneak attacking. I think let's Misty Step Away first. I don't really know where we could Misty Step, though, where we won't be seen. I guess we could Misty Step over here and hide? Um, yeah, let's hide. Let's have a little fun. And then we can sneak attack ranged on this guy. Or into Bitey. Let's do it on Bitey Buddy, actually. Wow, we did 37 damage. That's fucking ridiculous. Um, Alright, so we have Karen and Ryland. Wait, 
We should, we should try to open the cage door here. I know that sounds fucking crazy, but I think this dinosaur is going to fight on our side. That sounds like an incredible thing to do. All right, Gale, I'm going to need you to lockpick the door somehow. Oh my god, it, we're going to take so many attacks of opportunity. Okay, Misty Step here, and then lockpick this door. Gale, I know that you're not the best at this, but I believe in you. Fuck, I shouldn't have believed in Gale. I should not have believed in Gale. Try again, try again. Let's fucking go, Gale. Let's fucking go. Nice. Now Crimson can fight on our behalf, maybe? I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't really know, but I hope so. <laughs> do we want to take an attack of opportunity? Probably not, but fuck it. Let's do it anyway. With haste. Oh my god, ouch. Alright, Shadowheart. I want you to pop the Spirit Guardians. Actually, I want you to walk... Here, I need to pop spirit guardians. Nice. And then, what else? What else? What else? What else? Let's heal yourself at level four. Take two. Crimson knows you killed their sleeping brethren. They definitely don't know that. They definitely don't know that. All right, let's flurry of blows this guy again. Wow, we popped off. This guy's dead in the dust. Nice, we killed both of them. Let's loot their bodies quickly. The clown hammer. Whenever this weapon lands a critical hit, both the target and the attacker have to succeed a wisdom saving throw or be affected by fits of laughter. That is just such a silly weapon. A face painting kit, a word from the tribunal. Okay. Wow. Let's take that just as evidence, I suppose. Right, and then... Yeah, we'll do a ranged attack on, I don't know, one of these people. Why not? Let's fly over here as well, actually, so that we can do attacks of opportunity. Wait, why didn't that work? Why isn't this working? Hello? Oh, there we go wouldn't work for some reason there. Okay, a Starion. Now, a Starion, we have Karen, Ryland, Shadow Whiskers. Okay, so we want to hide first, I suppose. The subtle approach. Then we want to get as close as we can. A better position. We lost our hiding. That's fucking stupid. Um, let's hide Time again. And then we will sneak attack ranged onto. Sure, Karen. That seems fine. Actually, no. Let's sneak attack onto. Sh uh, we're out of range. Yeah, Karen. I missed! That's ridiculous. We had like an 84% chance to hit. Very unfortunate. That's quite a lot of damage. Alright, Gale. Now, Gale. If you send a fireball down in this area... You're not gonna fuck up your allies, are you? Holy... Dickens. 
Fireball's such a fun spell. Can't give up. Um, Ryland's very weak, so we could we could kill Ryland. No, we can't. Just kidding. Just fucking kidding. Haha. -ha. Just joking, guys. Couldn't kill Ryland. That's a lot of damage. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. Dude, Spiffy has actually become useful. Another doppelganger. At least we didn't kill a real clown in front of an audience. True. That is very true. Now, Shadowheart, I'm going to need you to cancel that before we accidentally kill somebody with it. What now? Doppelganger. The beast cage key. Pork shoulder and a whole chicken. Beast cage key. Carrot horseradish. Okay, I saved you guys lives. Quick word. You took those bastards down like it was nothing. Thank it you. Was yes. Amazing. Yes. Thank you. That's me. Amazing. Can't believe Dribbles did this. The Dribbles. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't Dribbles. No, no, it wasn't Dribbles. I thought you were part of the show at first, but that was real. Gloria, you are a menace. All feet. right, let's talk to Theodore, the person that actually helped us. Is he a bugbear? You fight good. Doppelganger, <laughs> not so good. What a place to have this conversation, just obscured by a curtain. Okay, so Theodore, not really. Do not. Cause trouble. Killing you would make me unhappy. Okay. Uh, I don't think I'm causing the trouble here, am I? Don't think that would be accurate. Is there any additional evidence that we could find back here? A rusty hand axe. I mean, we could go back this direction. But I don't think there's anything back here either, is there? We all survive. We all failed a survival check. Holy shit! Wait. I mean, that's there's probably some evidence back here, isn't there? Can we, can we try to just dig randomly? Shovel. Nothing. Oh, oh, fuck. That didn't work. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, we found it. Note from Business Lord Popper. Oh! Ah, pressed the wrong button. A dead rat. Business Lord Popper. Okay. Let's go to camp and figure out what that was. We're not, just not going to talk about the hungry dinosaur with its cage open? Okay, well, I might have fucked that up a little bit. But I, do, I think I can be forgiven that. There it is. Business Lord Popper. Hi, Ratty. Sorry for killing you, but Popper wanted the tasty hand you found. What? Hi, Ratty. Sorry for killing you. But you, Papa, wanted the tasty hand you found. Any understanders? Because I'm not getting a word from that. What in the Lord's name is Papa talking about? Okay, so there's a dead rat. Let's drop the dead rat. The hand. I don't know what he's talking about. The hand that you found. No, no idea. No idea what he's talking about. If 
if you read it in an accent want the and the and the and the and ah uh, that doesn't make any sense to me you you freed me from hunger's lust forgive me i was close to killing you killing everyone i am ashamed wow um i i've already opened your cage but like yeah the displacer beast seemed hell-bent on killing everyone too but uh, no actually you know what the circus should feel ashamed they were starving you the circus is my family they rescued me when i was but a youngling they did not starve me ah the other did the he other. wore the face of dribbles ah. of a saint of a stranger he taunted me the doppelganger waving bloodied rags under my nose my mind was worn from the hunger thank you for calming me before i hurt my family no problem no problem at all may you and your family have full bellies and a warm I shouldn't have killed these rest. dinosaurs. Apparently oh, they're unfathomably beware. based. Ethical moral beings. Oh dear. Screaming children and oozing corpse and it's not even my birthday. I thought the absolute wouldn't dare set foot in my circus. To use such a woeful dribbles impersonator. Why it's downright rude. Hmm. I mean, it was definitely an impersonator. Uh, but aren't you bothered a bit more? When you run a plane hopping circus of ragtags and ruffians, few things phase you. Alas, I cannot afford to lose any more staff. Funerals are so very expensive. I need to move the circus. But I cannot leave hmm. just yet. Not without dribbles. Ah. He was a star. I've got some Customers bad news. Customers of every color and creed simply adored him. I've got some I need bad him news. Back, and I'll shower the person who finds him I've in found love, him. adoration, and adequate compensation. What do you say? Um, let's talk payment. I'm expensive. Huh. I can respect that. And you're in luck. Because I am old, darling. Ancient. I have seen stars explode and civilizations fall. Really? Along the way, I happened across items of such power that would make you weep with awe. Find my dribbles. You won't be disappointed. Okay. Well, you're in luck because I've found your dribbles. That's the spirit, darling. And remember... I look after those who make me happy. Hmm? Good luck, and thanks ever so much. Hmm, hello, I found him. Hello again, my vicious little warrior. Any luck finding dribbles? Yes. He's probably dead. Even better! Corpses are wonderful employees. They aren't picky about things like <laughs> working from home or eating true but okay maybe i need to take a long rest or something before i come back here because i mean i've definitely found dribble's corpse let's talk to her again one more time hello again my vicious little worry you just have his torso yeah i think that's enough isn't it isn't the torso enough to be confirming that he's dead Surely, the clown's severed torso. This chunk of corpse is still garbed in clown clothing. She's a necromancer. Well, yeah, but surely finding it... I mean... What do you, you want me to find every part of his body? Uh, uh, fucking hell. I have to find every part of his body. I mean, he could have been chopped into any number of pieces. And put anywhere. I mean, I checked all of the people's belongings. Where, where else is the torso going to be? Uh, sorry, where else are the arms and legs and stuff going to be? 
That note did mention a hand. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, for fuck's sake. Has his hand been given to Popper? Clown man is dead. Oh well. Want a treat home? Um, I found a dead rat in your note. What's this about a hand? I found it by the clown man's tent. Fought a rat for it and everything. <laughs> it's a, a one of a kind hand with artisanal bite marks. It's worth. Lots. Is it shite? Is it shite? Give it to me now or I'll cut off your hands. Ah. That was a weak attempt at being a charlatan. I expect better from people that I negotiate with. Ew. I don't like kinky shit. <laughs> Here, take the hand, weirdo. What the fuck? What the fuck, Papa? What the fuck? Drugs and magics for sale. Mostly bloodstain free. What the fuck? Wait, how many pieces have they chopped this damn clown into? Dude, how many pieces of this clown am I supposed to find? A copy is tight. Keep your distance, darling. Subtle steps. A star, a starion. I'm gonna need you to On tippy toes. sneak attack this guy. He has a hundred and... We're gonna save. Picks a fight. The consequences are hardly surprising. You missed, Astarion. You missed. Oh, no. You fucking missed. You've got to... You, you can't be serious. You really can't be serious. One can't always be a gentleman. Okay, let's create a wall of fire from here. Oh no, from here, all the way across to. I know, from here, let's say, all the way across to here, so that people can't get through. My concentration got broken. By what? I set myself on fire. Concentrate. Oh my god. Holy shit. I can't believe it. Uh, I, I genuinely can't believe what I've done there. Estonia aggroed. The red caps are aggroed. Oh, this is not good. Oops. 
Nice, that's much better. <clears throat> Cast shocking grasp or opportunity attack. Can't use while polymorphed. I'm not polymorphed. A crit missed. Unbelievable. <clears throat> we've we've really fucked this up. We've really fucked this up. I mean, there's no way we're going to be able to pacify all these people. I'm going to F8 this. This was a terrible idea. I think I've got a plan though. Looking ahead. That didn't work. and you shall find me. What's next? Well, I've got a different idea. Onward. Ever onward. Our target must be an ally. Fuck. There's got to be some way that we can do this. Wait, I've got an idea. It's an absolutely insane idea. But I'm going to go for it. Have a lot on my mind and, well, in it. What path lies before me? Every 
Don't give up now. Can you imagine being the genie in this situation? Just having gunpowder barrels surrounding you and being like, mm, surely, nothing, no problem here. Time to press ahead. Now we need to set up some kind of alibi for each of them. So. Obviously, Spiffy is sat down listening to this. Shadowheart was trying to get a statue made. Yes, I was over here the entire time. Clearly visible on this granite bench. Your desire. And Gale... Gale, of course, was um, over with... Well, actually, there's nobody there anymore, is there? Because that was Orin. But Gale was talking to this person. And Astarion... That's crazy, actually. You know, I don't think I saw Astarion the whole time. I don't think I saw him. <laughs> Your violence hasn't gone unnoticed. It's about to be returned in kind. You've got to be fucking kidding me. What? Why didn't that fucking explode? Oh, there we go. That didn't even kill him. So now we hide? On the hunt. Now, times. wow, this was, this was such a fun discussion, Medrash. Hello. Uh, enjoy the circus, which will never be the same without dribbles. Mmm. Oh, that's so. Yeah, that's crazy. That. At the ready. Wow, that's so unfortunate, man. Now Can't I'm just gonna hide video. for absolutely no reason. I don't need any attention right now. And uh, that certainly does not involve shooting arrows at this genie. Don't mind if I do. Oh. Definitely doesn't involve casting Scroll of Disintegrate on this genie. Breathe deep and move. Just out of view. Can you fucking hide? This calls for careful footwork. Where's the scroll? I just want a little. Wait, they're not aggroed. Holy fuck. Wait, somehow people are not aggroed. 1500 gold and a flute. And more importantly, karma. Most importantly, karma. I've missed this. Oh! 
As soon as Astarion came out of hiding, they all wanted to kill him. <laughs> There's no way. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense, man. That doesn't make sense. I can't even catch my breath. I mean, you wouldn't want to kill me, right? We were just right next to each other. Let's finish this. Ah, fuck. What we need is a teleport spell that allows us to teleport opponents. Ooh, wait. Wait. I have a different idea. At least things have stayed interesting. I have a different idea. These boots have seen everything. Huh. Uh, somebody in the chat said that if I just did this, it would pick them all up, but it just isn't working. Hmm. I guess if I send them all? Ah, you can send them all and avoid the limits. I can't send that to a Starion because it's too heavy. Okay. Is this really a new idea? Yeah, it is. Watch. What a it genuinely is a new idea. It's going to look very similar at the beginning, but I promise there is something new about this. Although, I may have fucked that up. There we go, that's a bit better. The idea is that we're going to trap him, cast darkness on him so that other people can't see what happens, then murder him, and all under the cover of darkness. And he's not going to be able to escape like he did before because of all the barrels. Do you see what I mean? They'll blow up? No, they won't blow up. They won't blow up. Okay, we're no longer heavily encumbered. Let's oh, swap places. With Spiffy, because it's really this is really What's Spiffy's they? thing. How much farther can I go? So then let's get your smoke barrel. Block this off. Spiffy uses darkness. Now there's a dark area here, and now we can beat the piss out of people without them seeing. Nice. Wait, he doesn't even know it's me. Wait, how am I? I'm not even aggroing him because I'm being stealthy. What? What the fuck is going on? You just made a fight club? Yeah, this allows me to get revenge on anybody.
Oh, unless this darkness goes away! I was so close to cooking. I was so incredibly close to cooking. <sighs> That's the strategy. That's the strat. It is the strat. We've just got to remember to refresh the darkness. <laughs> that was, that was, that's insane, isn't it? That's like the last hit. And it just, it just messes up. Ridiculous situation. Why don't you just blow him up in the darkness then? Because then I would use all of my barrels and I might need them in the future. Let's see what we have here. When darkness drops and there's a dead body next to you, everyone will just say, oh well? Yeah. That's what I'm hoping. Why do we even need the barrels? Because otherwise he escapes the darkness. Otherwise he runs away. Watch your back. Now, probably I should have set up the barrels before I saved. Or, yeah, rather than after. That would have made more sense, wouldn't it? But at the same time, there's something, I think, foreboding about setting up the barrels every time. Like, he should really clue into what's going on, shouldn't he? Maybe it was because I was behind him a little bit, but I'm not sure. It just seemed to work. Okay, let's cast darkness. Okay, this time my stealth failed. We just have to hope he doesn't... Oh, he's broken my concentration. Fuck! Wait, how was I cooking so hard last time? Did I just get really lucky by... Not failing any stealth checks? Okay, okay, there's, there's... We've got to make this work. We just have to make this work. Need to keep going. Might as well take a look. Okay. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. Okay, what we're doing here is... We're all moving over here. And we're ungrouping. We're gonna get a Starion. What now? To unload these barrels again. Then we're gonna save. I feel like this is something that Bren would do. I've definitely watched Bren play video games and do stuff like this. It, my domain is not usually trying things over and over and over and over until I do it successfully. I normally give up. Definitely feels like a Bren move, this. 
You come over here, Spiffy, no your time yet. is up. So then we're going to get a Starion to place the final barrel in here, blocking everybody into the fight club. Then we're going to F5. Okay, so now we've saved. We're going to cast Shadow Arts Darkness. We're going to enter turn base mode. So we have Darkness for another nine turns, right? How do we see? Mm, I don't know. Fuck, I can't tell. What does it say there? I don't know. We're going to cast Shadow Arts Pass Without Trace, so we have a plus 10 bonus on stealth checks. Oh no, that's another concentration spell. Okay, what about, does anyone else have Pass Without Trace? Yes. We have Pass Without Trace here. Alright, so now all of you lot have Pass Without Trace as well. Okay, you two can get out of the darkness, you know. You're allowed. Ready and willing. Okay. Back to Spiffy. No, Spiffy... Akabi is blinded. We should be getting very successful stealth turns off here. Okay, maybe we don't want to be in turn based mode actually. Okay, back to our turns again. Flurry of blows. Decent damage. Then what if we... Yeah, I think this is still going to be the best thing. Careful, I bind. Could we... Hide? Just like that. And sneak attack him? No, because there's darkness inside there. Right. My faith will guide me. Okay. How do we make sure that? How do we know when this when this darkness is going to go down? I have a lot on my mind and well, in it. How do we know? Are we supposed to be keeping track? Darkness. Oh, eight turns remaining. Okay, okay. There we go. Now we see it. We're popping off here. We're popping off. No time to rest. How many turns left of the darkness? Because we need to. If we cast the darkness again, are we going to have a problem with that? Yes. Still breathing, despite everything. I think we should be fine. Six turns remaining. We sh we're going to be perfectly fine here. Double missing. Oh, holy fuck. 
four turns remaining. No, I skipped this turn. Don't skip the turn. How do I cancel that turn? There we go. One HP left. There we go. Okay, we've got him. We've got him. Now take his stuff. Can we actually... Where is... We can't pick him up. It's a disintegrating corpse. This corpse is not long for this world. Only one turn remaining until it disintegrates. And then when it disintegrates, everything will disappear. So all we need to do is pick up the fucking barrels and we're, and we're, there's no evidence remaining. It's just like the djinn disappeared. Wait, why can't we pick these things up? Oh, let's send that to camp. Now we can pick this up. <laughs> I'm just imagining what this looks like to these people out here. This is the most insane mission of our times. This is, if I do say so myself, genius. This is actually genius. Wait, path is interrupted. What do you mean path is, oh, I don't have enough movement. Okay, where's Akabi? Okay, I think the corpse should be gone now. On my way. I was trying to concentrate. Not a sound. I guess it was only a matter of time a cloud of darkness formed and the genie disappeared. <laughs> Crazy how it do be like that. Yeah. I mean, look at this. Look how far away we were from the scene of the crime. If indeed there was even a crime committed. Which no one can know, because there is no body. Mm. I applaud your taste. Maybe the genie just left. Still exactly. Alive. Maybe he maybe so he decided to go through the portal that he created and put me through into a world of dinosaurs, the little fucking prick. Nice. Now how many turns does this darkness have? One turn remaining. Now, as long as all hell does not break loose once this darkness disappears, we're good to go. Whatever comes, I'm ready. Now there's just a little pile of ash, and no one seems to be reacting to it. I think we've popped off. I think we've efficiently assassinated a Carby. Destroyer of planes? Destroyed. Nice. Okay. We got away with it. We're going to quick save. This strat is going to be used a lot. Mm, if not over, possibly, through. but it was a good strategy. I found a good strategy. Okay, what was I supposed to be doing? Um, I'm supposed to be finding Dribbles the Clown. Oh, a part of Dribbles has been used to create a gruesome art piece. What? Really? Really? A part of Dribbles has been used to create a gruesome art piece. What was that? I can't remember. Did we already find that? I mean, it sounds like we did, but where? A gruesome art piece. I have something to ask. How could this happen? To Dribbles? To my home? Can't believe we had to rely on a stranger to save us. No offense. Okay, yeah, I mean, none taken, sure. 
could Madame Lucretius let this happen? And what are you doing here? Out! Wow. These people are so xenophobic, it's ridiculous. Anybody that isn't from where they're from, they want out, gone, nothing to do with them. So there was nothing on these bodies, was there? No. Hmm. Where the hell is the rest of his body? I don't know, I guess we'll just have to explore and find it around town or something? This is terrible. The circus is supposed to be a safe place. First performance at least. Yeah, reasonable. Um... Well... I'm not sure where to look, frankly. Imagine, imagine thinking I, a lock is going to keep me out. Biscuits. Why are there biscuits at a gravesite? Hmm. Alvin Muffle Fieldwick gave his fortune to the poor, died in the arms of friends. He will be missed. Mm. Millie Runbarrow, killed by the cult of the absolute. May our martyred father shelter her. Unknown child and her dog, who stood watch over her grave. May they be reunited in Ilmater's grace. Whose grave has been robbed? B. Gardenson gave her life protecting fellow refugees. May the one who endures shelter her. Geshan Kirkaros built the open hand temple, gave all in his name. We honor their life and legacy. Nalo Essi. Grief and illness laid ruin, yet her heart held mm. only compassion. What is the point the of this The broken god be with her. Can we dig up one of the graves? Is that psychopath behavior? Nothing interesting buried here. What an indictment of that person's life. Anything of use? Hmm. So this is a back entrance into the temple kind of area? Oh my god. What are all of these chests doing just lying around waiting for somebody to pillage them? I better check and see. Make sure there's nothing that could be stolen by other people. Oh, there's nothing actually worth stealing. Okay, well, I guess they're safe. From other people. Oh, this is Brother Donix. Ah, this is where we went down into the hatch where we could have gone somewhere else. So perhaps if if the clown was killed underneath this building, perhaps there are other parts of his body in the building? Somewhere? Um, okay. An end to suffering. Okay. What ails you? Marsh fever? Feather lung? Be quick, I've not got all day. Um, I need to ask you some questions. Do I look diseased to you? <laughs> Can you imagine turning up and saying with this face, do I look diseased to you? Reckon so. 
There's something off about you anyway. <laughs> Might be brain rot. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a dead high priest to see to. Yes, I'm investigating his death. Um, how did he die? Slowly. Logan was a good man, if naive. He deserved better. I don't have One brain of the rot, chat. Refugees killed him. Cruelly, too. They cut off his hand, sawed right through the bone. I found a paralytic poison on one of his wounds. Logan huh. was alive while they took the hand. He just couldn't scream. It's sick. That is sick. That we sounds like Orin. everything. And all we get is nothing but a good man to bury. Yeah, Kay Kona, the refugees did it. <laughs> Please, yep. leave me be. Okay. Father Logan. Now, if you don't mind, I'll examine the body. Logan's chest key. Now, well, oh, I probably shouldn't have taken his money as well, should I? Not everyone subscribe. Oh fuck! I didn't mean to steal there. I was just, you know, I was just having a look. Let's see what this does. Okay, so let's go in this direction, and we will. See if one of these is Father Logan's bed. Aha. This one's Logan's chest. So it has one piece of gold, an ink pot, and a quill. This chest is deeper than it looks. Ah. A double bottom, of course. A double bottom, eh? Confessions, volume one. I pen this from the temple cellar, the only place I feel close to Elmata's will anymore. Who are they to pass any judgment? They bark that those who arrive on our doorstep bloody beaten, fleeing from heretical cords, are dirty, unwelcome to be shunned. That it is a crime to house them, to bring them in the city proper. But if my back must be broken so others step into the light, so be it. Wow, when he said confessions, I thought we were going to get something dirty. He's just a good person. I pass my gaze between the crests that hide my sin apparent. I pass my gaze between the crests that hide my sin apparent. Father Logan uses the temple crypt to hide imperiled refugees. Yeah, and now they were all in there murdering people. We already know that, but, hmm, hmm, we should look in all of these chests to see if anyone has paralytic poison in their chest. Like, actually, we should be doing that. And if we happen to find some useful items along the way. Who would blame us for taking what has been freely left out in the open? hat. Well, we haven't really found anything useful here, have we? Anything out here that's useful? A carafe of water. A bonfire? What can we do with the bonfire? Turn the bonfire off. Now let's turn it on again. Um, it's ju this is just a courtyard area, huh? Okay. Well, back up the stairs then, I suppose. Uh, 
A mug on the floor. Suspicious. Suspicious. And this just another entrance. Ah, the entrance that connects the clown area with this area. Hmm. Interesting. So, it does look like our main area to investigate is going to be down this hatch. Hmm. So... He was hiding refugees down here. This we already know because we found it. And he said between the two crests. Now is this what he means? Between these two? The hidden door? Is that what he's referring to? Or does he mean something else? Hmm. Let's have a look through here. Ashaba Dusk. What is Ashaba Dusk? Oh. It is red wine. The blood of the father. Although, doesn't make sense for this religion, does it? Um. Hmm. Well, I really thought that we would find more down here. But we don't appear to have found an awful lot. We've already searched all of these bodies. And we didn't find anything that useful or interesting here. There are, of course, more dead people over here as well, but, well, I mean, none of these are going to be the murderers, are they? I don't think they're going to tell us anything about the murders either. I am confused, I will admit. Perhaps I didn't investigate this area thoroughly enough. I thought I had. Oh fuck, I didn't want to go into the cloud kill. Right. We're looking to... Oh my god, stop. Get the fuck out of the cloud kill, you idiot. Um, so we're trying to throw things onto this. Oh, I can't be bothered doing this. There's no way that... Surely, we'll survive it this time. We did not pop off. We did not, in fact, pop off. We popped off. Didn't we? What are you talking about? Why are you stuck at 29? What the fuck? So, are these only possible if you nat 20? The DC 30 checks? Even though you should be able to get around them. Are they just basically a crit 20, 1 in, one in 20 chance of happening? 5% chance of happening? That's a bit stupid. 
You're skipping to the final result? No, I'm not. I rolled a 17 the first time, 18 the second time. Oh, wait, am I? Wait there. Yeah, I'm trolling. I just happened to get 29 both times. Wow, that's stupid of me. Alright, whatever. Fuck it. I don't think there's anything over there anyway. But is there anything in this direction? Where am I? I'm really confused by this. Let's just have a wander down here and see what we find. That seems powerful. What can it do once it's extracted? Hmm. Nothing What's good that? can come of it unless it is contained. Why? It might be useful. Who knows? a little time though it's not over yet masters rarely let their slaves go shut up um so this is just a dead end with some items Oh, no, maybe it's not. Where does this go? So, do you have loves waiting for you once Dead refugee. You know what? That is not the easiest of questions for me to answer. No, we're not back at the original waiting. beach. Don't worry, not we're not we're not back at the original beach. Short term amusements are much less hassle. Hmm. Where does this go? Nowhere. What the fuck is going on? Where does this all lead to? What a bizarre situation this is. Okay, let's try to get here and jump across. Can we get anywhere from here? We can go up the ladder. What building is this? Oh, this is like the bridge. Is the bridge across? And I'm just fucking around on it. Is this supposed to be a way of like have I accidentally tried to am I accidentally trying to sneak across this bridge somehow now? Is it invalid targets? You can't get across here. Intriguing. Oh, this is Worms Crossing. Ah. I don't think I wanted to go here just yet. Although, I don't suppose it matters too much. But, I don't understand. Right. We found a murder weapon and a flowery key. We should check what the key opens. Oh, wait, I remember. The key opens this place in Worms Crossing, doesn't it? I, I remember now. It's called like the... Wait, I don't remember what it's called, but... I remember roughly. Right, Frago's Flop House. Okay, let's try to find Frago's Flop House. Is this Frego's flop house? Don't think so, but how would we know? Mm. 
God, look at that. Look at that steel watcher. If he didn't want us to come in and we've snuck around the side by accident, we've done a accidentally decent job of it, haven't we? really trying to sneak in, but I think we just accidentally did. Spiffy has sticky fingers? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. No trespassing. Got it? Yes, sir. I will leave. I think the way out's this way, right? This is the way out, yeah? There must be something. Is this the way out? Arrested for theft. If you have a defense, make it now. Fuck. I didn't mean to. I can't see. Is it is it reasonable to attack? I don't think it's reasonable to attack. We'll have to try Some to bribe them. Would appreciate your generosity, oh, for but fuck's not sake. this one. This one prefers old-fashioned justice. I'm not going to prison, mate. I'm just not going to prison. Oh, kind. Refugees. I'm just not going to prison. I mean... Oh. Entire town is coming? No, they're not. They, they, they're not. Yes. You missed. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Why am I even trying for a crit? Do not, do not call for assistance. 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 Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. He's got at least one more roped in there. Shit. I think I've really fucked this up. I think I've desperately fucked this up. Oh, can you really not use this because you don't you can't see them? Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. What do you mean target's too far away? You can't be serious, the target's too far. It's because of this fucking darkness cloud, isn't it? 
Oh my god. I've fucked myself with this. I've absolutely fucked myself. That's so stupid. Let's just try to misty step. Oh, we can't even misty step from inside the dark. Oh my god. I can't believe it. Alright, do we have any bonus actions? No, but let's at least try to... Let's try to jump to block the... Let's try to block the stairs. Oh, fucking hell. This is not good. All this because I just couldn't avoid... Oh, no. Oh, this is really bad. This is really bad. Yeah, this is my own cloud. I tried to blind them and get them stuck. Oh, fuck me. I think you can take me on. Okay. Let's have some cut. Death. Nice. 32 damage is good. That's good. Fucking hell. I stab him for one damage. You gotta be kidding me. Ouch. Can't afford to let up. Six health. I mean, that is that is an awful thing that I've just done. That is an absolutely awful thing that I've just done. All right. What now? A genuinely dreadful thing that I've just done. And if a patron confuses me for a member of Star, I'd probably break his nose. Good, it's been a long day. Oh, I'll need to rest soon. Yeah. Okay, let's flee the scene of the crime and let's go and find this place. Fragos flop house. It was right here the whole time. What's curious? Wait, what's it saying? It's curious. Ah, right. Sleeping in the gutter, then that den of I found so many victims for Casador here. They're the kind of people no one would ever miss. Hmm. The kind of people no one would ever miss. So exactly the kind of people that uh, Orange would be interested in. Word to the wise. Give that ill mate to Temple a wide berth. Rude buggers. Certainly not bringing my trade there again. And what is your trade? Let me show you. Ah. Um. Radiant resistance. Guess his form. I mean, potion of superior healing would be great, actually. Oh, did they actually fix the barter system? Supreme Elixir of Arcane Cultivation. Thieves tools, I do need some thieves tools. Might as well get some of these as well while I'm at it. And the others I think we can be fine with. Um...
What is this discount negative 67%? Don't know what that means. Pleasure doing business. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, something's on my mind. Bloody ages we spent hiking from Murren. And they won't let us in the city proper. Bollocks. We're adventurous, damn it. Oh, she has a 67% markup because she doesn't know me. Right, right. Um, why won't they let you in? The bridge god chatted some shite about a coronation. Oh, a coronation of Lord Gortash. Right. Come to Baldur's Gate, he said. Adventurers get welcomed as heroes, he said. Poxy Drim and his bleeding notions. Haven't we already met someone called Drim? I feel like we definitely met somebody called Drim recently. I don't mind it. Or maybe sir, a body. Good, so give me three days and... Oh, I... Apologies. I thought you were someone else. Uh, greetings, so forth, so on. Who did you think I was? The landlord, Sir Frego Antuna. A most generous soul, I assure you. Hmm, okay. Sounds like the landlord's a prick, Just think. but that sounds like all landlords, to be honest. Blooming hell, you look famished. I've got some victuals that'll warm you right up. Sure, what you Have got? Have a skeg at these. Have a skeg at these. Now this, lass, is from down my end. Have a skeg. Um... I mean, fuck it. I'll take them all. Why not? Sounds that great. Should do you. Thanks. Appreciate it. Very kind of you. Um. Right. So, should we go upstairs? I suppose. What's a skeg? It's like having a gander or something. I wouldn't dare guess at them. We should go. I do not want to face the master if we're late for his black mass. Soon, sister. I only need oh, one. Oh, are these Cazador's people? We have enough for the master. No more are needed. It's not for the master, it's for me. I spent 100 years eating rats and dogs, but soon I'll be able to feast. I want someone there ready for me. And once the mass is done, and our Lord grants us freedom, I can celebrate by drinking them dry. Cazador promised you your freedom, and you believed him. Ha! You were never burdened with intelligence, Petras. But your load seems especially light these days. Astarian? It... It cannot be. Well, that's no way to welcome back a brother, Dahl. Didn't you miss me? Why would you come back? You got out. You were free. Mm. Should we tell them we're here to kill Cazador? I don't think that's a good idea. Because by the sound of it, they think Cazador's going to release them. We've got a full fucking butt in our face here, haven't we? Just tell us about the ritual. Of course that's why he came crawling back. He wants to ascend with the rest of us. He heard about the ritual and the power our master will grant us. So he came back with his tail between his legs, hoping all would be forgiven. <sighs> you always were an idiot, Petras. No! What the fuck is Astarian about to do? Oh, he's just put him into the sunlight. Where is he hiding? Tell me! Yo, Astarion's a fucking... Cold motherfucker. Please! Um... To be honest... I think Spiffy would be fine with this. Frankly. I think Spiffy would just say absolutely nothing and let Astarion handle it. Tell me what I need to know. 
or I swear you'll burn. The master is preparing the Black Mass. Beneath his palace, there's a defiled chapel. It was hidden there the entire time, hidden from us all. <sighs> I'm going to stop Kazador. What the hell's happened to you, Astarian? What are you? Says the man whose face I'm is more burning. I'm than what I was. And I'm not afraid of anything anymore. The sun can't harm me. Kazador can't compel me. I'm the only person who can stop him. Now go. Before I change my mind about roasting you, brother. They might not have the most this wonderful over, sibling Astarian. relationship. <laughs> yeah. Poor fools. They actually think Cazador will save them. You might have fucked up there by saying, yeah, they'll warn him that we're coming. Yes. And they'll be trembling in fear when they tell him. They're no threat to us. And they have no choice but to do Cazador's bidding. I pity them. Worst of all, they don't know their fate's already set. <laughs> They're doomed. The only question is whether their lives will be sacrificed to a monster like Cazador or serve a greater purpose. Seven sigils on seven spores. Ridiculous. And Cazador has the other six. We have to face him and take that power for ourselves. Incredible that Astarian at no point thinks about releasing his brothers and sisters. Sometimes you scare me more than the Elder Brain does. Um... Yeah, you ready to sacrifice your brothers and sisters? Trust me, I'd rather slaughter someone else's family, but if that's what it takes. Cold, it's not like cold their sweet guy. innocence, they brought Cazador just as many victims as I did. <laughs> You're not getting sentimental, are you? I thought you were with me on this. And, yeah, what if we're walking into a trap? Then we'll deal with it. It can't be worse than everything else we've faced. We've got a fair point. And now we know he's skulking beneath his palace. We can take the hunt to Cazador. All right. Let's go. This place stinks of rat blood and despair. No, we can't go yet. We still need to figure out what that door, what, what the key opens. In his chest, Drim's chest. Ah, now it might be a good idea to look in Drim's chest. What do you reckon, lad? You trust these steel watcher thingamajigs? jigs? I haven't seen them actually. You bought your head recently. Didn't you spot them by the gate? No. Nope. Big metal. Didn't bastards. walk in the gate. Even bigger swords. It's all right. Well, we can get work repairing them, but what happens when they build something else to do that? Uh, it's no good, I tell you. Wow. Even in this world, the uh, Industrial Revolution is taking away people's jobs. Not everyone subscribe. Oh, fucking hell. In what way is that not... I mean, do I have to enter turn-based mode in order to do that? Hmm? Lost in thought. Go on, fuck off, go somewhere else. Oh god. This guy this guy just won't wander around. No one back home will ever believe this. I'm investigating a murder. Would you mind? Some double doors, a door here. What is this? A sponge. Oh, this is a, sp a bathroom. Okay. Can we Can we now do this? Oh, there's a ladder further upstairs as well. Could have a look at that. Hmm. 
where I don't mind it. what is this going to open Aha! Uh -huh. It was this door. A sheep butchered with creative zeal. What? Temple plans. These tunnels were full of shapeshifters. Father Logan's name is written here too. Those wishing to face the Dreadlord's Tribunal and enter the Temple of Baal must slay the targets on this list and frame the corpses as murder by the Cult of the Absolute. Bring the victim's hand as proof of the killing. Alright. And then these people have all yet to be killed. I mean, we should probably pick that up, shouldn't we? Four new journal updates. Um, if we kill two targets from this list and bring a severed hand, we can stand before the murder tribunal and enter the Temple of Baal. Hmm. Who's Milo? Thank you for the six months. There's got to be a better way than killing targets from the list. Like, couldn't we just kill the murderers and then steal the hand? Uh, torn parchment. What is this? Take the ist, find the vert, and make them offerings. His name. Bring their hands to the prove your worth. Right, so that's just another version of this same thing, I think. What's in here? Bloodstained note. Blood. Two hands now, two hands, two of them more needed. Not enough, must cover myself in glory. The fuck? You notice some blood has pooled on the wooden floor. Oh, there's a body under the bed, huh? You are lucky. You notice the blood source, a body hidden under the bed. Come on then, pull it out. Fion gold grind. Fion's key, a flower shaped key with a, with a five scratched in. I know this key. It's identical to the one held by that corpse in the tunnels. Identical to the one held by the corpse. So is that going to open a different room? Room 5? Fion Gold Grind. Can we take their hand? Or is Fion Gold Grind not on the list? Wait, we should check the list. And it's not on the list. Hmm. Okay. Which means we're getting a real hmm. So here goes nothing. Hmm. I wonder if I wonder if we could I wonder if we can get into another room this way. Ah, this one's locked. Hmm. So let's try. Um, we need to send some stuff away again. Uh, camp supply pack. Let's take all of these things. And send them to camp. 
That'll free up a little bit of space. But we can also send that. And a dead chicken. <laughs> Fucking hell. Why do I have a dead chicken on me? Mumbling wizard. Um, yeah, we can send all of these things to camp as well. That's going to take us down a little. Now, should we be exploring down this way? Ah, okay. So this is publicly accessible. This is a publicly accessible area, but it leads to a locked door at the end. Oh, but this locked door just goes into here, where he is. But we can already get in there anyway, can't we? So... Hmm. So let's just... Let's, go, let's just go back in the front door. Or maybe... Yeah, let's just go back in the front door, I think. Yeah, I know I can spread some stuff around my party. Oh, dude, what is Gale doing? Oh, I have the magic touch. What are you doing? Most excellent. Okay. Oh, I think we should keep the clown makeup on, absolutely, yeah. What path lies before me? Right, so... We found another key that seems to open something similar. The other thing opened a wardrobe and it turned into a secret door. So let's see if we can find something similar somewhere else. Frego's flop house. Hmm. So that's not going to be a secret door because it wouldn't go anywhere, would it? What? What's a secret door going to be then? Wait, who did I get it from? There's someone called. F hmm. I'm confused. Well, let's go up the ladder. And... That wardrobe went somewhere secret. I mean, what... What is this key going to be for? I'm... I think the key did something in the journal? Oh, uh, maybe. We found the lair of the Barlist murderer in Frego's flop house. Can target listen the lair details the killer's instructions? We should show the investigator. Um. No, not really. I'm a little confused here. Because the keychain. We found this. Fionn's key. A flower shaped key with a five scratched into the petal. And this one is a flower-shaped key. So this one, I mean, if this was to open something in Frego's flop house, this should also be to open something in Frego's flop house. A flower-shaped key with a five scratched into the petal. So what have we seen? Have we seen anything that has the number five in it? I don't think I've seen anything, at least that I can think of. I mean, five would normally refer to, like, a room or something. Did the first key unlock stuff around where you found it? No, but the flower-shaped design was linked to this place. Oh my god. Yes. No, I don't want to talk to you. Oh, Everyone bro. Subscribes. I'm not trying to fucking steal from shit. I'm just trying to test this key. Dude, this guy is such a pain in my ass. Tempers are rising. You're fucking killing me, worker burner. You're killing me. What if they build Okay. And all round pleasant folks from what I've heard. <sighs> 
you know, I'm really, really tempted. I'd probably break his jokes. Good boy. Okay. How do I... Maybe there's a basement? Or some... Does Fago's Flophouse connect to this next door house as well? Fuck, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm lost. Let's go to Shares's caress first. Let's see what this does. Welcome to Shares's caress, where our libations and sensual indulgences restore even the weariest souls. So let's go to Shares's caress. Hmm. What are they talking about? They're talking about I twin drows. Why are some people so strange about Charesse's caress? It's just sex. Oh, it's a brothel. I didn't even realize. People are just walking into Charesse's caress like it was any old business. No disrespect to you, of course, if you're a patron. Hmm. Oh, we're not queuing for Shares's caress. Not yet, anyway. Head on in. So if we were going to go to Shares's caress, though, we should go with... Without Gale, I think. Um, in the lower city of Baldur's Gate. Oh, yeah, we could get rid of Gale and we could bring Lazel. Shares's caress is a brothel, no fucking way. I mean, I just didn't put two and two together. I'm naive. I don't know what to tell you. Mm, we want to keep Astarion with us. Uh, let's, yeah, let's put Gale away for now. Glad to see I'm not the only one. Hazel did well to break free of Vlakith's manipulations. Though I doubt Vlakith will let such insubordination go unpunished. Hmm. I need you to remain in the camp for I a while. I question the wisdom of that decision. I'll be here in... Oh, what does Minthara have to say? I do not understand why the matrons... Sorry, patriarchs of the city do not open their gates to the refugees you're pro-refugee i'm surprised to hear you suggesting aid for those in need i was not suggesting they be allowed to roam free <laughs> they should be put to work the city needs laborers <sighs> and fodder to protect it wow I mean, <laughs> it's only fair that they should earn their keep. I mean, are you suggesting they be used as slaves, Minthara? I am suggesting they be fed and sheltered, and that they work in return. Call it whatever you wish. Perhaps you think it would be better for them to starve or be <sighs> slaughtered here, while the citizens hide behind their walls. <laughs> okay, well, good, good, good talk. Good fucking talk with you, actually. And in the meantime, I'm going to go and have a chat with Lazel. I'm listening. Mm, come with me. We should run off into the night together. It is done. Okay. All right, come on. Open your mouth. A weary traveler, battered and bruised. You come for sustenance. No, decadence. I would not let someone looking like that within 12 ice. Fucking miles hot. Oh, yes. of a place like this. I know your bliss. 
A sturdy dwarf, a leather whip, she gives, you receive. Or have I misjudged you? Spot on. I thought as much. Those eyes tell a story. Punishment <laughs> is your pleasure. <laughs> Yep. It's Fion you seek, our stern librarian. Oh, she's dead. She isn't here today, alas. Your penance must wait. Oh, I hate, well, I hate to tell you. To I hate to void. tell you, she's a dead. Drink for one, a pair of drow for another. Choose your sin. Oh, tragic. Um. Uh, in the flop house lies a fresh killed corpse, a lady dwarf. Could that be Fion? You know what? I don't want to tell them this until I've gone and looked around and seen what Fion's key does anyway. So, yeah, you got Drow. I like Drow. Twins, yes. Hands of such skill they could turn stone to silk. <laughs> Your body could suffer no knot they can't untangle. They're through the curtain to the right. You'll need coin and stamina in abundance to enjoy their services, but the gold will be as well spent as you are. <laughs> okay. Right, so let's have a look. Don't take it off later. Let's... I want to give it a good rumple. Let's have a look for room number five. Ooh, well, we've got many things to do in Shress's Caress. We've got Valerio, we've got Voss somewhere around here as well. But this first thing I want to do is have a look for room number five. Which I'm not sure where that would be, to be honest. I'm just going to keep going upstairs. Upper floor. Oh, there's only one door on the upper floor. Nymph's Grotto, son. Nymph's Grotto. Okay. That sounds pretty good. Moan loudly in the library at all times. Okay, so Fion was the librarian, so I think we should be going in here, right? Oh. Maybe not. Huh. Devil's Den. Hmm. I thought we would be trying to get into the librarian's place with that key that we found. Huh. I mean, we could lockpick these doors, but it seems to suggest that we're not in the right place. Hmm. Well, 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 it really feels like we should be using the key to get into these doors. Hmm. That doesn't make any sense. Let's go down and talk to the investigator first, I suppose. Let's just have a quick... Ah, uh, this is just another entrance. Okay. Right, let's talk to the investigator first. Another case closed, another bottle open! Huzzah to Valeria! This drunk little elephant. I recognize that face. You were Who drinks wine while smoking a pipe? The That's deranged. I bet she's put you up to something. Um, I'm afraid so. I found new investigate, uh, new evidence, investigator. I'm just here to drink. I don't know. Mm, 
Should I try to get him onto my side with a couple of drinks first? No, let's present the evidence. Why must you busybodies insist on interrupting a perfectly good night? Ugh, I know that look. You remind me of Devella. Who's Fine. Devella? If you doubt my conclusions, out with it. What have you found? Um... I mean, a lot of things. Uh... But who's Devella? My assistant. She's posted in the lower city investigating Duke Stelmane's murder. Now, back to it. What have you found? Interesting, because I also know how Duke Stelmane died. Uh, it's just one part of a bigger plot, a Baal plot. A Baal plot? You as well? Devella's been harping on about Baal for months. Fancies herself something of an expert. I assumed it was just a bunch of conspiracy codswallop and fear-mongering. But she's been unusually insistent about this one, even for her. <sighs> Fine. I'll bite. What's your theory? It's not a theory. I have proof. No need to wave documents at me. I'm already drowning in paperwork as it is. Constable Devella is going to be a real pain in the trunk about this. Since you seem to be on an obnoxiously similar wavelength, why don't you <laughs> see This guy's her such out? a prick. She'll be at the Elf Song Tavern. Show her the list, and I'll stay and inform the fist here. Oh, and you'll need this pass. Oh, It'll she. give you access to the lower She's city. a prick. Valeria is a prick. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? You have a bloody conspiracy to solve. <laughs> Move! Purchase clown makeup from a mummy and the elephant is a murder investigator. True. It sounds absolutely bonkers, doesn't it? Right, so now we have a pass into the lower city. We don't know where Voss is and we still don't have... Hmm. Okay, let's... Since we can't find out how... Since we can't find the door that this opens... Actually, we could try down here, couldn't we? Any doors down here that open? Hmm. Sauce man chorizo. Not that type of service down here, love. I've got a husband. <laughs> and you ain't my type. <laughs> uh, got any food going? I could show you pleasures your husband never could. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I've heard it all before, pudding. <laughs> now clear off. Shadow heart approves. Dude, Shadowheart approves of me trying to riz up Sauce Man Chorito and get him into the bedroom as a threesome. Oh, you'd better have a good reason for tearing me away from my prep station. Got any food? I suppose, if you're willing to pay for it. But that's barely anything. That is absolute. I mean, I'll buy it just because you're because now get out I've from bothered you. But that is that is a pittance. Now, that there's a face I'd remember if I'd seen it. Welcome to Charesse's Caress. What can Hoots do for you, stranger? You got a taste for ale, I reckon. Or maybe... Ah, forget it. My new brew could drop you in the wink of a spectator's eye. No, it couldn't. I'll take five. <laughs> um, I bet a barkeep hears all sorts of stories. My business is slinging tankards, not hoarding secrets. Bullshit. I'd like to keep it that way. Bullshit. But you poke some folk hard enough, they're bound to squeal. And Mamzella Myra there looks about ready to burst. Uh, go on then, your new brew sounds good. Don't know about that, chum. Hoots Hooch packs a stronger wallop than all ten of my knuckles. <laughs> Could beef you up, sharpen your tongue, or knock you out cold. No telling till the first drop hits your gullet. 
Mm, I'll take my chances. Damn. The man knows what he wants. You've sold me. First one's on the ass. Ooh, so not bad. Don't come bawling to me if your big toes fall off or your tongue coils in a knot. Um. Charest, caress. The mamsel's brainchild. Wet your tongue, soak your skin, scratch your itch. Get the attention you want and avoid the attention you don't. Okay. Have a look. So I got a hoots hooch. Regain two to eight hit points per turn while drunk. <laughs> wow. That's fucking funny. Uh, milk. Oh, milk cures. Oh, no, that's in Minecraft. Milk cures poison. Wow. Mermaid whiskey. Hey, not bad. All set, are you? Yep, sounds good to me. Alright, let's have a sip of this hoots hoots, shall we? I've become a sheep. I've that it's a wild magic surge and I became a fucking sheep. Well, hello. Watch the shadows. Oh my god. I can't move. Why don't I have any movement as a bloody sheep? Fucking hell, how do I not become a sheep? <laughs> you can level up? What is like a higher level sheep? Oh no, I can just level up the monk. Oh god. An additional key point. Your movement speed increases by 6 meters while you're not wearing armor or using a shield. And I'm immune to poison. Nice. But I'm still a sheep. New feet available. Okay. Do we need an ASI? Mm, not really. Is there something else that would be really useful for us? <coughs> um, what's the one that lets you shoot from close range? Which one is that? Can't remember. You can use two weapon fighting even if your weapons aren't light. Surely that's ridiculously good for Astarion, isn't it? Oh, it's crossbow. Well, oh, crossbow expert. There we go. There we go. That seems decent. Crossbow attacks within melee range. Uh, that seems pretty good. We gained a spell slot. Divine intervent. What? Once used, this can never be used again. What? Never be used again. Ah, we can add more of these things. I don't even use these as much as I should. Um...
Commander Strike seems useful. This basically gives you an extra attack using a reaction. Oh, we've got another one as well. Wouldn't Frightens be better than Disarming? No, I guess not. They just have disadvantage, yeah. Ah, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, let's go for Disarming, I suppose. I don't think we'll use it. I keep forgetting about them in the middle of battle anyway. Oh! He's no longer a sheep. Remember our vow to keep one another safe. Is that blood? When the music stops, no, never mind. you and I, we will continue dancing. A drow or a drink, sweeting. There is no thirst I cannot quench. Yeah, where did the drow go? Is the stern librarian back tomorrow? Swissing. I'm no fortune teller. If I had a crystal ball, I promise I'd already have consulted it. Truth is, fion has gone well missing. And my hands may be skillful, but they were not made to turn every last stone she might be hiding behind. Mm, let me fight Fionn for you. To service is my calling, not to be served. Ugh. But I'd be a fool to say no. The girl kept my coffers near overflowing. Mm. Two flights up, then turn right and right again. That's Fionn's pleasure room, ah. Elminster's library. Here, take the key. Thank you. On to other I'm matters. Listening. Uh, right. Let's examine the room first. And also, she said that the drow were through here, didn't she? Are these the drow? A new face. Looking for another chapter of dirty law for your biography? You have but to ask, and we can grant you a moment of pleasure. Don't be shy. Hmm. What kind of services do you provide? <laughs> what do you think, silly? Love, of course. Hot and vulgar with me. Or sweet and sincere with my sister. Trust me. What about you? Don't both? Want to miss my signature mesoberanzum love trick. And is that your partner with you? What a gorgeous couple. Wait, are you pointing Perhaps at Lazelle? Come to an agreement. Who, who, who are you? Who are you pointing to? You two look uncannily alike. Mm. Um, what kind of agreement? We want both of you, silly, at the same time. Ah. Well, it's a fascinating prospect. I'd like you all to myself, at least the first time. What the fuck? You, would, you won't share, Sharaha? What the hell? What the hell? And I can't even persuade her. Okay, I mean, yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, me too. Haha, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Definitely me too. I'm glad. Provided we survive, there's plenty of nights yet to come. Yeah, 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 me too. Fucking hell. Okay. Talk again? With who? Shadowheart? I didn't think I'd live to see the day when Lazel turned her back on Vlakis. Is that really what we're talking about? All things considered. Is that really what we're talking Good about? Good for her. Hmm. Well, why don't we talk about... Uh... We shared the beginnings of a romance for a while, but we never really pursued it, did we? I suppose we didn't. What? Another life, perhaps. What do you mean, another fucking life? Wait, I've actually just 
had the fattest L in my life. It's a bug, it's always there? No way, no way. Wait, I'm gonna... Uh, I literally can't believe that I've just fumbled that. That is actually unfathomable levels of fumbling. Uh, I've never had such L Riz in my entire fucking life. Oh, wait, who wants to speak to me? Who wants to talk, huh? It better not be Shadowheart telling me that I'm such a good friend. Oh, fuck. I can still feel the shadow fell all over me. Still hear her words in my ear. I feel... unclean. Uh, yeah, Shah can't hurt you anymore, I guess. I hope that's true, but I'm not so sure. She has a far reach and a long memory. I have an idea. Something I've wanted to do for a while. Something that might help me put her in the past. But I'll need your help. Of course. Wait until the others are asleep. Then come with me. Mm. There's a place we can go. Down the coast a little. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. You dirty dog, Spiffy. Look at me, my clown this makeup, it's disgusting. Take off your clothes. <laughs> um, do as she says. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> the clown makeup is fucking awful. It's fucking awful. <laughs> it's fucking awful. It's so awful, man. Oh my god, I didn't think that we were going to see that. Okay. What's the matter? Why aren't you dressed in clown makeup as well? Uh, nothing at all. You're beautiful. I thought you were going to be dressed in clown makeup too. That's just my bad. That's just my bad. I know. Why is but her hair dark again? Say. Yeah. Oh, look at my body. I don't know look if I can do this. Face. Now that I'm here. Yes, you can. You're fine. Um. Just walk. Just walk into the water. You'll be fine. All right. Just stay close. <laughs> Dude, I can't get over how I look. I can't get over how I look. I can't believe it. Dude, look at... Come here. Why have I got, like, a neck stripe on? <laughs> Thank you. I needed that. I needed to know I can face things without Shah. I don't want to go back. Not just yet. On the beach? I'm gonna get sand all at my butt crack. That's okay. Is this okay on Twitch? I've no idea. Didn't get banned for the Minthara stuff though. Oops. What's going on? Just a pebble. <laughs> now don't you dare stop. Now I have a feeling this isn't gonna be as overt as the Minthara scene. I really, truly hope 
that the next time any of you have sex, you think of Spiffy's clown face. <laughs> it would bring me so much joy in my life if I had utterly ruined other people's arousal like that. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we risked the shit out of Shadowheart. Dope. We popped off. So, let's... Um, let's... Let's just keep long resting to see whether we have any more story things. Somebody suggested that earlier and I just didn't do it. Oops, no, I don't want to leave camp. I want to end the day. Can I do that? You want people to think of you then? No, I don't want you to think of Spiffy in clown makeup specifically. Not me. I'm not Spiffy. I don't look anything like Spiffy. Ah, cool. Okay, so there's no more story scenes to go. So let's talk to the drow again. Come on, Shadowheart. Let's have a foursome. Couldn't get us off your mind, could you? To be honest, no. Um, I want... Um, hmm. Both of you are the same. Hmm, this doesn't seem to include Shadowheart. We will only allow that if we know there is an evening of exceptional pleasure awaiting us. Usually, one darling alone is not enough to match the two of us. Uh, ah, shit. Okay, so now I can't do it with Shadowheart for some reason. Return to us if you have a lover willing to take part. Do I need to talk to the, the man first? Of course you came back. I never doubted you would. Ah, there we go. There's an idea. If you're comfortable sharing, so am I. Charming. There must be a sprinkling shower of gold first. <laughs> Coin. Fuck it. Let's go. This is thrilling. We are supposed to be investigating a murder. I, 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 I do want people to... This is all incredibly important for the investigation. I don't want this to distract us from the fact that we are actively investigating some terrible serial killers uh, in the area. But we'll get to that in a moment. We'll get to that in a moment. Where are we going? Oh yeah, of course, it's on the upper level, isn't it? This is Spiff this is Spiffy's perfect day. What's just happened here? Spiffy's perfect day. Where oh wow, you're going round the houses, huh? If this is Orin again and i'm getting bamboozled i'm going to be even if you very had, unhappy what in the nine hells would you do it? think a little captain boss he can oh be set free i know he can be set free and if... we're we're accidentally overhearing captain voss from the room above Um, how do we want this to go, huh? And Look, we've just walked in with Lazelle as well. Permitting you to march a war band through my land. <laughs> you paid for sex. <laughs> I mean, okay, that's quite reasonable. I think, I think, I think what they're politely asking is for Lazelle and Astarion to get the fuck out. I think, I think you might have to leave, guys. I think you might have to leave. 
Come on, get out of the... Astarion, you dirty bastard. Get out of the fucking door. D why? <laughs> why won't they leave? Get out. Okay, you can wait outside the door. That's Still fine. Still alive, so that's progress. Quite the merry little party we have assembled here. <laughs> Marshall Warband. Would you recommend this game to a friend? Absolutely. Absolutely. Murmur a quick prayer under your breath that this doesn't break into a brawl. Why would this break into a brawl? Yeah, let's fucking go. I hope you're not afraid of the dark, my darling. I must snuff out the lights before we begin. That worries me a little. It's all part of the experience. The room is bathed in total darkness, so there is nothing to distract from your ecstasy. This worries me that I'm about to get killed. Ah, but I can't resist a pretty face, can I? Fuck it. The lady, Nim, moves your hand to where the clasps of her blouse lie. This could you be... You know, I had a dream just like this once. I'm surprised you needed the two of us for this to happen. But I am so glad it has. Oh, Imperian High Priestess. Let us worship at your altar. The drow siblings fall to their knees in mock <laughs> prayer towards Shadowheart, lavishing caresses over her thighs. And I'm just stood I'm just literally stood there. Like, alright. <laughs> Wait, why am I choosing banter to have in the middle of this foursome? Empress of my desires, you shall be revered on this eve. I thought you didn't want to lead a religious order. Free of Shara, now you have worshippers of your own. You must be pleased. I mean, if we're all role-playing the the passionate mock prayer, fuck it, we'll, we'll join. We're not just going to piss on their parade and say some sarky shit. Let's throw ourselves knee-deep into it. I could get used to this. The night skips on, filled with fantasies Shadowheart seemed all too primed to suggest. Uh, uh, and the lights are on and we're all still stood awkwardly five feet apart from each other. Ah, yes. Uh, hello. <laughs> Something the matter? I should hope not. After the time we spent together, my spirits are thoroughly lifted. Um, I did want to talk to you about that. Is it, I mean, I don't know what I want to talk to her about. I'm just following the dialogue cues. Oh, not feeling any regrets, I hope. Just remember, you'll need plenty of practice if you're to become an accomplished swimmer. Fucking. <laughs> I mean, you are you are a filthy man. Trust me, I'll be an eager pupil, if I have a thorough teacher. Though Horrendous. I'm still finding sand in my hair. I wonder what the others will think of that. They will naturally assume we snuck away to make sandcastles in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I don't think that's a, <laughs> Go on then, I'll say that one <laughs> But of course they will <laughs> I hope we'll have more opportunities to slip away And make sandcastles uh, Okay Alright, should we talk to these two? Give me a moment for pity's sake You've exhausted me already what, what happened we to my clothes? Quickly, but not that quickly. Is there anything else I should know of this place? <sighs> Even in the best of times, it's an oasis of pleasure and calm. In the city's chaos, with Baldur's Gate preparing for war, the caress feels like the final flicker of a beautiful flame before darkness falls. Mm. Now, how do I put my clothes back on? Because <laughs> we do be running around pretty fucking naked right now. 
Can I put my clothes on? <laughs> Think a little. How much farther can I go? Just fucking opening the door to Lazel and Astarion. Like, Lazel, my former lover as well. And I'm just like, oh, yo, <laughs> what up? That was a crazy night we just had. You guys been waiting there the whole time? That's fucking wild. That's wild. Oh, you two got dressed, huh? Can we talk? Love. I'm utterly parched. Maybe buy me a drink in the bar? This is, you know... I, I, <laughs> how do I put my fucking clothes back on? <laughs> Where are my clothes? Oh, there we go. Shadowheart's clothes. And what was this? Has she got shoes? I don't know which ones were hers. To be honest, I'm going to guess it was these. There we go. Okay, we're, we're, we're gonna actually get dressed again. Where's my armor? Why does it not look like I'm wearing any armor? Best be on my way. Ch click the camp icon. Oh. So you can just walk around in your camp attire the entire time. But it still gives you the stats of your armor that you're wearing. Ah. Interesting. You can play this game entirely naked, by the way. Oh, if you just tuck off your underwear and wore your and tuck off your clothes, tuck off your underwear and toggled camp clothing on the whole time. What the fuck? Why? I mean, they really went all out on the horny for this game, didn't they? I mean, we should have had a clue of that when you could decide what cock you wanted. <laughs> I mean, at that point, it should have been obvious. Okay, so this is the key for the librarian's room. Anyone caught pleasuring themselves in the library will be tethered to the bookcase of chained books. Huh. Okay. So what does that mean? There are rows of books here. Wait, let's read that again. Pleasure in themselves will be tethered to the bookcase of chained books. So we're looking for chained books and special collection. Potentially. Because, ah, it looks like there's a, a wardrobe here that might have a secret entrance. No. We just have some leather, a strapped choker leather ensemble. Wow, okay. Um, glass distillation, rows of books, hmm, Fionn's journal, he's getting worse, the whispers, the night terrors, the blood, I know he's hiding something, and the others in the flop house know it too, I've seen how they look at him, how they look at me, hmm, who are they talking about? If you had walk. Um... She seems terrified about something happening to someone dear to her. Huh. Right, well, what is the... Seems simple enough. What is the key for? We found a key, but I don't know what it's for. It was marked with the number five. Does that seem to mean anything? I don't think so. <laughs> Is there anything 
Well, I really thought that I would get in here and there would be a secret door here, in a wardrobe or something that we would be able to get through in a similar way to the other secret door. I mean, I guess it does look like there's a hidden room there. But you can't get through this wardrobe. Soap bar. Can we use that? Or the sponge? Music box. No, shut up. Get the soap, pick it up. I'm on the soap bar. I don't understand. I feel like there should have been some way of getting through what this wall. I mean, maybe we go up this ladder, actually. This might go somewhere. secret doors here on the roof. Hmm. But they are giving you a very easy way of getting up to the roof, which would seem to indicate that there's something to be done here. Hmm. How bizarre. I don't know where to go. Seems like a lot. I'm confused. What about? Huh. Oh, that just used the room's key. Whoops. Whoops. I've walked in on something intimate here. Tell me, am I beautiful? More than beautiful. You are the aurora stretched across the north sky. You are the golden dunes swept across the Kalim. You are the fruit of the forbidden palm. Uh. Soft on my skin, sweet on my tongue. Uh. Uh. You uh. are my sin and salvation. Uh. Hi. 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 Your parasite I, I... stirs, and you gaze at the nymph through the flaming fist's hungry eyes. Your muscles shiver with her longing. Your skin burns with her heat. What's... What's wrong, Jara? What are you... Wait. I know you. Wait, what is going on here? This jar. Okay, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the fact that. Wait a second, let me look at the dialogue here. Your parasite stirs and you gaze at the nymph through the flaming fist's 100 degree eyes. So the flaming fist is a true soul. So, <laughs> we are somewhere between, you aren't safe, get out of here, or looks fun, mind if I join. Or possibly, whoever you think I am, you're mistaken, because it's a lie.
You guys are you guys are terrible. Looks fun. Mind if I join? I most certainly do. Jara is the most valued. Your face. The absolute has shown me. Jara, what's going on? Who's this man? Your head screams in agony. The change has come. Pustules boiling beneath your skin, your bones twisting, your flesh rupturing. And suddenly, silence. What's happening? Now, I'm still down for a threesome, if you two are. I think it's a no. Okay. Um, Fist Jara, level 10, Mind Flayer. Let's get this over with. Wow, we just fucking murked it. Hells, I'd heard tales of mind flayers. Talons sharp as daggers and tentacles yet more fearsome. But no tale did justice to its ethereal beauty. It floats like a butterfly. Its blood shimmers like silver. You know, I'm half a lithid. Um, you know, your client is dead. Who? Oh, yes, Jara. I will miss her coin, it's true. Though perhaps this is not what you meant. Free your mind, well. let us look forward, never back. Her gaze intensifies. Your breath quickens and your heart skips a beat. The woman's senses are heightened and her fire stoked. The mind flare is no mere curiosity, but an object of desire. The creature aroused you, didn't it? <laughs> what a crazy thing to say. I can't believe we are immediately going from shadow heart sex scene into a foursome into tentacle stuff i mean that is this game is going all around the houses today why should i deny it my urge is as natural as the grape upon the vine but perhaps there are other flavors that might satisfy my palate i could grow tentacles Rapture. Close your eyes and listen. It's, it's worth a gamble, isn't it? And I can't resist. You see only darkness. Her voice shines through it, warmer than the sun, yet cooler than night. The all being. Here, there is no suffering. Here, you want for nothing. Here, you are anything. The you all have being. one word. Tell me, what will you be? Revered, contented, powerful, rich. Um... I don't think... I think rich is what he would go for. I'll let you guys vote, but I think Spiffy would go for rich. He's had opportunities to be powerful, and he's put them down. It definitely wouldn't be contented. And revered? I mean, he, he does have some desire to be revered. Maybe more... I don't know. 
Can you move the chat? Come on, Lou. Come on. All right, let's go for rich. You are more than rich. You are the picture of luxury. <laughs> Not a starry on just watching this happen. Your nakedness cloaked in the robes of thrice combed silk. Woven with silver and golden threads. Thirteen castles, each encircled by thirteen fertile gardens. Platinum coins spill forth from thirteen and thirty coffers. Your flesh shivers, your heart bursts. True ecstasy for one fleeting moment. Oh, Open you've, you've basically just given me an addiction to heroin, have you? I remember you, and you'll remember me. She's just given me ecstasy for one moment, and now I have to pay for all of the other times. If you seek rapture, find it elsewhere. I can show you but once. Oh, wait, it's a buff. Oh, it is a buff. Has a plus 1d6 bonus to attack rolls, ability checks, and saving throws. Oh. Interesting. Huh. Cool. Um. So, what the... Wait, what the hell was that? Oh, that's Lazel. Um. This isn't stealing, apparently. These are just... She just believes in... Sharing wealth. Based, I guess. Um... Archducal Coronation Admission... Ad, uh, admission Pass? Fuck yeah. Wait, give me that shit. That's gonna be so useful. Um... Now, none of this is really helping us. Well, hmm. This pass will get you into the coronation ceremony. Not bad, not bad. Um. Okay. Let's. Let's go into... Let's go into this room. This is where Voss is, right? Okay, let's make sure that the rest of the group is with us. Which they currently are not. I don't really understand why we were able to access the roof, but there it is. Yeah, I don't really understand where access, and why we were able to access the roof and why that was particularly important. And I also don't understand what this... I don't understand how we get in here. This room is really weird. There must be a way to get in there. Right? Look at this. This room just exists here. How would we get in there? Because you can't get in there from the bottom. So you've got to be able to get in there from the side or above. Okay, let's wait. wait, wait. Let's, let's see if we can get into that room from above. No, we can't. How the fuck do we get into that room? Those are the stairs up, bro? No, no, no. I know that those are the stairs up, but this this room here is not. That could be the secret room that we're looking for. If you wish to live in more interesting Oh, not Astario. No, no, no. Need something? No, I'm not. I don't need anything. Swift as my feet can carry Four walls does not always a room make. I mean, looks like a room. But yeah, maybe not. I'm just searching for hidden rooms at this point, because that's what the key previously unlocked. 
Alright, come on, Lazel. We're gonna go have a talk to Voss. You must hear me, devil. I will do whatever it oh, takes. Oh, Raphael you again. Anything you ask. There is only one thing in this world that I desire. You do not have it. And you never will. It's called Riz. What deal would he make with this devil? You must help me, Raphael. For the sake of my people. Hush now, Voss. These guests may not know it yet. But they want the same thing that you do. And unlike you, they have something of value to offer in return. Lazel, to the pack just opened the door. The devil holds the key to freeing the Gith people. Right here, can... right now. You could seal our fate. Whatever you discuss with this devil, I must hear of it. Find me below in the tap room once you're loosed from his claws. Hmm. Wow. What a dismissal. I'm glad you came. Not to my door. Not yet. But to the final reckoning. One more thing before we begin, though. That didn't do anything. Oh, wait. Maybe it did. What's happening? For the first time since the Nautiloid, your mind is clear. It's unsettling. Give me a sec, I need to deal with the cat. Okay, so... There's no way he just cured me of the tadpole. What did he do? I gave you back your privacy by shutting that illithid in your pocket out of your mind. Oh. It can't hear us. Hmm. Okay, then tell me why you brought me here. I brought you here because I'm true to my word, and I can make all of this tadpole business go away, which means you and your lovely friends can remain blessedly free of tentacles. Unless some have already sprouted in places i can't see i'll let you see if you like let us speak plain i'll admit you've impressed me i wasn't sure you'd make it this far but no matter how far you come you're still on the road to ruin a road that leads directly to a confrontation with the elder brain at best yeah it will kill you and everyone else in this city. At worst, it will assimilate you, and you won't have enough free will left to even wish you were dead. That's you a have the key to destroying it in the palm of your hand, though. Is that the Netherstone, or... The Astral Prism, the Emperor, Orpheus? Um... 
I assume he means the astral prison. In a manner of speaking, but it's the one inside the prison that you need, not the illithid, the gift. Yeah, yeah. I can give you the means to break him free. Now... Speak, devil. Hmm. We're listening. Why would I want to do that? I suppose you'd rather suck on the Emperor's tentacles till the end of your days? Orpheus is your only hope of surviving this horror show without devolving into an illithid. To you, he will be a friend. Stop, chat. We don't want to suck on his tentacles all, for the rest of the time. You're at war with an elder brain. Hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, that is true. All the evidence I've seen suggests Orpheus is my enemy and the Emperor is my ally. This is also true, but Orpheus does not seem like he's going to be on my side. If I'd realized you were so gullible, I'd have tricked you into selling your soul for a pocket full of beans when we first met. Oh, shut the fuck up. To the Emperor, you are nothing more than a beast of burden. One that will transport it to the Elder Brain. An ox requires food. And the occasional beating to keep it moving. You are simpler. The Emperor's words serve as both carrot and stick. Perhaps it is true that Orpheus would ally with you against the Elder Brain. But if he proves uncooperative once free, Quite. you may have to kill him. And then... I mean, oh, fuck me. The way that they phrased it makes it sound like a gamble. Oh, God damn it. The problem is, we already know that the Emperor's going to help us. So, it's guaranteed help versus maybe help. I mean, we might as well learn how to free Orpheus, right? The Orphic Hammer. An artifact capable of shattering the chains that hold Prince Orpheus is held securely in my House of Hope even now. That is very convenient. Isn't it just? And it's even more convenient that you can give me exactly what I want in return which is power you free orpheus and in doing so save the city the sword coast perhaps the whole world and your own precious skin too and you give me the crown that dominates the elder brain oh what an awful and awful you, idea lazel of kalia Want to free the Forgotten Prince, do you not? I want nothing more. Then it is settled, is it not? A crown for a hammer. A bargain of a lifetime, Lazel of Kilir. Now... Hmm. We could tell him that we're going to give him the crown. And then when we get the crown, we just kill Raphael. Because we'll be way more powerful than him. That is very spiffy. To try to play everybody against each other. I have craved it ever since the Archwizard Casas created it long centuries ago and brought doom to the empire of netheril 
That was the I don't know actually. But, uh, I think he's immortal. I don't think he's undead. Flying sky cities were the apex of civilization. I think if he could be killed, he would I stay dead. The day wouldn't it all he? Fell apart. Entire cities plummeted from the sky, like angels with broken wings. The screams, oh, the screams. Hundreds of thousands of people watching in horror as the ground came up to meet them. Mm. <laughs> it was not a happy meeting. And Cassus was responsible. Not driven by malice, but by ambition. He forged a crown imbued with all the powers of magic. I don't know a what he's looking at. He's that just looking off into the distance. For, it a God. for performance's sake. Men cannot contain so much power. The crown destroyed its creator, and his empire fell with him. Cassus's folly, the bards and scholars call it. I call it hope. The hope of creating a better world. Mm. And the perils of unchecked hubris. Mm. I knew then that the folly of mortals could be the triumph of devils. And that I could use that crown to unite the nine under one archdevil supreme. That, me. That, my dude, you've just done the most fucking evil monologue of all time, staring off into the distance, telling me about how you're going to use the most powerful artifact in existence to become the supreme devil overlord of the nine hells. I'm less inclined to help you now than when I was before you started talking. Yeah, okay, so one of the problems with making deals with Raphael, as you guys were talking about in the chat just now, is that you actually sign a contract that it's difficult to get out of. And I'm not sure how much say I'm going to have over what the contract details are, you know? Is it going to give me some dialogue options to try to work a loophole in there? Maybe, possibly. I mean, that would be a super cool thing for them to add. But it might not. It might just be I am now contractually obligated to give him the... You know, I might get railroaded into just giving him the crown at the end of the game or something. So... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to save. Ideally, we're looking for a dialogue option that... Spiffy basically goes, yes, I'll give you the crown. Okay, sounds good, Raphael. And then he's going to try and wiggle out of it some way. And if it gets to the end of the dialogue options and basically it doesn't give us a way of wriggling out, we'll reload the save. Um, so... We're going to look for two, three, or four here. We don't want to say five because, again, that's what we're actually going to do and we're trying to deceive him. And we don't want to do number one because we want to seem a bit more enthusiastic than that. So I think three or four. But yeah, I suppose three, sure. I am no mortal. And I do not fail. Bloody hell, okay. All right, how come you didn't get the crown back then, then? The archdevil Mephistopheles snatched up the crown and squirreled it away in one of his vaults. He is not more than a frigid archivist. So much power and potential kept inert. He made a miracle into a museum piece. I raged. But only for a decade or so. Then That's I'm actually not that long in terms of immortal lifespans, right? Thousand years Being angry for only a decade. For a mistake, there are humans mishap, that are angry with people for more than a decade. A adventure, and these chosen, who have caused you so much trouble, accidentally did me a favor. They brought the crown back into play. How did they get the crown off Mephistopheles? Through the aid of a diabolist, somebody capable of opening a portal 
to the hells. Deep in the hells. They must have raided Mephistopheles' vault. I mean, that is impressive, very impressive. I must admit. But they'll be dead soon. If you don't kill them, the Elder Brain will. It doesn't have feelings in the way you'd understand them. <laughs> but it seems rather angry. It is inevitable. When you destroy the brain, and you will because you must, the crown will be yours for the taking. And when that moment comes, you give the crown to me. In exchange, I give you the hammer now. A simple transaction, it seems, but it's more than that. He's offering you an alternative to the mind flare in your head. Take Raphael's deal and you could free Orpheus. With Orpheus free, you would have no need to rely on the Emperor. But there's no guarantee that Orpheus would be on your side. And if you take the deal, you'll have to fulfill it. You'll have to deliver the crown of Carsus to the devil himself. He claims his ambition is to unite the Hells, but can he be trusted to stop there? Do you trust him more than you trust the Emperor? Skvar! We should do as the devil asks. The Prince of the Comet must rise again. Hmm. Hmm. So, basically the narrator there just walked us through the choice, and it is as I expected, that there is, like, an obligation to give the crown to... Raphael. I wonder, the way that that was phrased, however, made it sound like Spiffy will have an opportunity to get the crown, and when he does, he must pass it on. But if Spiffy never gets an opportunity to get the crown, if instead, for example, let's just say Gale gets the crown immediately, and never Spiffy touches it, then Spiffy's under no obligation to take it from Gale. Now, I don't know whether the game is going to actually recognize the difference between people in my party. Like, if Spiffy signs the deal, is there really going to be any kind of distinction made between Spiffy getting the crown and a party member getting the crown? Probably not. Yeah, I don't think Gale would be a particularly great um, person to have the crown anyway, but this sounds like unreal overcooking. Yeah. But. God, I don't know what to go for here. I don't want to give the crown to the devil. But I do want to tell him I'm going to do it and deceive him. Let's... Again, we've already saved. We already quick saved. So let's just see whether there's any way of wiggling this out if we click number one. Right here. You'll find everything is in order. The mm. moment I have your signature, you will have the means to free Orpheus. The hammer. You guarantee the crown will be mine once the brain is defeated, and I swear that I will never use the crown to dominate a mortal. Oh. I swear that I will never use the crown to dominate a mortal. Now, he could use the crown to dominate immortals who then dominate mortals. But what's he going to use the crown for? He's going to use the crown to dominate the people in hell, the immortals in hell. Yeah, what, what does happen? I will come to collect. If you refuse to give me the crown... I collect your souls instead. And then we all gather in the House of Hope 
Me dressed in my finest silks. You skinless. Hanging from a hook to watch as your world dies. Huh. See, the way that he phrases that makes it sound like at the end of the day, the enforcement of this contract is just based on might. And if I hold the crown of Carsus, surely I have superior might to Raphael. Hmm. I think we should say, so there's two things I'm considering here. One is leaving and talking to Bren, and one is leaving and talking to Voss. And then hopefully we can go back and still chat with Raphael. I won't stop you, but time is running out. So don't stay away for long. If you see reason, I'll be here, waiting, right up to the moment the world ends. Whoa, hello. The means to loosing the Prince of the Comet is within our grasp, and you refused it. Why? Because I don't want Raphael to become Archdevil Supreme. We can take the hammer from the House of Hope. How would we even get to the House of Hope? Why? Is he any worse than Asmodeus, do you suppose? The reigning serpent. He who harvests souls to fight an unwinnable blood war. Worse than Mephistopheles, the devil who slayed his own son. He whose experiments threatened to melt his own frozen throne. <sighs> Your mind is made up. But there's another option. Glory be to the comet. The devil keeps the Orphic hammer in his lair. If we can find a way in, we can take it. I'll use it to smash the true as bonds. Yisk, Githgar, Tefki, crash it. The Githyanki will be free. First to Voss, then to Raphael's House of Hope. Just don't expect a lavish spread awaiting us this time. I mean, I have no idea how to get to the House of Hope. Let's go talk to Voss. There you are. Oh. I thought I'd lost you. Something was blocking me from hearing your thoughts. Um, it was Raphael. Raphael? Well, thank you for your honesty. Of course, I should have known the devil would come sniffing. The stench of impending chaos is irresistible to them. And what did he want with you? He... Mm. What do we want the Emperor's opinion on? Mm. I suppose we don't really want the Emperor's opinion on anything because he's just going to try to persuade us not to, but I suppose he wants the crown that's on the brain. Giving a devil what he wants sounds like a brilliant idea. And what did he Valid. offer in return for bringing it to him? He means to free Orpheus. Tell me, you turned him down. I didn't yet, but I'm going to tell the Emperor I did. Good. I am glad. But be careful. The devil is like a cockroach. No matter what you do to it, it will always come back. I doubt this will be the last time you are approached. I trust that you will continue to remember who is really on your side. Without my protection, you cannot defeat the Elder Brain. You cannot even get close to it. 
no matter what the devil whispers in your ear. It's not really true, is it? It's without Orpheus's protection. It's just that at the moment, Orpheus is being compelled to protect me. Whereas if we release him, there's no guarantee that he will. However, if we're to metagame for just a moment, if releasing Orpheus is a genuine um, possibility in this game, it cannot simply prevent you from ever progressing the quest, the main quest to do with the Elder Brain. I want to hear all about it. Oh, on his leash. Damn, Hoots! That new batch burns stronger than a pit fiend's fist. I'll take that as a compliment. Take it however you want. But I'll be having my usual from now on. Hmm. Oi! You must have slipped by me earlier. Raphael's very disappointed you turned him down. Um. How are you? Ah, oh, I forget we've never met. I've had my eyes and ears on you so long we feel like old friends. Who are you? Carilla is my name. I'm Raphael's assistant, shall we say. Hmm. He's gutted, you know. Had such high hopes for you. And you're supposed to win me over? Cheeky. We might be in a brothel, but I'm not that kind of gal. You should reconsider, though. The boss might be a devil, but he'll treat you more honestly than anyone else in the city. Uh, uh, what do you do for him? Plenty. But right now, I have one job. You. I'm talking to you openly, mortal to mortal, and I'm begging you to sign the contract. If the brain wins, the Illithid Empire returns and worlds you've never even dreamed of will die. Raphael can stop it. He wants to. And he knows how. You're the key. You always have been. What? What? So... I don't really understand this from Raphael's perspective, though. If Raphael can stop the brain, the Elder Brain, he could just take the Crown of Carsus himself. Why would he need us? He's a devil. It's his nature. He needs to get his due. What makes you think he can? I don't think he can. That's what I'm saying. Logically, it follows that he couldn't stop the Elder Brain if he wanted to, right? Yeah, Orpheus can, but... I, again, what I don't understand is there's a logic gap here between... At the moment, we already have Orpheus's power from the Astral Prism. In How does it benefit us having Orpheus free? Don't we already have access to all of Orpheus' power through the prism? Is Orpheus more powerful outside of the prism? I feel like nobody's told us about anything to do with that. Like, that would be a really compelling argument, right? It'd be like, yo, you're only getting a trickle of Orpheus' power at the moment. If you unleashed him, maybe he'd be, you know, bish bash bosh, this would all be over in two days. And they'd be like, oh, well, fuck, of course I'll release him. But instead, they're like, ooh, don't listen to the evil mind flayer. Just give me a good reason to do it. Um. Mm. You did. But that's fine. There's still time. Take your time. Have a drink. Sample the goods. Go see him when you're feeling refreshed. Okay. Let's... Let's talk to Voss. Where is Voss? Didn't Voss say he was going to be down here? Citizen. Where is Voss? Wait, where the fuck is Voss? I thought he said he was going to be down here. Oh. 
Is he up here? I swear he said it was going to be here, didn't he? Map. Um. We should probably talk to Voss who's waiting in the Sharas Caress tap room. What? Oh. The Sharas Caress tap room is across the road from the Sharas Caress. Okay. Didn't, didn't know that. What to do? Um, well, let's, uh... We, we still have not found what this key does. Maybe it's in the tap room? Right, so this is the tap room, but I can't see an entrance. Maybe the entrance is around the side here? Nope. How, where, where's the bloody entrance to this place? Oh, it's down here. The performance in Baldur's Gate really fucked with my whole opinion of it. What do you mean? What performance? Wait, this is locked. Isn't this the tap room? What the fuck? Wait, I've clearly misunderstood something here. Okay, I think I think I've absolutely missed something. I'm not sure what though. What's hiding here? Missed a big ass bridge, I guess. Yeah, I just I, I haven't seen a bridge. Oh, it actually shows you if you're on the wrong level. The overworld performance in Act 3 is major ass. Really? It seems the same to me. I might have just not noticed. Now, what is going on here? Okay, I've just gotten into a, a... What? Why am I here? Okay, I guess I have gone completely the wrong way here. Um, right, so we need to get up on top of the bridge by the look of things. You're getting 40 FPS here, where well, you're getting 95 on Act 1 and Act 2. Really? To be honest, it's not the kind of game where getting lower FPS seems like a bother. Okay, where is the... How do we go across the bridge? I don't have a space age PC. I, I I get bad FPS. It's just that I don't feel like this is the kind of game that really seems like a bother with that. Oh, there's Voss. What, what the fuck are you doing back up here? Follow me to the tap room. We will speak there. Voss. What the fuck are you? Go on then. Follow me to the tap room. Right, let's take a long rest while he figures out where the fuck he's going. I'm gonna lose my rapture. God damn it. Who wants to talk to me? Oh, Gale. Already feeling better. We must claim the crown of Carsus for ourselves. 
before anyone else does. Hmm. Yes, I see. He made a good decision refusing that devil's contract. We'll speak more on this later, but suffice it to say for now, that crown is vital to our purpose here. Hmm. Well, let's leave... Let's leave Shadow Heart behind for a second. So, no deal with Raphael. I wouldn't want to give him the satisfaction anyway. If you're sure. Fine. Okay, so let's pick up Gale again. What's on your mind? With... Just in case they have interesting things uh, to talk choice. about when it comes to, like, discussing the Crown of Casas and stuff. But at what cost? I, I mean, until we actually get to the area that's relevant for Shah, I don't think it'll be that much of a problem not having Shadowheart with us. Uh, so what is this? It's a cantrip. Acid splash, bone chill, poison spray. 3d12 cantrip seems really good. Um, Blade Ward Friend. True strike. Hmm. No. Yeah, let's just go for poison spray, I guess. Well, it's only three meters, though. That's 3d8. Nah, let's go for poison spray. Fuck it. Okay, so there's more level five spells that we can learn here. Cloud kill. Dominate person. Hold monster. Plane up. Binding. I mean, telekinesis sounds fucking awesome. Just throwing creatures around. That seems very cool. Cloud kill does seem really good, yeah. Yeah, maybe we just go for Cloud Kill. I'm imagining some very funny things with Telekinesis. But you have gloves giving you the spell for free? Really? Didn't even realize. Um, Dominate Person seems pretty good, but it only works on humanoids. Hold Monster might be useful. Hmm. Target an otherworldly creature and attach its consciousness to your own. But they have to be celestial, elemental, or fair and undead. What what is this wisdom save? Hmm. So if they roll a seventeen. Hmm. We already have hold person on somebody else. So having hold person and hold monster might be really useful. Cloud kill is truly useless? Really? It seems... Excellent. It, it does 5d8 damage every turn as a concentration spell. And you can move it. Or you can reposition the cloud every turn. In what way is it broken? Uh, in what way is it bad, sorry. In 5e, it's ass for sure. I mean, it seems really good in this game. Too many enemies with poison resist? Mm. 5d8 is a concentration spell for 5th level spell is just terrible. I don't know if I really have any other concentration spells I tend to use with Gale, though, do I? Oh, Wall of Fire I use, actually. Yeah...
I think I'm going to go for... Go on, then. I'll go for Hold Monster, and I'll go for... Bloody, I don't know what. Dominate person. Fuck it. Let's do these two. I don't know. Who the hell knows? Oh, I should have gone for telekinesis. Wait, what? I've got... What What do you mean? I've got a telekinesis something or other in here? Where's disintegration? Can I learn that now? Was it level too low? How do you... How do you see what level spell it is? Doesn't seem to say. Oh, it's a level 6 spell. Ah, right. How do you know that? Do you just know that off the top of your head? <coughs> Please just use the gloves there in the camp. Onward. Really? Very well. I, should, I guess I should have checked through this box occasionally. Um, I mean, maybe Catherick's Warhammer, Warhammer would have been useful on somebody. I mean, that seems crazy good. Wait, that seems crazy good. Um, Catherick's shield. That might be really good too. Spell safe DC and spell attack rolls. Wait a second. That seems extremely useful. Uh, we could put this on. Uh, we could try that on Lazelle. What are these things? Just to see a half plate. I can't remember if that's better than what Lazelle's currently using. Oh, this one. You can cast Mage Hand as a bonus action, but it also gives you access to Telekinesis. Holy shit. Gain Force Conduit. What is Force Conduit? Reduced by one per turn remaining. I don't understand by per turn remaining. I really don't get that. What does that mean? You can reorganize your stash with the sorting options. Oh. Well, I'm already halfway through it now, so I'm not going to do it. But that would have been way more useful. Did not realize. A drow elf wielding this weapon deals 1 to 4 poison damage. Probably not better than what Minthara is currently using, though. Resistance to necrotic. That might be worth having a look at. That also might be worth having a look at. Um... I have no idea whether that's good or not for my build. And then these are things that I've gotten rid of recently, so I think we're fine without checking through those. All right, let's order them by type. And, okay. Right, Gale. You now have a bunch of items on you that are going to be useful for other people to take a look at. So, let's untoggle all of these things. So, you have this, Reapers Embrace. So, Lazelle, you're currently wearing Chainmail plus one, when you could be wearing this. 
That seems... Oh, you have disadvantage on deck saving throws. I feel like that's just worthwhile, though. This one is spell attack rolls. So this might be better for Gale. Although this one means that you can't land crit hits on the wearer. So maybe it's not better. I don't know. Which one's better? Not being able to land critical hits or having plus one bonus to spell save DC and spell attack rolls. I mean, having a plus one bonus to spell attack rolls just seems like it's way more useful. Generally. You can intercept missiles from ranged weapon attacks, reducing their damage by 1d10 plus your dexterity modifier. Um, what do you have on? Psychic, what do you have on? Summon Quoth the Raven, yeah. I'd prefer that, it's just more fun. Um, what is this? Splint armor versus this. No. The Reaper's Embrace is way better. No, I really haven't done an optimization pass. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, but let's just leave it at this. I can't be bothered going through and optimizing everything. Uh, this sounds like a pain in the ass. I probably... should... Um... An efficient path. Okay. Are these the characters that I want to bring with me? Yeah, I think they are, aren't they? Let's let's do a long rest. Press K on Gale, please. What to check my spells to prepare spells? I think he's already. I think he's already got the right ones. I think he's already got the right ones. Okay. So, the devil himself is pursuing the crown. As for whether it's truly the crown Carter's forged, well, I think it's safe to assume we shouldn't take anything Raphael utters at face value. We must claim the crown of Carter's for ourselves before anyone else does. Hmm, I know how you feel about that. Um. Okay, Kithra Voss. Follow me to the tap room. We will speak there. Uh, motherfucker, go to the tap room then, you dumb fuck. Oh my god. My favorite future clients. Are you ready to ex of course? I g you give me the crown. Once still I'll w uh, invasion plans for Baldur's Gate. Okay, why is Kithrick Voss not just... Why isn't he going? Why isn't he just fucking going? Follow me to the tap room. We will speak there. It's bugged. It bugged permanently for me. You can knock him out. All right, let's try your advice. Let's try your advice. Let's knock him out. Zero to this dude. This, this, I don't think this is going to work, but I mean, we'll give it a good old college try. I Surely he just wakes up and he's like, you just fucking try to kill me. Fancy 
see that, Jones? Nice, big three damage. Well done, Gale. Well done, well done. damage. Okay, would you fucking mind? Right. We knocked him out. Raphael did not give a fuck. And now... Silver Sword of the Astral Plane. Oh my god, I'm so tempted. I'm so tempted. Ah. Okay, so now what? Why are you... It doesn't fix anything. If you steal it and give it to Lazel, it triggers the dialogue normally. What? So did you just troll me? Okay, wait, let me look at this vid let me look at this YouTube video. I think I think I've just been trolled into knocking this guy out for no reason. Yo, what is my PC's having a fit right now? Okay, so we go in. Follow me to the tattoo. We will speak there. I've seen that before. Follow me to the tattoo. We will speak there. That is over. I will not forget the grave blood. Then I need it. The, f the fuck is he doing? minor illusion and get him to go get him to follow a cat to the tap room I mean this just simply can't be the way Is this really what we've got to do? I'm just going to skip this video ahead because I assume he just does it the entire way there. Right. Okay, so how did you do this? Average Valorant enthusiast, you knocked him out and then stole his shit. Why were you telling me to knock him out then? That's game breaking. I've already knocked him out. You were just memeing. He's on the floor now. <laughs> I beat the shit out of him because you told me to. Okay. I don't even know whether any of my characters know Minor Illusion.
I assume Gale has learnt it, but I might not have. Alright. Whoa, my game's lagging while it loads everything in. Follow me to the tap room. We will speak there. Right. So. Huh. Gale, do you know Minor Illusion? No. Can you prepare Minor Illusion? No. Click the book. This one. Learn more spells. Mm, I don't have it here either. Ugh. Oh, it does say the level there. Yeah, you're right. Ha. Huh. Oh, is it a cantrip? I mean, pfft. how do I learn that, though? If it was on here, it would say it would be under M, wouldn't it? Just shove him? Oh, that's not a bad idea, actually. Assume nothing. It was a bad idea. I would call that an be the end of Prince Orpheus. I would call that an overreaction to being pushed, but you know how flimsy toxic masculinity can get. I think the gif embody that, frankly. Um Huh. How are we going to get him into the tap room? I don't think we can... There's no way we can dimension door him. Because we've already tried that before as well. Can't dimension door neutral characters. Use Shahira and Cat Meow? I don't know whether... That, is, is that going to work? Does Shadowheart have minor illusion? Don't waste a step. I... Don't know about that. Shadowheart, my dear. I'm back already. How do my, I check? Hello, lover. <laughs> that sounded more debonair in my head, I'll admit. Mm. I can't see what spell she has from here, can I? She has to join the party first. Alright, well, Gail, you've been Always fuck all help. Side. What's on your mind? I question the wisdom of it. I'll be. Did you want something? All right. All right. What's Shadow next? Heart. Um. Where is Minor Illusion? Do we have it? Results found. Seeming fear, silence, mirror image. No, I don't think we learnt it. We have invisibility. Huh. Okay. Let's see if Jahira can meow like a cat. At least things have stayed interesting. Good. I was just starting to miss if you're sure. Fine. Have to keep going. Okay. I have something to ask. So Bell's Orin is testing you. Either she thinks herself a predator playing with her food. 
or she fears what you might do. And you just told her. <laughs> that is refreshing, I suppose. Yeah, true. True. Um Yeah, why doesn't she just She's pack it? Circling. Have no doubt of that. I, I looked worse the earlier, Custer. I, I had clown makeup on. I looked absolutely dreadful earlier, Custer. His rise to power. But I had three sex scenes wearing clown makeup. Than politician, I think. She simply wants to make us feel hunted, isolated. Ah, good one, good one. Tell the lordling that Orin is watching. Seems that Gortash and Orin have had a little falling out. We should leverage that. Um, join As me. As you wish. Ah, we now we also goes, have. We can green. level her up. So if she gets the opportunity to learn the minor illusion, we could take that. Okay. Um, druids of this circle connect to a powerful magic that throws through the earth and binds all living things together. Uh, right, they all learn the same animals. And they get the wild shape. But this one has a cantrip and natural recovery. This one has... Expend spell slots to so regain hit points. Huh. And it can also go into the shape of a bear. Or oh, a polar bear, holy fuck. Polar bear's pretty sick. Or Circle of the Spores. Unleashes spores on things. Hmm, I feel like Circle of the Moon seems pretty cool. I like that. Don't say that, Cutter of Cookies. That is not good. That is not good. Alright, let's go for circle. Oh, wait. We get to learn a cantrip this way. Is Minor Illusion a cantrip? Mm, there's not one of them, so... Let's go for Circle of the Moon, I think. Oh, shit. I didn't prepare spells. I'm trolling. Okay, let's prepare the spells. Right. Surely Minor Illusion is here, right? Oh my god, we don't have Minor Illusion. Well... Well, 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 well. Well, 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 well. It's a cantrip? Oh. It's not a spell. Right. Okay. All good. Okay. I knew that. Let's put Moonbeam in there. Um, old person. Uh, hmm. I don't know. Ice knife. Speak with animals, just so that we don't have to keep using potions. Healing word and cure wounds, maybe? Oh, that's pretty good. Fairy fire seems pretty damn good. Four to six healing. Four to seven. Why would you want Goodberry instead of Healing Word? Oh. Because it does four to sixteen. It's 4d4. Wait, that's crazy. Oh, but it only conjures them into their inventory. It doesn't actually make them eat them. Dude, I don't know. Oh, fuck knows. I don't care. Whatever. It really doesn't matter, does it? <coughs> okay, cantrip. We can't learn minor illusion. That is so fucked.
Um, I don't know. What do we learn? I, I have no idea. No idea. Ah, we could learn this magic initiate to, to learn it, actually, as well. Doesn't seem worthwhile, though. Just seems like I'm trolling Jahira's build. I don't know what I'm doing here, to be honest with you. What are these? Make weeds burst from the ground and smother the area. Seems pretty cool. Feign death. Daylight. Sleet storm. Ah, cold lightning. Let's go. Ah, you can do it with Jahira. Nice, nice. Okay, good, good, good. Perfect. Holy shit, what am I doing? Uh, so we have Polymorph, which seems very fun to use. Uh, what else? Control Woodland Being. Huh. Grasping Vine. Confusion. Ice Storm seems really good. A Wall of Fires also seems really good. Let's go for Ice Storm, though. Why? I'm just stuck in this level up screen. I'm fucking stuck. I am just stuck. I don't know. What do we want? What do we want? I have no clue. What are, what are we supposed to have on... What, what feats are we supposed to have on druids? I don't want to have to go through them all. Just like genuinely good things on druids. What are they? Mm, don't know. Warcaster? Sure. That seems pretty good. I'll take it. Okay, now we get some level 5 spells to work with as well. We don't want mass cure wounds, I don't think. I have to be within uh, close range. Uh, Contra Elemental seems pretty decent. Insect Plague also seems quite good. We'll do both of them. <sighs> Cantrip. Produce Flame. Guidance. Alright, let's go with Guidance. Prepare Spells. So, we'll... Do -do 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 I don't know what the hell to go for here. Uh, let's put Confusion back in. Alright, Jahira. You're here. Wonderful. Good to see you. Good to see you. Right, Jahira, I desperately need your assistance. Mass Cure Wounds isn't close range. Oh, I thought it was melee range, like close, like Cure Wounds. <coughs> Alright, let's... Wild shape into a cat. Meow. How do we meow? Come on, Voss. Okay, we need to get the rest of them. No one stopped me yet. Let's get the rest of them over here so they're out of the way. 
Back in Digihero. Nice Keep meowing. Come on, Voss. You son of a bitch. Come on. <laughs> it's nice that Gith Yankee like cats. Fucking hell. Come on, Voss. This is ridiculous. Oh my God, we've just we've just attracted all of the naked women. Actually, in my experience, that does tend to work. Not turning into a cat and meowing, but like cats do tend to attract. I, I'm gonna stop talking. Fucking. Get down the stairs, Voss. Thank you. Come on, come on. God, this is a ridiculous strategy. God, Voss is taking his sweet time. We're gonna get there eventually, though. Jihira, currently the most important person in my entire party. Why are people so enthralled by there being a fucking cat in the room? They're like, holy shit, there couldn't be a cat in here. Right. Now we go back over to Spiffy. Well. In it. And we go down I'm here. Ready. They don't look this confused usually. People don't usually run up to cats meowing and shout, SHOW YOURSELF! They will go up to them and be like, oh, cute kitty, but they don't usually shout, SHOW YOURSELF. Voss, friend to the comet. Yes, we did it. Kalir, warrior of warriors. Tell me you took the devil's deal. Tell me you will free Gith's heir. Oh, you shouldn't have given me an option where I can lie. Um... Bollocks. Sure, I took the bargain. Fuck, I didn't realize this was gonna be dirty. Wait, why don't we have guidance? Because she's a cat. Because I left you here in her fucking cat form, so we don't have guidance. So we need to nat 20. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Oh god. not deep enough that you would salt them with lies. Orpheus will be free. There is no cost too high to unshackle my people. Uh, who knows what chaos he might sow. No more than Vlakith will sow in Tunarath and beyond. No more than the Geich will sow across every plain. There is nothing I won't do. Nothing I won't give to free Orpheus from the prism. 
The marks I bear are proof enough of that. But you, you are the one who carries the astral prism. You are the one who must free the prince. Find a way to retrieve the hammer and free Orpheus from the prism. I will assemble his remaining honor guard and plan our next actions. Together, we will yet free the true heir of Gith's blessed empire. He will free us from Vlakith and lead our Kithraki against the Geich. He does Mystic. seem like he's lost an ear, yeah. I will wait in the underground. Seek me when you have the hammer in hand. Well, he'll just attack me if I free him. The Prince of the Comet aches for Gith Yankee liberation more than he abhors Geich. So you say. He might seethe when you free him. He might gnash his teeth and slander your name. But he will see reason. I promise you. Where does Raphael keep the The devil of Raphael's stature does not simply make camp on the shores of the Styx. He will have made a sanctuary for himself, a lavish one too, one that caters to his many vices. The House of Hope. We must find a way in. The House of Hope, you say? I couldn't ask for a name more fitting. Every house has an entrance, Istik. Even those in the Hells. You must find it. Uh, how? You are wasting your time. And mine. Our true enemy is the Elder Brain. Focus your mind there. Okay, well... Jahira, you can stop being a cat now. How do I stop being a cat, actually? Oh, there we go. Hmm. I've got a long road ahead. <sighs> what? I'm 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 pretty stumped here. I don't really know. <sighs> Explore the city and just see if we find any leads. Apparently. Hmm. Um. Okay, so the next thing to do, we've done all of the things, uh, as far as I'm aware, just in this exact little block. So I think now we would go and explore the rest of the city. We've got permissions and invitations to go and explore other parts of it and i think now would be a good time to end the stream because it looks like we've kind of reached a all right now we're going to another area maybe the lower city or something like that and do some more exploration so i think now is a good point to end i got it i got it it is 3 a.m after all i'm just hoping chat i'm really hoping that the person we killed at the beginning of this stream the one that was from shadow hearts cloister i'm hoping that decision doesn't come back to bite me the one that we murdered in just full view of all of the guards yeah we when when you watch me you take joint responsibility i don't know how this what, isn't clear what, what does it feel like Um, we had sex. I think that's a great thing to name that save. You killed 37 Pokemon in the last Fusion Soul Link, not 36. I will never forgive you, Lou, for making that horrendous mathematical error. Okay. Whoop, there we go. All right. It is time to leave. It's time to back out of the day and bedge. Um, who's around that we could co-stream? Is Br uh, not co-stream raid? Is Bren? Yeah, Bren's playing Suka. Sounds like good time for it. Is he playing the actual Suka? I crave actual Suka. No, he's playing the online version. Does he realize that it's so much worse? Ah, <sighs> okay. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, everybody.